Now I've got this theory, right? I think that the hours in the night time are shorter than the hours in the day, right? Because I could be here for five hours, right? And it goes on and on and on and on. I go to bed for eight hours, you get to bed and then the alarm's going off. So how do those eight hours go, well it's not eight hours, seven hours go so quickly and yet the ones during the day take ages. Anyway, good morning, how are you? Just a bit of, um, what's that? Not philosophy, it's, I don't know, anyway. Uh, today's early bird. Tweet, 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 tweet. Now it's a good one today. Oh, I mean, they're all good, but this is a good one today. Right, so uh, I don't think there's a, right. We haven't put a price in, because I want you to guess how much you'd pay for these, right? It's what, sorry? Right, okay, so look. Look, 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 how much you pay for this? So it's a big pair of scissors. Remember, you're, that was very close. You're, you're getting all three sets, right? All three pairs of scissors, right? So you get these lovely big ones like this. We're not gonna put the graphics in yet, or the price in yet. You get this one here. Now you can also keep these little containers and keep them in those. Then you get your middle size pair there. Right, then you've got the little one. Right, so look, so you see this, you see this, you see this. Three pairs of scissors, right? Now, before we put the price in, I just want to show you because they're going to be a good price, right? They're going to be a fantastic price. I'd start coming in now if I were you, right? They're going to be a fantastic price, but you're thinking, oh, they won't be very good. Well, it's core bond. Everybody knows core bond, don't they? See what I mean? Those jewelry boxes, no, not jewelry boxes, you're on channel. Those sewing boxes we had the other day with all three gifts, they were core bond, weren't they? Anyway, look, 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 look. Are you ready for this? Look, look. Right, now look. Can you hear? Can you hear that? That's the medium. That's the big ones. Then you've got your lovely little one. Oh, look, you see? Straight through the fabric. Lovely. Now, what I love about those is they're kind of around the tip of the end, so you're not going to catch yourself on those. And then you've got your little snippy snips. Nip, 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 nip. How brilliant are they, right? So how much would you pay? How much would you pay for three pairs of scissors. Now we sell scissors this size for like 19.99, 22.99. We sell scissors this size for like 14.99. And we sell little snippies like this, what, for, I don't know, six, seven pounds, right? So I didn't add that up as I went along, but let's do, Ben, a fantastic price. Let's do a fantastic, you get all three, remember? You get all three. Oh, brilliant, brilliant price but not brilliant enough. No, now I'll take responsibility for this. That means each pair of scissors is five pounds each. Right, that's good for a little pair of scissors, five pounds, but five pounds for those and five pounds for those. 14.99 for all three pairs of scissors. Right, let's have a think who's gonna have them. If you go away to the caravan, if you go to sewing classes, you might not want to take your best shears, you might not want to take things like that. These are lightweight as well. If you, if you put them in your suitcase, go on holiday, uh, there's loads in baskets, loads in baskets, right. Um, put the, they don't, they don't weigh very heavy. What about this lovely shaping here? Um, you know a lot of times when you put your fingers in, they get all, look, really lovely big finger space there. But this is all soft. That is all gorgeous and soft, right? So it's not, and, and, and look, can you see that? I, oh, sorry. I have the blue handle ones and they're brilliant to use, says Sue. Look here. They're ridged, so your fingers are gonna fit into that lovely, lovely soft one there. And you've got a lot of room for your big fat thumb like mine, you see. Then you've got this one, still a lot of space. Not ridging on this one, but you've still got your soft edge around there. And these are lovely soft handles as well. So, are you gonna take them away to the caravan? Are you gonna take them to the lodge? Are you gonna take them on holiday? Don't put them in your hand luggage. I only must go in your, in your suitcase luggage, but, um, what about people who are just starting? What about kiddies starting craft? Because it doesn't have to be for dressmaking. It could be for crafting. If you've started crafting from next door. If jewellery making, you need scissors in jewellery making as well, don't you? Three, or you buy them, put them in your present cupboard. Because they all come wrapped separately, look. They all come in one of these lovely little, um, you see this? You can keep it in this. And look, it's even got an open and a closer. You just put that in there. So, let me show you. You put your scissors in there. Then you put that through, oh sorry, I'm not showing you very well, through there, and then you close it at the back there. So it stays nice and safe in your drawer, the scissors aren't gonna come out. 
So uh, keep your scissors very safe away from all prying fingers. So eat, but what I'm thinking of, presents. Presents, you could keep one for yourself and then the others goes, the others goes presents, couldn't they? 14 99 We've got a price comparison. I can't hear Ben, so I don't know what Ben's going on about. Okay, price comparison for one pair. For the big pair. Right, £7.40. Oh, they've only got one. For one pair. For one pair. Oh, no, 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 no. It didn't say that on the packet. Go back to what that says. Go back to that. Ambidextrous. Fabric paper and be dexterous. Right, let's have a look. Oh, yes. So right-handed and left-handed scissors. Well, I never did it say that on the packet. Hang on. Dressmaker scissors are perfectly smooth, cut wide, right to fabric, precision paper. Blah, 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 blah. Ambidextrous handles offer comfort grip suitable for both left and right-handed people. Please reuse the lockable pocket to store your scissors after use. How brilliant is that? So you store them in these. Don't throw these away. You store them in those. Right? They store them in those. You drop. But for 50... works out If you even it out, £5 each, right? £5 each there. Brilliant, isn't it? Absolutely brilliant. Or if we just saw... How much were they in that picture? Seven, £7.40. Take that off there. Oh, Roy. Roy's in. Everyone. Did you bring me loads of fabric, Roy? Oh, no. What's in that box then? No, there's no fabric in the box, Ben. You need to come back with a box of fabric, Roy. Could you do it straight away, please? I need it for the 10 o'clock hour. Please. But before then, before then, don't be stopping for your tea and your breakfast. Anyway, 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 so like £7.40, say they are £7.40, right? So that leaves £7.59. So then that means those are like £3.50 each, aren't they? You know what I mean? They're brilliant, brilliant prices. Keep going through, keep going through, loads of you there, lots of you there. I'll keep reminding you about these all day long because not everyone's up yet. I've, let me just see if I've got any messages. Oh, got messages coming through. Here you go. Uh, good morning, John, everyone, says Susan. Sue says, morning, John. Did you find your ring? I went to the doctors, but Michelle, the phlebotomist who, whose room I was in, was off sick. So we couldn't get in to have a look to see if the ring was there, unfortunately. Uh, Patricia shirt says, love you from Blackpool. Margaret says, morning. Love that shirt. Claire says, morning. Lovely shirt. Pam Minihani says, good morning. Lovely. Susan says, morning. Lo says, morning. John. It's not lost. It'll definitely be on her desk. It'll definitely be on her desk. How's my bracelet coming on? Um, Crazy Lorraine's watching. I'm back all sorted with my new phone. Oh, fantastic. She couldn't read the words up before. Uh, Isabel says, good morning, John team. Looking very snappy in black and white. Jan says, morning, gorgeous. Love that shirt. Lynn Tewitt. Just ordered the early bird scissors. Had to put my date of birth. Oh, did they think you were under 18? Uh, Roxana says, morning. Excellent looking scissors. Morning, John. Love the heart, says uh, Hilary. Oh, we did bring the fabrics. Where are they then? There was one fabric in the box. Oh, Roy. Oh, you just wafted one red one at me, though. Oh, Rebecca. It's Trudel's watching. Trudel's. And what's the little girl she's looking after? Little what? Little chicken. Little chicken. At uh, 14 99 Keep going through for these. Lots of you there, lots of you there, lots of you there. Oh, Becky, how did you not see that? Oh, no, we told Roy. Does Roy know that he doesn't have to come back again? He'll, he loves coming to visit anyway. 14 99 keep going through, keep going through. Lots of you there. Very, very popular. Seven inch craft, nine inch dressmaking, four inch needlework. At 14 99 Beautiful. I love these because they've got that. And they're all left hand, left hand, right hand. And they're they ambidextrous as well. And yeah, they're all ambidextrous. They're all ambidextrous. We've even done, look, sitting there chopping through all the fabric for you to see. Gorgeous. These are your dressmaking shears, look. Beautiful, isn't it? Lovely. Keep going through, keep going through. Lots of you there. Small queue on the phone lines. 
Now, lots in baskets. Make sure you check out. Remember, once you've checked out, that's your PMP paid for for the day. So you don't have to, if you come in and buy a mannequin, if you come in and buy a sewing machine, if you come in and buy a dress pattern, if you come in and buy a tailor's ham, that's your PMP paid for for the whole day. At 14 99 Now I'm going to keep those on the table and I will keep reminding you of those during the day. So let's put those in there. That one goes in there. Right, now normally I'd now do the menu. But I'm not doing the menu now because yesterday we had a product which I had never worked with before and I said I wanted to check before I don't want to stand here and say oh this is how you use it this is what you do this is how you use it because I've never used it myself and if I've not and I don't want to get it wrong or anything so we had this yesterday we had um that lovely project it was the sea or sorry the sea wasn't it and it was that uh, cheese came in. it was our first day yesterday it was very popular and she'd been sent some heat and seal now it all got a bit confusing because basically they'd said to her, what do you need? She didn't say bond web. She said heat and bond, which she's used to working, which is exactly the same as, as bond web. And we use bond web. But our buying, our scheduling team had bought heat and seal, which none of us had ever seen before. So I said I'd have a look at it. So I've had a go at it this morning. So the principle is the same principle as bond web. But you know on bond web, one side is definitely paper and one side is rough where the glue is, right? Well, this one, so I'm doing the ultra first of all. So this is if you want to do your regular applique, things like that. Now you get a lovely big sheet of it. Now I've cut the, I've cut the corner off because that's where I practiced earlier, right? So one side, you've definitely got paper. The other side is definitely glue. Now, my tip here, so it's exactly the same as using Bondi Web. You cut it out, you draw your thingy on it, you press it to the fabric, you cut it out, and then peel the paper off, stick it to your other fabric. Exactly the same as Bondi Web. But when you first get it, you know on Bondi Web, one side is rough and one side is smooth. These are smooth on both sides. I can tell by looking at it, now I've used it, which is the paper side. But if you're confused, just do what I did here. Just cut off a little square and sandwich it between two bits of fabric, press it, then peel the back off and then you'll see. And then what I do is I'll do what she did yesterday. On this here, I would write paper side. So every time you come to use it from your drawer, you, you know which side is the paper side. Because nothing worse, if you were to iron it that way, you could ruin your, well not ruin your iron, but you know, kind of gunk up your iron dreadfully. So now that's a huge piece. Yours will have the corner cut out. Look, big piece. Now this is for your every day. This is for your ultra, ultra hold. So if you're doing heavy cottons, or you're doing um, felt, or you're doing anything like that. In fact, I can tell you, it says on the back here. So, oh, you haven't got an overhead, I'll tell you. So, um, thicker material, you use the Ultra, right? Bond strength, you use the Ultra. Um, and stiffness, you use the Ultra. If you want to do more lightweight, I've got in a minute, I've got the light. But I'll tell you about that in a minute. So, this is your everyday one, 10 Okay? And the packet looks like this. This is what your packet will look like when you get it, right? So, that's the Ultra, right? Then... We also have the light, which is exactly the same, but this is for your lighter weight fabrics. This is breathable and it's much softer. So if you're using thinner fabrics, then use this one. So still the same big sheet, you see, 74 by 69. I'm not going to open this one. So I just want you to see that they're not an early bird or anything like that. I just want you to do it because I said yesterday I'd, I'd show you how it worked, everything like that. So I had a bit of a practice this morning, right? So now, I can do the menu. Here is the menu coming up today. Now I've got sewing room tools, first of all, at eight o'clock. Then at nine o'clock, Rebecca Harrison is with me and we're doing the Sussex Teamsters. Now, I've been calling it Levante, but then as Rebecca told me this morning, all of um, James at the Sussex Teamsters uh, is, are named are over after village, villages in Sussex. So it'll be Lavant, I imagine. Then at 10 o'clock, Oh, there it is. Oh, no, no, that's not ours. That's the picture on their website. Can we see a picture of ours? Oh, okay, so here you go, I'll show you that. No, no, but this, this is it here. This is it here, you see. This is it in the linen. We didn't get a picture of this one then. In future, Charlie, we need a picture of the real one as well, please, if that's right. Write it, on your, write it in your pad. I bought Becky a pad today so she can write everything down. Then I've got dressmaking fabrics at 10 o'clock. So some of those have just arrived in that box and others are gorgeous. Some in bundles, some by the half metre and some, uh, we've got patterns as well in that time. 
Then at 11 o'clock, we're doing Dressmaking Techniques, which is a fantastic show. So it'll all be based around this book. That is the one we've got there. That is the right one, Charlie. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to be showing you that book and then uh, Rebecca's going to be showing you some of the techniques in that book, like seams and pockets and darts and all sorts of things like that. She's going to be showing you all of that during that uh, hour there. Um, and she's got rulers and all sorts of things like that. And oh, and then uh, the other thing is I've got sewing machine hour at 12 o'clock. Now, I need to just tell you that Rebecca will be using the brother sewing machine during her hours. And then I've got Elna machines in the last hour. So depending, if you don't know which one you want to go for, then keep an eye on both. Um, uh, you can buy both of them if you want, Charlie. But, oh, hang on, message. Morning, planning a day exploring my new brother, FS250. Your customer service team were brilliant answering all of my questions. There you go. So we don't leave, we don't sell you something and then just leave you. If you're stuck, you can call us or the, or the call centre at brother and things like that. Right, hang on a sec, what's here then? Um, Li uh, yeah, Lynn says, I wish I was young. Morning, John. Have any news about the blocks made for Festival of Quilts? What they do? No, isn't that funny? I was going to ask that today, but there's nobody in today. So I'll be sending an email later. Or do we know if Hayley's up yet and watching? OK, so the question was, do you remember we did, the, you, you, used to, you bought a panel, you made a block, uh, the the, the, the um, panel of judges chose the 12 that they liked the best, which are going into a quilt, which will be hanging at Festival Quilts. And I told you that all the other blocks weren't just going to be thrown in a box and left on the floor upstairs in the office. You would be able to apply for free. So if you wanted some to make a charity quilt with or to make liners quilts with or anything like that, you'd be able to apply for them. But I've not heard anything from the marketing team. So uh, uh, we'll, uh, can you actually, could you send an email to Hayley, uh, either Hayley, Hayley Marshall say, or Hayley Bryant and just say, what's what's the news about the the blocks they'll both come back and say oh kate's sorting it so it could be a while yeah oh she's on holiday again i've never known a girl have so much holiday uh so we'll find out about that for you and i promise june says good morning the other jan says good morning john no one day i will count how many pairs of scissors i own but i won't tell my family no i'm the same they're all over my house i've got scissors everywhere jill says morning from adult south devon kerry says good morning john all lovely shirt julie vaughan says good morning Gemma says good morning from Swansea Ruth says morning John and team just got back from holiday on the Isle of Man lots of love from Ruth in Durham fantastic right there are three ways you can get in touch the first way is email studio at sewingstreet.com studio at sewingstreet.com you can send a picture on Facebook live which ones I've been shouting out that's there and or you can go to the website www.sewingstreet.com click on watch the show live uh, you'll see a white box. Oh, how's that got there? Have you already played that through? That's weird. Hang on, where's the early bird then? Oh, how? No. Hang on, what's happened? There it is. So, oh, hang on. So what else is in there? Then what else has gone through today's show deals? Because something sold out, look. Oh, the spool thread rack, that sold out, okay. I don't know how those have gone through all the all the comic boards. Anyway, anyway, anyway. Thank you, Becky. I don't need that. Um, right. So you can scroll down the page. There are two columns: the show deals, which is everything we've shown so far, and then this here is pre-order. Everything that's available for the next five hours. All sorts. There's the pattern. There's the pattern. Up to size. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Up to a size thirty. Look, eight to size thirty. I've got a few of the um, bobbin winders left. Then we've got the fabrics that Ben's chosen for you for your dressmaking show. Oh, actually, oh, here's more, here's more, here's more. Some are bundles, some are not 39.99 by for the half metre, some are bundles. Some are by the half metre, they're all, oh, one sold out, that one sold out already. Right, stop, then we've got, oh, their patterns there. Oh, something else sold out, the other fabric there sold out. So Becky, you need to remove those two that have sold out. Uh, then we've got dress patterns, more dress patterns, more dress patterns, more fabric. Then this here, oh no, more fabric, more fabric. There's so much fabric in that hour. He was very busy picking all that for you. Then, there's the book. There's the book. It's a fantastic book, 14 99 Calico, which you all want all the time. Then we've got a curved ruler. We've got friction pens. We've got chalk. We've got scissors. 
We've got gauges. Uh, there, right. Now, adjuster form, we've got the Diana adjuster form in medium, large, and full of figure. And we've got the Sapphire. Are we in extra small? We've never had that extra small before. Extra small, A, B, and C. There's my lovely th uh, air threader over locker there. There's the 550, 560, and 570 A. Uh, so 720 from Elna there. That's the one that Delphine's got. 580, that's the one that Dawn Taylor's got. And there's the 570A, which I love. And that's it for the day. You can all go home then. You can all go home then. I'm just checking my iron switch on. Right. right. What's the matter? Oh, what do you mean? Where's it gone? Oh, well, we, we, we'll find out. We might play. Let, let's play the early birds again. Let's just double check the early birds there because we think there might be an issue with the graphics. So look. The website might be playing up. So I'm just quickly going to do this, right? That's your price, $14.99. You get three pairs of scissors. The ambidextrous scissors can be used by your right-handed person, people, persons, or your left-handed people, persons. Julia says, morning, John from cloudy London. Had a break, but good to see you again. That's nice. $14.99, you get all three. We found these scissors on their own for £7.40. So brilliant price, brilliant price, brilliant price. My husband complained that there were no scissors in the house that he could use. So we filled his Christmas stocking with five pairs, so mine are safe. Well, yeah, you don't want him using yours, do you? These would be brilliant. Buy these for your husband or for the kitchen drawer. Yeah, label them, label them. Look, morning, John and crew, love the shirt. I'm still looking for my necklace too. Everyone, oh, Su oh Susie, that's our Susie. Everyone needs the scissors, but label them for use. Yes, exactly. Yeah, because her husband dunks. He chops all, all his fishing wires and everything with her best scissors. Oh, she, oh no, you don't do that, dear. She got she mislaid her lovely ne uh, necklace that she got for a wedding present. Okay, right. Uh, there's lots, lots have gone, lots have gone, but I've still got lots and lots and lots left over. Right now, because I was just showing you the heat and seal, I thought I'd show you the iron now before we start. So, everybody's loving. The Aliso Iron. And I'm not surprised at all. I mean, it's beautiful, isn't it? Uh, 160 Now, I understand. I understand it's a considered purchase, which is why we put it on split pay. At 54.33, three times. Now, it's a gorgeous iron, but I'm going to show you the slides before I show you round it. So here we go. Here's one. Oh, they're in a different order today. So it's got a two-inch detailing clip. It's got auto lifters. I'm going to show you all this on the iron in a minute. It's got the powerful even steam distribution for effective pressing. Durable smooth gliding ceramic service. Easy clean even when using fusibles, which we've just been using, haven't we? And a large flat pressing area with an even edge to edge heat, right? I'll tell you all about that in a minute. Next slide. Now that's what I love. When you're ironing your shirts or your pockets, that little front bit there, it's got a little kind of gap between the iron so you can get real, you know when you're ironing a shirt, you do the button wrap, you can never get near the buttons and things like that. Perfect for that, it's absolutely brilliant. It's a two inch detailing tip. Right, next. No, it, uh, now it's got such a brilliant seam. It's got a zero drip system. It's got a powerful burst, both vertical and horizontal, which is really, really important. So it eliminate wrink eliminates wrinkles with ease and presses in sharp crease. I like my shirt. Oh, I haven't done it today. I like my shirt with sharp creases down the, that side of the sleeve. Next. Right, now on the front here, this is wrong. It's not a digital fabric selector. It's just a dial that you push, right? It's just, just a dial. But it's fancy. I'll show it to you in a minute. Then look at your steam control. Off. Little steam, medium steam, full steam, full steam. But on top of full steam, you've also got a button you can press for even more steam. Or a cold, fine spray. You don't have to have steam, uh, steam if you want. You can do it dry if you're a uh, patch worker. Then you've got your little light there, where it says the LED function indicator. It's green when it's ready to go and red when it's not. Moving over. Now, this here, look, this here, it's, oh, I'll show, you, I'll show you on the real thing in a minute. You side, it's a side filler for your water, which makes it so easy. There's no tank to tape off. take off. You can just fill it from the side uh, uh, opening there. And it's huge as well. Look, 375 millilitres. 
last slide so touch handle to lower and go extended 30 minute cut off right now then the, the iron this is what the joy of it is the iron lifts in the fabric so no scorching or burning so as you can see I've got it flat on here right I've got it flat on the desk here and the little legs come up all I have to do is touch it and it goes down right you see what I mean? Now, the important thing you need to know here is if you've been ironing, put it back down on the ironing board, the doorbell rings, you go downstairs, it's Jean from next door, and you're, oh, it's been like this, Georgia, right? And you've left the iron like that. In, within 30 minutes, it will switch itself off. Now, I went, 30 minutes? Mine does it in eight minutes. Mine has to do it in eight minutes because I haven't got an Aliso. So if I leave mine down, it's automatically burning. It's, it's like, mine's like that, isn't it, you see? So it's automatically burning through. But as you can see, this isn't touching your ironing board. Wait, don't you be giving away my secrets. Right, I know all this. You don't need to feed me this, right? Right. If it falls over, so you're at the door, you chatted to Jean downstairs and Luther jumps on the ironing board and he knocks it over like that. It switches off within 30 seconds. Like that. Switches off in within 30 seconds if it gets knocked over. So it's completely, so not that you can have a kiddie near the ironing board or anything like that, but it will do that straight away. I just need to point this out because Ben likes this. He loves the ball socket there. It's got a lovely long cable, really, really long cable. Actually, does it tell you how many, does it tell you how long the cable is in your paperwork? It looks at least two meters, the cable. Look, look, look. That, and it's, I've got it plugged in still, that's there, look. So it's a really good two meter cable. But let's just go through what that, um, what the, the, the slides were just saying. So if you look on the front here, it's got the most incredible uh, ceramic plate there. Now, the heat, I'm not going to touch it, but the heat goes right from this side to this side, from the tip to the bottom. No, 3.7 metres. There, 3.7 metres. I, I, I'm surprised at that. Anyway, anyway, so the heat goes from side to side, goes from top to bottom. Also, look at all the holes for your even... Um, Steam distribution, thank you. Uh, really, really easy to clean as well if you're using, um, uh, uh, you know, um, fusibles and things like that. So that was that. Now, this is the bit I want you to see here. So, like, say you're ironing a shirt, right, and you want to get to the button wrap. It's this bit here. Can you see that bit at the front there? There's a gap there. So your fabric, look, 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 look. You can get right in. Obviously, you'd have two layers of fabric. You can get right in to the button wrap. And if so you're ironing the shirt here, and that's the button wrap, you get right in. Like uh, Also on pockets, on jeans, if you want to get those done and everything, that's really, really good there. Now, the front of the iron, I'll show it this way around so Becky can come into it. This is your what they call a digital dial. But actually, it's not digital. You just turn it. You just turn it around like that. And then when you turn it like that, it switches off. I've switched it off now, look, because that's gone red, so you can't use it, it'll cool down. But as soon as you turn it there, that's it. Now, it's not ready to go yet, because you need the green light to go on. Has it gone green yet? Yeah, there you go, it's gone green on my telly. Is it green on yours? Uh, anyway, there's your steam. So this is no steam, little steam, medium steam, full on steam, extra squirt of water extra squirt of steam powerful and look you can it does it um vertically and horizontally right so you can do both those right this is what i was telling you about the water filler here the little the little <laughs> stop it there's the water filler on the side of the iron, so it's really easy to get to. And it's a big, big tank. It's a 375 milliliter tank in there. And it's just brilliant. So what you don't do is when you're ironing, right? You're ironing away, you don't, put, you don't have to do that anymore. You don't have to leave it like that anymore. You can literally finish your ironing like that. Da -da, just goes up, I'll do it again. And what I love, I love this, right? You don't have to force it down, look. It's that, it's like, I'm, I'm, I'm like literally just touching it, aren't I? Oh, now he says, there you go. I'm just touching it. I'm not incredibly strong. I'm literally just touching it. So as soon as you grab the handle, you can iron, press, do whatever you want, let it go. Bounces up. Now Delphine's got one. Lots of our guests have got them. Lots of people saying they want to get one. Um, if you've got it in your basket, please check out. I'm not saying, I'm not saying it's going to sell out now. I'm not limited stock yet because bought, we bought lots of these, but lots of you got it in your basket. So 
I don't want anyone to miss out. Get that. Remember, it's three ninety-five post packaging for the whole day. So if you've already, already bought the early, bo early bird, the early bird, then that goes on the same three ninety-five post packaging. If you're going to buy a sewing machine or an embroidery machine later on, same P and P all the way through. Three ninety-five for the whole day. Right, back in stock, but there's not many of them. They. Um, you can use it as a plant pot holder. You can use it to keep all your tools in. It's the yellow gold one. It's the yellow gold version. It's the only one I've got at the moment. But look. Put all your stuff in there, can't you? Beautiful. What else have it? Put your early birds. This is in there. Where are they? Oh, they're not in there. Little... Just keep all your scissors in there. It could just be your scissor holder if you want it to be. $6.99. It's not on split pay. The Thimble Desk Organiser in the yellow gold. Imagine if they did put it on split pay. Cheryl says good morning. Veronica says good morning from Grimsby. Beck says morning, John. Everyone. Did I miss the results of the Christmas competitions? No, you didn't. We're going to be doing it later. The emoji films? No, I won't have the answers because we couldn't even tell you what they were. Uh, Crazy Lorraine says, Chloe's got this iron. I was using it yesterday. It's fantastic. Nicola says, I have pots of scissors all around my house. My son-in-law thought I owned a scissor factory. Well, no, Juna didn't find my ring because I went to the doctor's and Michelle, the phlebotomist, was off sick. So her office was locked. So we couldn't go in and have a look. Oh, right. Uh, now, everyone checks out. They've sold out. They've sold out. They've sold out. If you've got it in your basket, you need to check out because it's about to sell out. Right, OK, that can go back on. Oh, look up there. Right, next thing. Oh, the comic boards. Right, now, Ben didn't ask if we could have these. Have we got the open ones on the shelf? Right, you're thinking, what on earth are these? They're originally designed to put inside comics that when people buy comics or store comics, they sit inside a comic and keep going. Because that, oh, have we? Got a video, apparently. Is it, is it Rebecca Reed? Surely we should be showing the Rebecca Reed video. No, no, you'd have to find it and do it. Anyway, it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. So how, where is it? Where's the board? Oh, I could show you much quicker than that. Let me just get a board. They're acid free. So really good. In fact, a lady put on the Facebook fan page this week how she'd organized all her fabrics, everything. Literally. Wrap your, if you've got fat waters, it's perfect. You want them, because I have all mine just in a cupboard. Mine are all just piled in a cupboard, right? Just fold your fabric round, right? I'll do another one. And then they can stand upright on a drawer, like on a, you know, on a, oh, somebody's been at this one. Oh, it'll be me. Literally, you can store your fabric. It's like they're doing fabric shops, you know, and have them all upright like that so you can see all your fabrics. Now, for $14.99, you get 100 boards. So if you haven't got 100 pieces of fabrics, you will have. You will have 100 pieces of fabrics. Um, you can share them with your friends. 14 99 uh, We got these in. Everyone asked over and over and over and over again for us to get these in. We got them in and they flew out. Rebecca Reed had them the other day. They absolutely flew out. 14 99 Coated on one side, precision cut, 100 boards. Uh, six and three quarter inches by ten and a half inches. So I think that lady on the what that lady on the um, no 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 that lady you just had on YouTube was she was showing you how to fold your fabric because obviously I've just done fat quarters. If you've got a half a meter of fabric, you need to fold the half a meter of fabric, don't you, to fit to fit on? Oh, I haven't got one here. Hang on. No, I haven't. Got, oh, hang on. There's one. So if you've got half a meter of fabric. She was showing you basically how to fold your fabric so it fits onto your board. I'm presuming she did it like that, did she? And then she put the board. There you go. So I'm sure that's what she did. So then, so you've got half meters or you might yardage of your fabric. So it goes beautifully. It's like bolts when you go to a shop. I love going to shops seeing bolts of fabric like that. Fourteen ninety nine. I've taken that off your out of your box. All right, I can't leave it there. Seven left, seven left, that's all now, 14 99 You get 100 boards for 14 99 If you don't need 100 boards, share them with your friends. 
Charlie says he's not but he's not sharing he's going to, when he goes to my house when I'm on my holidays he's going to roll all my fabrics on the on the bolts for me yeah but you don't want to be doing that when you're on your holidays uh Lorraine's got these boards great for storing fabric fantastic they're about to sell out they're about to sell out they're about to sell out so I'll put the oh no I'm not gonna put those on the shelf <laughs> I tried to put a book on this shelf here earlier and the whole shelf went tipping over morning all is the thimble holder heavy Yvette you might have missed out on them but no not at all look not heavy at all uh it's a subtle but substantial I've just caved in and bought the iron told to RBRs is very old and very compare, uh, heavy compared to this one so he thinks this is the house iron no it's not it's mine I was about to say Michelle you're going to let him use it what's he even iron uh, I've started to organise my fabrics on the comic boards game changer I'm making so much space and can see all my fabric now but definitely need a lot more Michelle there's not many left there's two left there's two and 19 in baskets 19 in baskets well done good luck that's two sellouts then two more sellouts Right, where are we going now then? The thread, the thread cutter sold out. I'll do the circle cutter. Do you want me to do the circle cutter? Yeah. So this here, we often get questions about how do you cut a perfect circle? If you're doing, you know, like a circular quilt or like a Dresden plate or something like that, how to cut out a perfect circle? Well, this is just brilliant. Uh, the Fiskars Circle Fabric Cutter. Now I'll show you very quickly how it works. I'll just get the have you taken a have you taken a cutting board from there where is it oh underneath the sewing machines I've bought her a book so she writes everything down have you got another cutting mat over there I need a cutting mat to do anything anyway I'll tell, talk about it while they get the cutting mat out right oh, I'll put it on the overhead right so this is it right this is it you can't really see it very well here let me put a piece of fabric behind it well, that's going to be even busier, isn't it? No, that's even worse. Basically, what it is, is you can cut perfect circles from a 2-inch to a 12-inch, and it, and it includes a quarter-inch seam allowance. You can cut a whole circle out, or you can cut half circles out. Thank you. Right, let's just put that one over there. Now, this is the Ulfa cutting mat from the, from the kit that we had yesterday. It's brilliant. You get the cutting mat, the rotary cutter, and the frosted... Um, and the frosted ruler anyway so this goes on here like this right so you can see you've got two three four five six seven eight all those increments um but they have got a quarter inch seam lance now you can either cut complete circles or you can cut perfect half circles with this so i'll show you how to do it if i get a piece of fabric here so you must have a cutting board underneath when you buy yours you get this and you get this right it all comes in together that's the blade right so what you do is now if you're cutting out a circle a, a complete circle what you do is you put your fabric down with the fold across the bottom there right that's your fold of your fabric and then you put your guide on here so I'm gonna cut a four inch perfect circle right so what you do put your fabric down you put your guide down now you don't put the fold of fabric at the bottom of the ruler. There's a line, a solid line that goes along here. And you put that solid line along the edge of the fold there. Right? Now, if you've got a pattern, you can make sure your fabric's straight because you've got a line there and a line there to make sure your pattern's straight. And then you make sure that the, the fold line goes all the way along there. Right? leave that as it is then you get your blade this is your blade now it comes with a safety um cover on it so you're not gonna you can pick it up it won't, you're not gonna do any damage to yourself as soon as you take this off right there's the blade inside there and what you do is you're gonna need to see this from the side i'd rather see it there please becky look 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 see there there that's what i want you to see so when you press it the blade engages right it's a bit like the fiskars guillotine one that i've got in a minute right so please be careful don't pick this up like that because if you press it you that the blade's going to pop out when you buy you can buy replacement blades we haven't got them today but when you do buy a replacement blade it's really easy to change what you do is just unscrew the top there you just line that up to there right 
That's the blade unit that you buy. You dispose of that in Waitrose or wherever you take your blades to, and then you get your new one, you pop it in there, you twist it, you put the top on. It takes seconds. It takes just seconds to change the blade, right? So the way this works is you've then, I said I'm doing a four inch circle, didn't I? So you don't want to waste too much fabric. So you put the fold on there, fold on there. Now you're most probably thinking, well, why John, don't you line it up with this bottom bit here? That's because you see the blade here, you've got two little nodules on the blade unit there. You pick your four inch circle. You put that into, you put the two nodules into the guide. Now, I'm not cutting it because I'm not pressing on it, but you want to just make sure that it's going to go round. So the reason the fabric doesn't start, you don't put the fabric at the bottom there, is you've got a, the blade starting point before you get to the fabric, right? Then what you do is you press the blade down. You go round like that and off the end. And then you take that off. Let's hope the blade was sharp enough. You take that, oh, it's one little bit, it's caught there. And then you've got your perfect four inch circle with a quarter inch seam allowance on it. Let's take that away there, okay? So that's that. Now, if you want, say you want to do half, half circles, right? Um, you're gonna need a seam allowance, aren't you? So what you then do is you then cut this one on the single because you're going to cut halves out of different fabrics but this time you'd line up the bottom of your fabric obviously you'd square yours off with the bit that says quarter inch seam allowance right so you line that up there we're going to do the four inch one again there uh, four line that line up and that line up righty ho then you do you make sure your gauge is in right So you cut, you've cut your one, four inch, half there, that's half, I've, I've got a little, oh no, it's just folded over there. Right, then you get your other fabric, and you cut out the same with that one. So very quickly, you line that up there with the seam allowance line, four inch. Four inch. If you've got it in your basket, please check out. Oh, crikey, crikey. Right, okay, then you do the same with your four inch there, right? Then when you sew that and that together with your quarter inch seam allowance down there, it makes the perfect four inch circle with your quarter inch seam allowance around the outside. So you can do perfect circles, perfect half circles, up to 12, look at that, I didn't do this because that was a bit of a waste of fabric. Make sure you always put the top of your blade back on. But imagine if you're doing like, like a dinner plate size, isn't it? Quick message. Oh my goodness, John, this newbie keeps adding to her first order. Loving it, loving it. Tia Maria, Tia Maria from Kent. Oh, have you been messaging for the last three days, Tia Maria? I've not seen any messages. Right, so that's that, that's that, that's that, that's that, that's that. Right, and this is how yours will arrive. That's how yours will arrive in the post. And it's got all the instructions on there and everything. So you have to keep referring to me. Right, okay, so I'll put that there, put that there, put that there. Um, rotating cutting mat next. Um, now, yesterday, Trees was doing uh, quarter square triangles, wasn't she? She's squaring off, cutting, cutting, right? This is brilliant because, oh, doesn't work. Doesn't work because it's got locking system on the back. So, so if you want to use it as a normal cutting mat, then you leave it locked, right? You've got your inch squares itself here, you've got 30, 45, and 60 degree. But to make it into a rotating cutting mat, you literally unlock, turn over, cut, cut, and then move it around. So you never, ever disturb your fabric. You only move that. Oh, Derek's loving the ice lolly fabric. Derek, we've had that fabric for ages. Pauline says, morning, John and team. Have the Christmas competition. No, we haven't done the Christmas competition yet. Good morning, Becky, Ben, Charlie and John. Has he got it right today? Yep. Oh, I do love a gadget show. So tempting. Uh, John, I really like the fact you've gone back to your hairstyle. Really suits you. It looks younger. I'm just about to have it cut, but my barber's gone on holiday. Barber's gone on holiday. Anyway, anyway, that's your rotating cutting mat. Very quickly now. Oh, I need a reel of thread, please, um, Becky. Sorry. Do what? Right, so this looks like a little petty cash box, doesn't it? 
It's gorgeous. Now, I did this display the other day, and it was the worst display I've ever, ever done on anything. Just one. I just need one. Yes. So what you do with this, you know if you're sewing, right? And if you haven't, like, when I do the 720 later, that has an independent uh, bobbin. So you can carry on sewing and fill your bobbin at the same time. I can't do that. I can't do that on my machine, right? So I have to have my bobbins filled up. So if I'm being, like if you're doing the tree thing yesterday where she was changing colour all the time, this is brilliant to have next to your sewing machine. So what you do is you put your bobbin on there. What's the matter? Oh, the copy boards are sold out. Right, this is a very thick um, f um, th thread and put it on here. Oh, there's another bobbin there. Right, so you put your thread on there. You take it round the tension guide. Then you take it round your bobbin. Now, this is where I went wrong the other day, because I was doing it the wrong way around, wasn't I? Hang on, let's just do this properly. It went that way around, I'm sure, right? But if you're unsure about which way it's going to go around, put the thread through the little hole. Then you close your guide there. Please work. Oh! I've got no, no, it's not, not run out of energy. It's, it's no, oh. That is, that is the open sample. I'm going to open a brand new one here. I don't know why that's done that. Uh. How weird. I t oh, the battery. Have I got two of these batteries? Oh, let me move them around, see if that makes a difference. Sometimes there's a little bit of... It's one of these um, A4, is it? I don't know, hang on. Normal ones. Yeah, it's the batteries run out. Oh, thank you. I'll have two of those then. Thank you. Oh, I, I think they might be. I think those two are. That's why those two have run out. There, let's just try this now. Then. Do, 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 do. Now, if you charge these up, these are ones from our, our um, microphones and um, talkbacks. I've put them in the right way. What's the matter with... Oh, no, here you go. They, they go. They do come with batteries. Right, let's do those. It's a curse, this tool. It still sells well, but hang on. Right, here we go. Right, ready to go. You put your bobbin in there, you get batteries in it. Remember to pull the little plastic thingy out because it has one of those in to save the battery while you're not doing it, right? Then you put your thread on there. Yeah, then you put that round there. Then you put that round there. Then you close that. Then you press that. Yay! Oh, no. Come on, John. I haven't put it through that. I've... Right, here we go. I'll get it right this time. Yours, I promise, will not be as comp complicated as mine has been. I've got very, very thick thread on this. Uh, today, hang on. And I can't now get it through the hole because it's... Oh, I know. Use my new scissors. Can you hear Becky? Right, there we go. I've got it through now. Right, then we roll it round like that. Roll it round like that. I'm going to get it right. Here we go. So it's filling your bobbin. And once it's full, I won't go all the way up because I'm going to waste the thread otherwise. You, that literally pops back and it fills your bobbin up perfectly. Got there eventually, didn't we? Honestly, how many are left in the, in stock? Oh, I've got thirty. I've got thirty. It's only nineteen ninety nine. You'll do a lot better than I will. Message. Uh, I have this. It's fab. When batch sewing. Oh yeah, when batch sewing gifts of different colours. Yeah, exactly. Well, brilliant, Jill, for having th having your, all your different coloured bobbins threaded straight away. You'll just be better at it than me. That's all. And also, yours will work. I don't know why that one didn't work. Maybe the batteries have just died. So I'm just, it just doesn't like me, that's all. I'm not going to do it again. That's it. You'll never see me do that one again. Becky's now got to work out which one's the real one and which one's the demo one. Oh, uh, yeah, of course. Um, uh, then I'll come back to these. Right. The reason I've got the embroidery machine out is they schedule these, right? They schedule these. Right, and I said they are embroidery threads. Now, 
you get 50 for 49.99 so they're a pound each right they're a pound each but we used to sell this box for 14.99 because you can store all sorts of threads in there because it's got like little um sticky uppy bits to put your to put your spools on you get for, for 49.99 they put it on split pay Someone needs to, some, we need to have the split, a word with the split pay department, don't we? Because they put some things on that should be and some things that shouldn't be. Anyway, 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 49.99. So because they did the threads, I said, well, we have to do the embroidery machine. Now, this launched on about, was it the 1st of May? We'll have a look. When we put the graphics in, we can see. Um, so many of you have adored this. Now, this is just an embroidery machine. You cannot sew, you cannot quilt, you cannot patchwork on this. You can just embroider on it for £599. Obviously, that will be on split pay. It was launched on oh, 30th of May, right? The 30th of May. There was a two-hour show with Stuart and Tracy, and they went through this and the Brother Sewing Machine. Now, you're going to see the Brother Sewing Machine in the next hour because um, Rebecca's using it. But this is an embroidery machine. Now... Um, at £599, it is the most incredible price, right? 199.66. Now, it has so many inbuilt stitches. I'll show you in a minute. So it has a four-inch um, hoop, right? Uh, and now the hoop does come with this, so you can you can uh, line things up and get things squared up and everything. But I know a lot of people on the first day said, oh, only a four-inch hoop. You can't do big patterns. Yes, you can do big patterns. All the ones that are in here are... Um, may design to go in to go into this hoop right but like we were saying if you want to do a dressing gown with my initials on or a monogram or something like that you can line that you could draw a line on the fabric where you just gowns, and then you can move this along so you could put the j then you could do the o then you could do the h and then you could do the n um but anyway let me show you so, uh, the other thing is as well as all the inbuilt stitches it's got a usb stick so you can put in all sorts all sorts of stitches so i'll show you the regular stitches that it comes with the brother stitches right so look i mean there's so many there's so many this whole booklet these all come on these all come these are your alphabets right these all come so if you are going to write john on the back of my um my dressing gown but look hang on all of these now you can't really see them there can you so you've got all di different patterns on here let's see if we can get to the bigger pattern so you can see there you go so you've got heart frames circular frames there you go sunflowers you've got stars you've got butterflies you've watering cans also you're gonna have such fun just start out in a minute right then this is where you're gonna monogram my um dressing gown so you could put, just put J-E-S on the front of my, on my dressing gown for that as well. So they'll fill the, the, the looks, lovely stars, twigs, leaves, everything, right? Everything, everything, everything you need. And the major selling point, not only do you get all those, and you can download other ones that are suitable for the Brother embroidery machine, you also get... No, it is here. We checked this morning. Yeah, look. Look, look, look. Now, is it 25 or 45? I can't, I'll, I'm going to say 25. I'm going to say 25 and we'll count when we open the box. Disney Designs. Now, my word of seriousness here is you can use them to make gifts. You can use them for family, for friends, for you. Please do not try and sell them, right? Disney say it's licensed, right? It's when we do the licensed fabric. You can make things for all your family and friends and everything, but please do not make them to sell because Disney have got a very, very, very powerful law department. It's a bit like I worked on the Bond films and they have a department of people who just literally look out for people who are using the Bond logo or trying to sell things saying it was on a Bond film and things like that. They have big lawyers, right? So I'm just saying, please, please, please don't try and sell these. But... You can make as many gifts as you like. Right, what, what patterns have we got? Hang on. Look! Mickey, Minnie, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Oh, look. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 3, 4, 25. Oh, look, must be 45. Look. All of those Disney, they're the real McCoy Disney designs, right? they all come inbuilt into the machine as well so at 519 pounds now i can see lots of you got in your baskets i either have a think about it right but make sure you check out um 
I've got far fewer of the embroidery machines than I've got of the sewing machines. Just so you know, just so you know. the first day these sold out. They all sold out. We then had to wait for the second batch to come. They're uh, selling as we show them. They go one, two, three each time we sell, show them and everything. Got several people within your basket. Have a think about it. now. I just to talk about this very quickly. When I was little, my mum and dad would never, ever, ever buy anything on tick because back in that day, it was steamed sort of like you, you didn't. If you were a bit snobby like my mum and dad, you didn't do tick and everything like that and have the man come around every Friday to get the money and things. It's different these days. Times are different, right? Because we don't charge any interest whatsoever. So you can either put £519 on your credit card to have you paying it or you can pay £199.66. Now, if you're buying it, it's a Christmas present. If you think now, July, August, it's going to be paid for in September. It'll be paid for by the end of September. And you pay no interest whatsoever. Now, my, um, the way I was equate this and why I use tick all the time is, uh, not tick, you know, split pay. Um, imagine if you paid the £599 straight away now and then next week your boiler breaks down and you have to get Baileys round and go, oh, it'll be £1,500 there to fix that boiler. You won't, if you put it on your credit card, you might not then pay your credit card off at the end of the next month. How much, how much interest do you get charged on your credit card if you've got 600 pounds sitting on your credit card? That's what, I only talk about this because when I first went to live in New York, I left my credit card at home and said to my mum and dad, I'll just pay the minimum off each month. And of course, you only pay the minimum off each month. The interest grows, 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 grows. We don't charge any interest whatsoever. So if you are sitting there thinking, oh, 600 pounds, should I treat myself? Should I not treat myself? You can either split the pay, let's call it 200 pounds. 200 pounds for the next three months, right? interest free but you don't have to wait you don't have to wait till you've paid you know those Christmas clubs where you have to wait till the end of the year to pay all your money in right uh, before you get it this will be sent out they're in our warehouse so if you buy this today what day is it today oh it's only Tuesday I think it was Friday Tuesday so at midnight tonight we'll process everything then the wheels will go in motion to send you could have this by the weekend even if you bought it on the split pay I oh, know there's lots you got in your baskets. Really nice to see you coming in for that. Uh, make sure you check out though. Right. And then oh, also, if they're both on split pay, get the threads. Get the threads at the same time. Now I know it takes up to 550 pounds, whatever, but they're both on split pay. They're both on split pay. Right, okay. We're going for a break now. No, 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 we're not. No, we're not, no, we're not, no, we're not. Not enough of you have bought these yet, and I want you all to get these in your kitchen drawer, or your sewing drawer, or your caravan. All three of, th this is our early bird this morning, right? You get all three for 14 99 You get the big dressmaking scissors, you get the craft scissors, and you get the needlework scissors. Now, they are ambidextrous, ambidextrous, so they can be used by left-handed or right-handed people. I know. So you get all three of these for 14 99 The graphics will come in. There's just an issue at the moment. Jackie says, good morning, John. I've got the machine. Oh, yeah, about the embroidery machine. I sew like brother. I also have their sewing machine for everyday sewing from Jackie in Hampshire. Uh, this is so funny. It's really easy. Oh, oh, about the bobbin thing. What did that pull up then? Should, they didn't pull the stick up. Oh, what that? No, it was, the it was the batteries that were playing up. It wasn't my fault. Anyway. Are they working yet? Graphics in. This was today's early bird. Hundreds of you got these already, but I don't want any left at the end of the day. Beautiful shaping on here. All of them can be used by left-handed or right-handed people. Oh, okay, so there's an issue on the web. You can't buy them on the web at the moment. Yeah, that's only when uh, in the morning. Then it disappears after the first auction. Yeah. At 14 99 14 99 Oh, is it? I thought it just changed as soon as you did the... Uh, what's in there then? Oh, okay. Okay, fine. 14 99 Make sure you ring the call centre for those. So if they're buying them on the web, are they... Where are they on the web? Underneath, it, amongst all the shopping. Yeah, right at the bottom, right at the bottom. They normally at the top, they're right at the bottom. Right, okay, we're gonna move on, we're gonna move on. Uh, Rebecca's up after, oh, she's making this. Sussex Seamstress Levante top. We will see you in four minutes from now.
Hello, my name's Rebecca Harrison. Uh, my background is in theatre costume, so I've made uh, costumes for film, TV and theatre. Um, I began to sew when I was at school, in primary school, and I also uh, did a lot of sewing with my mum at home. Um, one of the first things that I ever made um, was this little mouse um, and I hand sewed her at primary school. I think I was eight or nine um, when I did her um, and I treasure her. She's, uh, she, she's I just love her. So her head's, her stuffing's gone in her head so she's a bit wobbly. Um, my favourite things to sew are corsets. Um, probably because of my uh, period background, um, but I just love them. I've got one here. Um, I love the structure of them. Um, the shape the bones make, I, I just think they're beautiful um, and the fact that through the ages they've changed to uh, make women's shape different um, and I find that really fascinating. Um, my claim to fame is um, because I've obviously uh, doing costumes for film and theatre, I've been lucky enough to meet um, a lot of famous people. So um, I've met people like uh, Dame Judi Dench, uh, Kate Winslet, uh, Juliette Binoche, uh, lots, oh gosh, lots and lots of people, lots more than I can probably, I haven't got time to say them all. Um, but yeah, just, and, and all around the building where I used to work um, in London, you'd see lot, lots of people, Christopher Lee, Sir Richard Attenborough, um, yeah, just lo lots and lots of people. Um, so it was it was really lovely, um, and uh, yeah, I'm, I feel very privileged to do what I do. I love my job, and I'm very lucky that I get to do it every day. Um, and I really enjoy being on Sewing Street and uh, demonstrating um, how to make things, and um, hopefully inspire you uh, to get to get sewing. Have you heard about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street? You can shop on our website, sewingstreet.com, and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app, onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? 
Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Couple of updates before we get on with the sewing. One is uh, the marketing team are working on the, 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 the squares that you'll be able to apply for to make charity quilts. You know, the ones that didn't make it to the final quilt. Uh, the second thing was the aunt, we will be making a slide for the answers of the Christmas things coming up sometime during the show. I don't think we'll be telling you the answers because we don't have them in the, we don't have, we have got them in the system at the moment anymore, have we, Charlie? Okay, we might show you the emoji one if we can find it, because that was the most difficult one. Uh, and then thirdly, uh, was it Tracy? Tracy wants, just wants to see these threads again here. Right, now there are eight of these sitting in baskets at the moment, right? You get 40, no, you get 50 threads, sorry, not 49. You get 50 threads, right? All different colours, all that beautiful, these are obviously wrapped in cellophane, but they're all that beautiful, sheeny, shiny colour. And you get the box with it. Uh, for $49.99 and it's on split pay for some reason. Split pay at $24.99 if you want to take split pay. Uh, and this box here, we used to sell this box on its own for $14.99. So if you then take that off the price, the threads are even better. Makes them just under a pound each, doesn't it? And as you can see, there's all the pr prongs coming out the box there. So you can put other threads in. When you've used all of these, you can put other threads in there. Hope that's all right then, Tracy. Right, okay then, Rebecca's here. Oh, hiya. Sorry. You were miles away then. <laughs> I was miles away. I was actually miles away because usually you don't come to me first. <laughs> hello, hello, to you first. hello, everybody. How are you? I'm good. How's the new Thank house? Thank you. Yeah, still good. How's the family? They're all grown up fast, aren't they? They are, yes. And yeah. like Everyone's on summer holiday. Significant birthdays as well, haven't they? You had a few um, birthdays. Yes, my eldest has just turned 20. <gasps> How's that possible? I know. Yeah. And yeah. Dulcie came round to see him. Dulcie, my friend Dulcie used to be your kind of big boss, didn't she? Yes, she were, Angels, He was in charge yeah. of production at Angels. And so yeah, yeah. Um, Rebecca would be in the workroom. So Dulcie would go saying, we need these made for Angeline Jolie. We need these made for, um, I don't know, Victoria Beckham or whatever. And you'd be there. Anyway, uh, we're going to make this today. <laughs> I say we, she is going to make this today. <laughs> And it was just, we were sitting there like reminiscing about angels and all that sort of stuff. Aww. Beautiful top, hides the tummy. It's called the Levante. Well, it isn't the Levante, is it? It's the Lavent. Graphics coming in. So it goes from a size eight to a size 30 in UK sizes. 15 pounds and 50 pence. Now I'm not gonna open mine because mine's been sealed, but we have got it already open. Yeah, the pattern so is made of really, really top quality paper. The, the actual pieces, yes, pattern pieces, yeah, aren't always they? Is with and them. you get your little booklet telling you how to do it. And they're quite thorough, aren't they, the instructions? Yes, yes, and she's she's got her little uh, YouTube as well, isn't oh, she? Oh yeah, and there's a yeah. YouTube to go with it and everything. Yeah. Uh, so the Sussex seamstress, she'll be watching, she'll message in a minute. Oh no, not yet, she hasn't. 15 pounds and 50 pence. Now, it has a deep V neckline, it has princess it seams, and it has a gorgeous little panel at the front to hide a multitude of sins if you want to hide your tummy. Or if you don't want to hide your tummy, it's also very flattering because it gives it like that peplum effect without too much of a bother. Because it's only at the front. It doesn't, that peplum doesn't go all the way round. It's fitted, not fitted, but straight line all the way around. Then you have that lovely gathered bit at the front there. So 15 pounds and 50 pence, and it goes from a size eight to 30 UK sizes. Set in sleeves, very simple back. In fact, the whole, there's nothing really majorly difficult, is there on this? No, 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 we were saying, weren't we earlier, just the, the um, if you're a complete beginner, just that getting that V right at the front, but it's which not, you're going to show yeah, anyway. It's now, not so. difficult though. No. It's not difficult. But it yeah. might be a bit daunting if you're new and you can't yeah, think. Oh, yes. yeah. If you've never so we're going to show before. you how to do that front and how to do the peplum as well. well it's not it's not a peplum, is it? It's no, a, it's just it's just stomacher. a little. No, it's yeah. not a stomacher. 
No, it's not a stomach ache. No, we'll think, of, we'll think of a word for it. Anyway, 50, I've got fabrics. Now, the one it's made out of on the mannequin there is your uh, 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 enzyme wash linen. Beautiful. We love this. We love the linen. 33.99. Now, it's two and a half meters there. That is for the biggest size, right? That's for the size 30. So, actually, can you share, pass me the... Um, you got the, the booklet there. Yes. She normally writes in the front, doesn't she, about it? Thank okay. you. Um, okay, oh no, okay, so she, what she's saying is if you buy 115 centimetres wide fabric, which is what this is, you need two and a half metres. If you buy 60 inch wide fabric, which I don't think we've got any 60 inch wide today, you only need one, well, you need two metres of that, you need two metres. Um, the approximate finish, okay, so it goes from a size 8 to 30, uh, and the approximate finished sizes are. Size 8 is a 95 centimetre and a size 30 is 160 centimetres. So it has a lot of ease on it. It's not meant to be a tight-fitted um, a tight fitted garment. Confident beginner. The Levant is easy to wear with its loose fit and elbow length bell sleeves. What are the bell sleeves? It will keep you cool in summer and light cotton paired with shorts or capri pants. You can even omit the sleeves, bind the armholes to create a perfect holiday top. Lengthen it to the knee for a comfy dress or beach cover-up. Mm. Nice, lovely. Yeah. Anyway, so that's your linen, oh, that's yours. That's your linen sure. in the uh, teal. They call that one teal. I'd say it was more of a duck egg blue, but that's your teal one there. Then we've got the one that we're going to be making it in, in the shutters. Beautiful color. Now, I think this, these will look better and better and better the more you wash them because the linen will, will ease into soften, the shape and soften yeah. and relax, won't it? So there's your shutters one. That's the one you're gonna see being made. Beautiful. Then I've got this one here, which is your FILJ36. Oh, no, you won't have that number. That's your fabric number. You, the number you all have is this one, uh, WY6673. It's because what happens is, if you buy this by the half metre, it's that number, and as soon as it's got into a bundle, you go, look at the price. Look at the price. Now, what's the composition, please? Ooh, that, it's like, the it's got a linen-esque feel to it. Uh, oh, it's rayon. It's, is it completely rayon? So it's a man-made fibre, but using natural, it's a man-made fabric, but using natural fibres. So it's beautiful, be breathable. This is lovely, drapeable, three meter, two and a half meters, two and a half meters you get there. Beautiful, 23.99. Now these, are, look at that per price. So it's five units. It's less than five pounds for half a meter. Isn't it? I've got that right, haven't I? 479 and a half meter that works at her. Now, have I got it by the half meter as well, or have I only got it in the bundles? We've only got it in the bundles. Is it not on the website in this? We'll have a look for you. We'll have a look for you. Beautiful, I love that. I'd like a shirt made out of that, a summer shirt made out of that. It's beautiful, isn't it? 23.99. Oh yeah, let's just look up. We can just quickly look the code up. Oh. Oh. I'll tell you what, I'll come back to, I'll come, we'll come back to that later. We'll come. Oh, where's my chair gone? Oh, if you'll check out the basket, it's almost gone, that one. Almost gone. Oh, now it's gone. If you'll check out, that one's gone. But there's way more, way more of you now. Right, so now this one is like a taupe colour. Oh, this is beautiful. With summer garden flowers. Do you want the code? You've got it, JA6686. Look, I'm not going to unfold this one as much. Look, again, look at the price. Look at that price. Julie Vaughan would like this one. Now you get two and a half metres, remember? 23.99, 4.79 for half a metre. Beautiful. No, this, this is viscous. Uh, rayon as well, rayon. Look at that beautiful. Look at the little blue tips on the end of the um, petals. 23.99. Well, they called it sand. I call, what did I call it? Taupe. Sand, they've called it. 
I'd, it'd have to be wet sand, I think, on a northwest coast, I would imagine. Twenty-three ninety-nine. These will all these will all sell out today. I need to warn you, these will all sell out today. Right, now I've got I'll just put that one there. Now I've got this one here, which is the oh no, I can't read that number out. You got it. This one's lovely and fresh, this one. Look at this one here. Two and a half meters, remember. Works out at four pounds seventy-nine and a half a meter. It's viscose. Oh, rayon, rayon. Rayon and viscose are very, very similar. There you go. Ivory floral, this one's called. You see, I I wouldn't call that background an ivory. I'd call it buttermilk or uh, yeah, Cornish a bit, cream. Bit more yellowy, isn't it? Yes, got that yeah. lovely yellow, yellowy tinge, but that like, lovely warm tinge. And then you've got your orange and your silver on there. $23.99. Again. These all will sell out today. And then last fabric is this one, rather like this one. I don't know how I'd decide. Now, Ben would make his girlfriend a kimono out of this one. Uh, well, you'd have to be limited by your two and a half meters. You might have to buy two bundles if you're gonna do that, Ben. Yeah. Here we go, again. Well, he's not gonna buy it, don't worry. Two and a half meters, five units you've got there. Twenty three ninety nine. It's going to sell out. It's going to sell out. You need to be quick, 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 quick on these. Loads of you in for that one. Loads. You can't believe how many people are on the phone line. What a lovely birthday I'm having, says Sue. Loving the show. I'm very excited to see Rebecca's demonstrations as always. Jane's there. Jane's watching. Morning, John and Rebecca, she says. Another Sue says, morning, Rebecca. All right. Okay. These will sell out. These will sell out. So let's do... A sewing demonstration, Let's please. Let's do it. <laughs> You're right. Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Good, good. I'll let you get on. Okay, right. So, first things first. So, you've got this central piece here with your V in yeah. for your neck. And, and what we're going to do is we're just going to reinforce that V uh, because we've got to, in order for it to sit nicely like this, we've got to cut into it. Right. So, um, we're just and that's gonna... what's quite frightening, isn't it, for a lot of people? Yes. The actual, yeah. You can sew it and then you know you've got to cut right up to the stitches, yeah, don't you? Yeah, that's it, yeah. So, we're just going to reinforce that V uh, with a bit of iron on uh, interface in the lightweight. Um, so, I've done this a centimetre and a half. So, your, your uh, seam allowance on this is a, is a centimetre. So, I've done this um, 1.5 because I want to make sure that, that my stitch line goes onto that interfacing so that it's uh, given right. it, it a little bit more strength. So Oh, so now what weight interfacing have you got there? I've got the, the lightweight. Okay, oh, when Ben comes back, we'll put that through because we don't know if we'd sold out of that yesterday. We'll have a check. Okay. So, I'm just going to cut bit more than I need so go past the V yeah because you're gonna have to mark because you, you've got a, as I say you've got a one centimeter seam allowance so you've got to allow for that yeah you're going past where obviously your cut line is so if what I turn that right down well I know I know that um, this melts quite a bit okay, so I have to turn it synthetic. down yeah. quite a bit yeah it won't melt, Mel, but just no, check. No, not melt, I know what I mean. I'd, oh, if, you mean the interfacing, not yes. the iron. No, yeah, no, sorry, not yeah, the yeah, iron. Yeah. No. And not the, not the uh, linen, you, no, you mean no, the interfacing. No, yeah. no, no, no. Oh, yeah, you my, might want to blow it because it's quite a hot iron. That's my usual. Yeah, so I'll put I, left on synthetic, yeah. but just, get, just give it a press on there to make sure it's not too hot. No, it's not too bad, actually. No. It's cooled down quite a lot, actually. It's the first time with this iron. I know, it's lovely, isn't it? Mmm. Be interested okay. to see how many times you put it down. <laughs> I know. In my head, I'm going. Don't do that. Don't do that. Yeah. <laughs> now you weren't this first time. No. We're talking about it. So when you no. get into your flow. There you go. Look. Yeah. I like that sound. I uh, see. I do. Jan doesn't <laughs> like the sound no. of it, but I like that sound. I find it quite. It's, it's about quite comforting in some well, way. It, it's also reassuring so that you know you have yeah. to look at it to make sure it's popped up. It's you can done. Hear well, that that's uh, presumably that's what they've done it for. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that you know that you've. Oh, you've got posh nails this week as well. Like, well, my youngest, Rosie, she likes to do my nails, but I did take over last night because we did them. And then, uh, what did I do? Oh, I, went, I had to go and let the dog out and I caught them on oh. the door and they all... So you so, let the dog out while they were still so, wet? Yes, silly me. So yeah, so we had to start again. 
but she likes to do nails. Oh. Right, there we go. Right, you have. So that's your one rear force. So now I'm going to get my uh, ruler, excuse me, turning my back. Okay. On, and my pencil. Yeah. And I'm just going to mark. All I'm going to do is just, I'm not going to mark all the way up. I'm just going to mark this little V here right. so that I know that. So you're marking I'm the line of stitches. I'm, I'm marking where, yes, where my, um, where I'm going to stitch. Right, lovely. Because I need to make sure that I've, that I've got that. Yeah, and even, even if you're really, really away. experienced, um, when you come to do a V or something like this, your eye sometimes throws it, doesn't it? You think, oh, yeah. that's definitely the right place. Yeah. You've either gone too far or not far enough. Yeah. So it's always best to mark if you're going to do a V like this, no matter how experienced you are, it's always best to do what Rebecca's doing and mark it so you can follow it. Yeah, so you just, yeah, because there's nothing worse. No. Because your eye will be drawn to, uh, if, you know, if you if you know that that is slightly, oh, up, yes, your yeah. eye is going to constantly yes, be drawn yeah, to yeah, it, isn't it? Because yeah. you know that you've not got that quite where it and should be. And also it's quite a feature of the top. And so if that's Very got so. something wrong, then people, it's not only your eyes can be drawn to it, everyone's eyes can be yes. drawn to it. So now you put the interfacing so, on the real front or the, is there a facing front? Yeah, so you've got two two pieces, yeah. exactly the same. R right. Um, that oh, you're so it doesn't gonna, matter which one you yeah, put on the moment. Yeah, yeah. so, there's, so there's one's, one's not shorter than, the, shorter than the other or anything like that, or it's not scooped away. It's two yeah. pieces, exactly the same. And all you're gonna do is, Put those one on top of the other. Remember, you're going to check, Ben, if it had sold out or not. Oh, it has sold out. So we haven't got any of the lightweight interfacing at the moment. It'll be back in stock soon. So I'm just going to pin, line up your Vs. And make sure you've got those in the right place. Do this side. You've been watching Love Island. Oh, I love it. Uh, Joe, every... don't, talk, don't talk about last night. I haven't watched last night. Oh, no, I haven't seen last night. Oh, good, good, good. No, I've got. I haven't got a clue. No. I well, it was the talent competition last clue. night, wasn't it? Oh, was it? Yes. Oh, they're always funny, aren't they? No, I haven't got a clue. No, I. Th I thought I can't. I thought I can't. I can't. I can't even watch the beginning of it because if I do that, I'll no, stay no, up. No, no, no. And also, sometimes it's an hour long, and sometimes it's an hour twenty-four. Yes. It's an hour and a half, and you're like. I should be in bed really, yes. it seems to be going forever and you realise it's half past ten and no, it's way past half exactly. time then. No, no, I, no, you can't, you just can't do it, can you? So if you had to, if you were in Love Island and you <gasps> had a secret talent, what would yours be? <laughs> oh, no, I've just been told you can't be sewing. So I'll tell you, I was, thinking, you know, I was thinking oh. about it last night because I was thinking, what on earth? Like there's two girls in oh. there that are dancers, so they'll obviously dance, yes, they're they? going to dance, David aren't they? a chef. So he'll obviously cook, won't he, and things like is that. Is he a chef? Well, I, I don't know if he's a chef, but he, when he asked um, uh, Ekinsu to be his is, girlfriend, yes. he did it with a tiramisu that he, he did, made himself. Yes. So, um, I was thinking what I would do is I'd, dra I'd, make some, I'd make a dress for one of the girls with her standing there, and I'd just drape the fabric. Oh, yeah, good and idea. And then make, make a really gorgeous evening dress for one of the yes. girls. That would be my party trick. But then if I'm not allowed to do it, it's not, not allowed, allowed to be to do. what job you do. Oh. Can you play the clarinet? Um, no, I'd have a go at singing. Would you? Can I you think? sing? Well, I don't know if I can, but my um, my daughter can sing, and she always says, when I sing along to her thing, she always says to me, your voice is okay, you know, Mum. Just uh, That's a compliment from a child, I suppose, isn't yes, it? Yes, okay. it is, very much so. Uh, can I ask what you're doing? You're actually sewing on the line that yes, you've drawn. Yes, I'm yeah. sewing on that line, yeah. so I'm just, just making sure that I've got... I'm, got that line yeah. and then I'm just going to go up and then the rest of it I'm just going to be um, my one centimetre seam allowance yeah. um, all the way up. So the uh, did you reinforce the V with stitch or just go to the bottom pivot and come back up again? I've, I've, you can go round, round it again yeah. definitely if you want to. 
and you're using the brother sewing machine now I'm very quickly before we go over this thing um, <laughs> Rebecca's mum bought one of these and I said this morning how's your mum getting on the sewing machine she went no it's not my mum's it's mine so her mum bought one Rebecca went round to see her said how are you getting on with it sure I've not got out of the box yet like we all do we Scared. get a new machine we get a new clothes Scared. we don't wear them don't use them yeah. so Rebecca took it home to show her how to when her mum came round she had to work and she's just kept it yeah, I have and what do you think of it I love it. Yeah. I think it's really good. Yeah, there's so many. I was saying to you earlier, wasn't it? It's the, the buttonholes. Yes. Because I, li I love a keyhole buttonhole and they, they do them on here. Well, we might do that later so, then, shall yeah, we? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Because uh, but, so, but all your machines are brothers, aren't they? All mine are brothers. So my industrial that I've had for years and years is a brother. Probably because at, I'm pretty sure, yeah, they were at, uh, London College of Fashion where I studied they were brother oh right and then at Angels they were brother and there was occasional dukey but yeah, yeah, yeah. everybody in the workroom had their machine yeah, so yeah, my, exactly. that was a brother so when I bought my industrial you just went I with what a you brother. knew yeah exactly so then my two overlockers are brothers um, and then I, oh, I've got this one now got that one now and, as well um, I've got another brother because you need that many sewing well. machines in your life well, don't you i know it's like a, it's like a, i like they're all on my table i'm like it's my, my baby oh. my babies my collection because you, you know okay so we've literally just so, sewn down the v I've just of sewn, the neck i've just sewn down there so yep. now i'm just gonna i'm gonna trim right the side that's got the um the interfacing on only See, that side losing Not my words that's again. right we all like that losing my words you get words. to 40 and that happens i, I know see. i know so i'm just gonna trim down there oh hang on that, what was that one? Oh, could you make the v higher if you wanted to uh well you'd have to change it on the pattern yes so you'd have to where is it you'd have to get there it is so you'd have to get your pattern you can. piece. It's yeah. You yeah, can yeah, you totally can totally do it. So you can get your pattern piece yeah. and then uh, go up as much as you want to. Yes. And then you'll have to just grade blend the line. that back in to your shoulder yes. seam. Yes, and you want this, you don't want to bring it in here, up here. No. You want to make sure that whatever size you're cutting, that you end up at that point. So if you're cutting yeah. this middle solid line here, you would draw a line from where that solid line is there to where you want your V there. Yeah. But then carry yeah. on with yeah. the with the So the if you get you got yourself a dressmaking ruler or something. No, so it's a good question that. Good yeah. question. So don't move from that shoulder point and you can uh re-establish your your V a slightly higher up if that's what you want to do. Oh. Yeah. But don't, uh, yeah, don't mess with your shoulder seams because everything else will be out then as well. Yeah, no, so, we don't sell yeah. the pin cushion that Rebecca's got, but we could ask our buying team to look into oh, it, Christina. Oh, yes, it is good. Uh, Michaela thinks the green fabric is gorgeous. She's about to cut out the Sussex Seamstress Hove dress. Mm. Roxana's currently making the Sussex Seamstress Coolum cardigan. Um, the videos are extremely helpful. Uh, and then um, that's it. That's it. Okay, so, so I'm you're just now, so you're just down. trimming the linen and the interfacing yeah. from the so interfacing I'm, yeah. side. So I'm just cutting down. So there's my V. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to cut down sort of half the way. Right. And then I'm going to cut into. So you need really sharp. My, my, my the points on these. Yeah. I, need to sh I need to sharpen these, which is why I'm using my big ones. Okay. But if you've got little ones, that, um, use the point that's on there and go right into your stitching. It's a frightening thing because obviously you, you, you want to get right in there so that it sits flat, yeah. but you don't want to cut your stitching no. because obviously then it's all going to come undone, isn't it? So yeah. you, that's, that's what you don't want to do. Okay. So just cut that out and then we're just going to turn that through. So you've got your two identical pieces and you're just going to press. So there's no understitching or anything round. like that then? Yeah, I think I did. Did I understitch? Oh, yes, I did. Oh, right. Yes, I did understitch, yeah. So you, you, when you understitch, you press all your seams over to the side that you have your interfacing on. So make sure that you press all of that over so I'll do it on here. Yeah. Okay. 
and going down to that V. You've got your iron on quite cool now. Yes, I have, I've not just let's turn that up a little bit. No, that's the wrong one. There we go. There we go, that'll do it. Only takes 35 seconds. I know, for you can hear it, yeah. can't you? You can hear it um, whirring. whirring away. That's very good. Good morning. So I could watch you two over. all day. Always sharing such great knowledge. Thank you from Neve. Oh, she's got oh, the knowledge, not me. Nice. Got a very important. You've got loads of knowledge. Very important question. Where's John's chair gone? I oh, know, Sylvia. <laughs> I turned around like that to put the fabric down, and it's completely gone. <laughs> Did it's, you have oh, it then? Oh, so Becky's got a notepad now. She forgot to write on it. Don't stack all the embroidery stuff on John's chair. It'll do me good to stand up. I use more calories standing up, apparently. Is that what? I am actively doing something. I'm standing up. Yeah. I'm sure talking must burn calories as well. Oh, you'd hope so, wouldn't you? <laughs> Is that, honestly, if that was the case, I'd be about a size six. Yeah. Me right, too. so what I'm going to do is, I'm all I've done, I've come down and I'm just going to go to that point. Which point? Which point? The point in, to, in the, uh, the centre. Yeah. And I'm just going to go back a bit, that's it. And I'm just going to um, backstitch that a little bit and then I'm going to take it out and then I'm going to move it round because sometimes if you try and do that stitch all the way through you're not going to get that V yes. absolutely flat yeah. so I'm just going to move my fabric around and start again because if, if you don't absolutely get that at the right point you're not going to get that point in no, the... Exactly. If that makes sense. I said a lot of points there, didn't I? Yeah, a I? lot of points, yeah. There's a lot of points there. Uh, while you're stitching that, shall we just do a quick update of, because some of these fabrics I think might be selling out. We need to be careful. Right, this one here, I've got the black linen one. It's single figures now, that bundle. 23.99 makes it £4.79 for half a metre. I'll hold it up, because you're, you're doing this close-up on the same machine. There you go, there you go. So single figures on that one. The first one sold out. Oh, I would put it on my chair, but it's not there. Here you go, Becky. Thank you. Right, next. The sand one. You're not missing anything on the sewing, don't worry. No, just pressing. Right, more than half the stock of those have gone. Oh, but there's more, there's more people got that in their baskets than actually we have stock of. So I could come to that next time, say it's completely sold out. And this one here with the sprigs on, we had more of this one to start with, so we got more of these. And how many baskets? Okay, that one's not the most popular. I don't know why, I think it's the freshest and most gorgeous, but there you go. Okay, the linens. Oh no, the linens will be fine because we always have lots of the linen in stock. Yeah, we'll find all the linens. We'll so I'm stock. just pressing this now. Okay, and so you just press it. I've done my understitch. Yeah. So I'm just pressing this now. So we've got that nice crisp Oh, it's a lovely edge, isn't it? It is, yeah. There you go. Lovely. I might turn that up just slightly. You're muttering. There we go. Sorry. I forget I'm muttering. <laughs> You're I'm just going to um, sit it up slightly. Oh, I've done it. See? <laughs> <sighs> got me. Got me. It's because it's not on an ironing board. You, oh, yeah. automatically Whoops. did it because it was on the table. I did. It takes a bit of getting used to, yes, doesn't it? Yes, yeah. And then you've got to be careful then, I suppose, that you don't do that with... With your normal iron. With a normal yes, iron. Exactly. A disaster that would be. Oh, lost my tape measure. Thank you, John. Okay. Thank you very much. Don't okay. do what Rebecca Reed did earlier the other what day and she burnt it on the iron. What her, her tape measure? Yeah. Oh, oh, not hers, one of ours. One of <laughs> Is it more difficult to sew linen than a hundred percent cotton? No, I wouldn't have said I don't so. think so. No, no not If at it's all. a good quality one, yeah. like the one we've got, then no. You can get some linens that are kind of so loose weave 
that they're like the track that they the, 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 I used to wear nickel fire trousers right and they were made of really loose weave linen and they that would move this is very very stable but what I love about this linen is the more you wash it the more it becomes kind of fluid and kind of it's really lovely but it's lovely and stable to work with yeah yeah so this would be so I always overlock my pieces yeah before I come here because I don't want them to fray and yes, lose course, the yeah. seam allowance on the re um, on the way here so at, at this point when when you've put those two pieces together you could overlock that all together all together so it becomes one yeah because obviously <coughs> now I've got two rows of um, overlocking yeah. in there so to keep it uh, you know just just to lessen it the but it's not bulky but no, you know no, what no, I mean no. just yeah, to yeah. lessen that yeah down it would be um, but yeah but that means two rows you'd have three rows of overlocking in yes, that seam and that yes, would become eventually bulky, I would, yes. eventually, yeah yeah so i'm just gonna um just put a couple of pins in okay. here because i'm just gonna run if a they haven't stitch got an overlock round now, could you just stitch it together around the edge to hold it together yes. and then finish it off with an over edge stitch or yeah, something yeah, like that yeah 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 so i'm i'm just gonna run around this now with a stitch just to keep those two layers um, together because I don't want them move, You've got overlock moving. You've in the uh, next hour. Not in the next hour, the one after. Yeah. Um, Dawn says, I've been sewing standing up for a year and a half. It's better for your glutes than squatting. I'm not sure that that's true, Dawn. It's actually not that easy, is it? What? Sewing standing no? up. It's, yeah. When I first did it really threw me when because I was expecting a chair yeah well sorry <laughs> oh no I'm used to it now <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah it's a it's a bit of a strange so yeah I'm just gonna whiz so you're this. just now stitching the two fabrics together yeah to I'm make just gonna one. stitch yeah. this round yeah now what I my little tip here would be I'm just going to make sure Rebecca's not going to do it now. Is I would take so from the shoulder down to the hem, stop, and then do the other shoulder and go yeah, down to the hem. I don't go down idea. one and then yeah. up the other. Because if you do that and the it fabric move. does move, you end up with one slightly skew whiff like that. Yeah, no, that is a very good tip, John. <coughs> I'm going to pinch that. Yeah, you pinch that. <laughs> you knew it anyway. <laughs> I'm going to do that. Oh, I think my tea's gone cold. Oh no. I was um, getting ready for my show for Monday and Dulcie came round on Sunday afternoon. Yeah. And I was just cutting my ginger out for my show yesterday because I have ginger in water. And she went, oh, a ginger tea would be lovely. And she chopped up the ginger, made herself a cup of tea with it. And I'm like, that's my tea for tomorrow. What <laughs> <laughs> oh dear. So you'd make it yourself? I just cut up ginger root and put it in hot water. That's all it is. So, the, oh, look. Lovely. Look, it's just pieces of ginger root here. Just with hot water oh, on them. Oh, very good. So you can just keep adding hot water? I just add you? hot water as the day goes on, yeah. Yeah. Because I like, because I usually, I only drink sort of, um, usually peppermint tea. Yeah. But I like it if I get peppermint. You know, if you get peppermint from the garden. Oh, yes, mint yeah, yeah, fresh from the garden, yeah. You suddenly realise how weird the tea bags. Well, yeah. like we were saying earlier, I have gluten-free pasta, and you get so used to it, and it's only when you eat a piece of real pasta, you go, oh, this is so delicious, <laughs> yeah. it's my gluten-free. Mm, it's all the sugar and salt, isn't it? And all the things that are in it. Right, there we go. So I've just gone round there. So that, I know now that that's all going to stay together yeah. when I'm stitching the next bit. So the next bit is this, this little bit here, which is the, is, um, it's a nice feature. Because if you've got a tummy like me, you quite, it's quite nice to have something there. That, or if you're that, going out to dinner. Um, you haven't got to, oh, yeah, that's you know, a good I've idea. You know, halfway through dinner, whatever, that's be fantastic. That's a very good idea, yeah. So you, you do um, two stitches of uh, gather stitch, yeah. which is obviously um, usually on, on, on a machine, five is your yeah. highest. So do it on there and do two rows of that within your seam allowance. Yeah. Yeah. And then you're just going to gather that up slightly now um oh, the bit i read out earlier said you can make it into a dress 
Does it say so in the instructions about okay, pass it to me? You can say let me read it. Sorry, I've taken away no, from your sorry. saving time. I'll have a read what it should. I'll attach this to this. Oh. Oh. Now, Jane, I know you're watching. <laughs> Jane, who designed it, who's the Sussex seamstress, right? Who used to make ballet tutus as well. Do you know that? I did, yeah. Yes, yeah. so, yeah, so, because I, I don't know if you said to, I think you told me um, okay. ages ago, yeah. Um, okay, Jane, are you still watching? Because at the beginning here, you say you can turn it into a uh, lengthen it to the knee for a comfy dress or beach cover up, right? Do I just c keep going on with the pa pa all the panels as they are? If you're watching, can you let me know? I'll, I'll find out if she's not watching. If she's gone off to work or something, I'll um, I'll uh, find out and I'll let you know. So I'm just attaching this to the bottom um, of your front panel. I'm just going to ease those over a bit more so I've got even gathers. Mm. Lots of people got this new basket, so I know you're waiting. I know you're waiting till um, till the end of the show to check out your baskets, but please be careful because I've only got a certain amount of these patterns. Right. All your threads out of the way. No, the gathering stitch on most machines is five. You do, you go to your, well, basically you go to your biggest stitch, but on most machines your biggest stitch is a five. So it's not, it's not, it's not number five. You don't pick stitch number five. You leave it on a straight stitch and you turn your stitch length up to the longest it'll be, yeah, which sorry. is five on nearly every machine. And that's your gathering stitch. I don't know who that was a question. Was that a question from you, Ben? Oh, Yvette asked that one. Oh, here you go. Jane's message back. Just extend the lines down to the length required. So you just extend. Now, that panel that you did of the gathering, was it... Is it just a rectangle or yes. is it um Yeah, so, let, so me get the, let me get the pattern piece out for right. you. Yeah, it's very simple. So it would be a case of so So you wouldn't if you're making it into a dress, you wouldn't need to touch this top no. bit. You leave the top bit as it there is. There you go. So that's your gathering that's, that's bit. That's your there. gathering. So that panel. you just make, oh no, you wouldn't need to touch that. Oh yeah, no, you need to just make that the bottom, to yeah. the length of yes. your dress there. Yeah. And then your yeah. side panels and everything, you yeah. just extend the side, side seams yeah. to the length you, just, you need. Yeah, yeah. keep my... Perfect. Thank you. That's all right. Right. Because it'd be so. nice, that kind of, um, kind of a, a bit longer, like tunic length. So you could wear leggings with it in the winter as well, couldn't yes. you? Because it'd yeah, be a bit short lovely. at the moment to wear leggings yeah. with. But if you just extended it to like, just below your bottom, your BTM, then you could uh, make a nice little one to go with your leggings in yeah. your winter. Uh, Rachel's uh, enjoying the show, uh, watching, uh, making her very relaxed. She's off to see Gary in the hospital. Yeah, I saw the picture on Facebook last night. His leg looks really gammy, doesn't it? Right, so you've stitched that, that. just that panel on yes, across. Yes, I'm just, I'm just giving that a little press. Yeah. There we go. Mm-hmm. And now you're going to add those side panels. Okay. Now they're curved. All my, all my marks have disappeared. Oh, excuses, in, excuses, excuses. I know. In transit, so yeah. I'll go with it. Yeah, so there is, there is, a, there is a curve. They're very long pins. I know I've got some, some are, uh, those, those are um, Opera House. You nicked them from the opera house. That's Borrowed them. No, I didn't. I did not. We were we were given them. <laughs> <laughs> That's what we used to use. I oh, know. Or we bring all sorts in here, don't we? Yeah. Let anyone in. <laughs> so now the curve. It's not a big curve to ease. No, in, is no, it? it's no. It's not. It, no, it isn't. But obviously, um, you just take your time with it. Yeah. But it eases in quite nicely. Yeah. I remember you've got uh, one layer of linen 
on your side panel, but you've actually got two got layers two. of linen stitched together yeah. as your front panel. Yeah. We were saying earlier as well, you could uh, you could do all sorts with this because you could make that front panel out of a completely different fabric, couldn't you? Like I a pattern that, or something yeah, like that. I think that would be really yeah. lovely. Yeah, you could. Yeah, there's, there's so many options with it, I think. that's And that's the thing, isn't it? Because once you've got the pattern, yeah. you can then do that or well, make it longer. Make or, it longer, change the neckline if yeah. you want to change the neckline. Yeah, yeah, alter that. Yeah, that's it. Just have a play and do um you know do a mock of it up in your calico or yeah. whatever else you've got oh yeah i always use calico yeah calico's a go-to i used it, to really? love that it's, stage um, of um pattern making when you've drawn up the pattern and you put it together for the first time in calico put it on the mannequin i don't that's the bit i used to love yeah, the most yeah and then i'd cut it out of the fabric fit it on the actress and then i'd lose it and mark it all up and then i'd lose interest Oh, would you? Yeah, it was really weird. So at York Theatre Royal, I had my friend Carol. Well, not my friend. My, she was my sister. She's my friend now. Uh, so she loved doing all the stitching and everything like that. So I would cut the pattern, cut it out, fit the actress, mark all the fittings on. And then in between my cutting room and the main workroom, there was like a serving hatch. It used to be, it must have been an old house or something. So I used to say, Carol, this through. is Mrs. Bigsby. So she would then, <laughs> it would all be in a bag with her and everything. She'd then do all the finery sewing. I'd then do the second fitting to make sure there wasn't any other alterations. Then I'd pass it back to her and she'd finish things off so beautifully. You know what I mean? And I'd lose, I'd lose patience if I do loads of bias binding and things. Especially doing something like Seven Brides to Seven Brothers, oh. where all seven brides had like five dresses each and it's like yes. love cutting them love doing, doing all this put them together but then after that it's like oh when you've done them once i know because yeah. i i'm in the middle of um I t my daughter's already had her birthday but she went away on holiday yeah and um she wants a jacket so i'm just i'm doing just designing one for her now Aww. um but she's been away so she hasn't she doesn't she actually doesn't actually have it for her birthday i don't actually know when i'm going to finish it now oh. but it'll get finished it'll get finished before she goes back to university in september <laughs> <laughs> mind you we laugh september will be here before you know i know it. i know well it's august ne is it next week yeah yeah yep it's a scary thought isn't it you off anywhere else now i am indeed are you hang on I can't read that, Brian. Can't, I'll read it afterwards. I'll read it afterwards. I don't know who it's from. Um, I'm going to Catalonia in September. Oh, lovely. Well, You've been there, haven't you? Yeah, I went last oh, year. We went yeah. last year. So, I'm, I'm in uh, Belfast on the 1st for, to open Yvonne's quilt fair. Oh, yeah. Fly back on the 2nd. Then I'm in here on the 3rd and the 4th. And then I fly to Catalonia on the 5th. <gasps> And then, and Isn't then, boring. right, I'm off for my two, just over two weeks and everything. I've seen the pretend, the, 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 not pretend, what's the word they do? Like the provisional rotor. And then I mean, every day after, when I get back from my holidays, I'm just, it's just me for two weeks. No, well, no, Rebecca reads doing the Monday, but then I'm in the, the nobody else. Uh. So I'll come back all relaxed and two weeks later, I'll be a waif. <laughs> You'll need to go away again. Yeah. So I've got nothing yeah. else planned. But aren't you, aren't you in every day this week? Yeah, except for I, I did Saturday, Sunday. I did Thursday, Saturday, Sunday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. I've got Friday off. I'm in Saturday and Sunday. And Monday now. I'm now in on Monday as well. <laughs> no, no. I, I, on Monday, it's CL on Monday. And CL always works with me. So we just swapped a day across. That's it. Yeah. Oh. Oh threads in the way there we go make sure you check out your baskets i know i'm saying it a lot today but a lot of you just leaving it sitting there at the moment i know you want to see the finished item you want to see it all done see if you can do it and everything but just be careful uh Michaela's making dresses for her mum and she to take on to menorca in september uh, i could watch rebecca all day oh that's very kind uh, julie vaughan Morning, Rebecca. Love your demos. Now, Julie Vaughan's a brilliant dressmaker. Every week she puts something on Facebook about, oh, I've just made this jumpsuit. I've just made this dress. Mm. She has all spiky, she has spiky hair like mine as well. Another message. Hello, love. No, no, not hello, love. Hello. Stop. <laughs> love you two together. Uh, 
Do you have the perfect first project to drive for dressmaking to use with my brother machine? I'm too scared to start. Oh, From where do you Julie. live? Julie. Where do you live, Julie? Oh, where do you live, Julie? Did it say on it? It might say. Oh, it didn't say. It doesn't normally say where they live say. on the bottom. Just wonder if you Earth. live. live at, <laughs> just wonder if you lived anywhere near me. Oh yeah, because you could go to the sewing classes. Yeah. So where, rather than asking Julie where she's from, where, where do you do your sewing classes? Um, at, in, it's in um, a little village called Stoke Prior, which is in Herefordshire. Uh, um, ben knows it well. Don't know why, but Ben knows oh, it well. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, it's a beautiful place, beautiful yeah. place. Oh, well, do you know Wickton Court then? No, but he knows a lovely pub there. Oh, the, is, uh, now, is that the boot? Is it the boot? Is it the Queen's Head? And the boot. There's two, apparently. The queen. The queen. Oh, here we go, Ben. You're going to get it wrong now. Is it now. the queen's head, or is it the king's head? No, it's the king's head. Is in Docklow. Oh, okay. I didn't know there was two. Oh, there you go. There I you didn't go. know there was two. Pubs is that near where you lived? Then? In. Um, yeah. Yeah. Well, because I'm, I'm in. I've moved to Hereford now. Oh, that's right. Of course. So, yeah. um, but I used to live in um, Docklow. Oh, OK. And um, Stoke Prior is like the next village. So going back, if they can't come to your sewing class, what project would you... Uh, what, what, so in your classes, if I somebody's making say, them for the first time, what would they make? Yeah, uh, well, I, I would say a very simple skirt. Right. Just like an A-line um, with a, either a facing or a very simple Which they could get Sussex Seamstress. We've got Sussex yeah, Seamstress um, yeah, skirts she's got, on the yeah, website. She's yeah, got, she's got stuff yeah. like that. So, or um, a top that doesn't have set in sleeves. I would do it because you don't yeah. want to be doing set in sleeves like this on your first project. No. Not that difficult, but if you've never done a sleeve before, or you've never done dressmaking before, do something without the set in sleeve to start with. Yeah. So there's right. the front. Yeah. I'm going to pin it up here. Okay. Lovely. Okay. There we go. So that's the that's the fronts together. So now the back. So we're gonna start with putting. Oh, sure, Manchester. Oh, Manchester. Manchester. Bit start, too far. Start by putting the facing yeah. on just the back neck, not going anywhere near the shoulders. Okay. We're just gonna put it okay. round right. around that back neck. We might go a little bit over on this hour, Charlie, just to um, just to finish the top off. Is that all right? Mm. Yeah, because it's only me in the next hour. Isn't it? I've got the results of the Christmas quiz coming up after the break. Or all five Christmas quizzes. Four, five. We're not showing the answers apart from the emoji one, because that one's so difficult. We're just showing who's won. Oh, Susan, you're very kind. Thank you. We need some sew together classes or workshops within an hour of Manchester. Well, we can't, it would be a long way for us to come, you see, to Manchester. It would. We must know. No, none of our guests come from Manchester. Um, Joe Carter's in. Oh, no, she's Cheshire, not far from Manchester. Anyway, what are you doing now? So I'm just snipping into this. Now, you, you, I wouldn't um, have overlocked this edge. In real life? Yeah. Um, because you're not, you're never going to see it. It's yeah, not yeah. going to, um, it's not going to impact on. Right. It's not going to fray or anything like that. So again, I'm just going to press down the interfaced side. Because you're going to, we're, again, we're going to, um, Understitch this. You reach there. I know. Well, it's got a long cord, isn't it? I heard three you say point, it. What was it? Three point what I meters, mean, Charlie? That is so 3. good. Three point seven meter cord. That's so good because I often put have things on the stand, and then I I have the I need to bring the you know you need to bring the iron over to yeah, 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 steam yeah. and everything. Yeah. So that's um that's so good. Brilliant. So you've pressed all the seam allowances so towards it, the facing. Yeah, towards the facing, and now I'm just going to understitch that. Brilliant. Just so it keeps the facing in place.
What's the matter, Charlie? Oh, they need to be there all the time, really. Uh, are we doing this again today, Ben? No, yeah, so you can do it. You can, yes, put them to one side for today. I was going to say, don't get rid of them. Right, so just give that a little press. Right. Isn't it funny how we um, develop like asbestos fingers the more you yeah. do it? Like, yeah. the iron's quite hot, but we still... Yeah. <laughs> I know. Right, so right. I'll grab these bits again. Uh -huh. So now I'm going to put... So move, when you're doing this, move your facing out of the way. So we're going to position the shoulder seam. So match it up from the side, right. from the armhole. I'm just going to pin that across. And that will finish just, just in line with your seam that you've made there where you're facing. Right. right. So you, you need to pop, pop that in there, turn this back. Oh. So you're going to encase it. Right, yeah. So make sure that you've got that in the right place. Right, so you, you match the shoulder seams up from yeah. the armhole inwards. So let me do inwards. it again here, yeah. yeah. So match your armhole. in there and yeah. then so there's your facing and that should fit perfectly just up to that line yeah um, on your facing but then you bring your facing yeah round. so you bring your fit then bring your facing round so that's going to encase all of that um, so it sits nicely like that yeah Trudel's off to the dentist She's enjoying watching you, Rebecca. Oh, oh, good look at the dentist. It's never your favourite place to go, is it? No. Well, it depends what you're having done, I suppose, doesn't it? And then just sew through so all of it. So you're going to sew it. through all of this. So obviously you're going, you've got to go over that um the bust seam yeah down the center front and then all the way across the shoulder make sure that you catch down all that seam allowance quickly do this one and then uh, you could use a lighter fabric inside the front panel if you don't want to use the linen um who's it from from norma but you need to be careful color wise norma because you don't want to be able to see the other color if you use a different fabric you might see it under, just under here if i just show you here right if it, I mean, I know we understitched. Did we under, we understitch yes. this bit? Didn't yeah. we? So it shouldn't move back. But you can use a different fabric underneath. Just be careful colour-wise. If you use a different colour, then it might you might see it now and then. <clears throat> Hopefully, you wouldn't. That's why no, you understitch. That's why you do your understitching. Yeah, yeah but, exactly. Um, yeah. Or what you could do is you could use a Liberty lawn. So if you do see it, it's a gorgeous Liberty Lawn underneath there. And it'd be lovely against the skin as well, Liberty Lawn, wouldn't it? Or any lawn, but... Okay. Yeah, no, we're just going to... God, we will be going over just by a few minutes, just so Rebecca can finish showing you a demo. Right. But it's only me in the next hour, so don't okay. worry. So, because now at the shoulders, there's, <coughs> there's quite a lot of fabric there. You've got, like, four um, lots of fabric in there. So I'm just going to take off that little bit there and so you're not cutting are you cutting all of I'm them i'm cutting all of that yeah right and then so would within, you then overlock it again within that? that no no because this is all oh, going, it's inside it's, it's all inside, inside, inside. The yeah, yeah, yeah it's of course all it's inside just, yeah. so then what you're going to do then is 
pull that through. Let me turn it around the right way. Of course, yeah, it's good. It's good. And then, as you see, Lee, it's all encased. Yeah. It's oh, all yeah, so it cuts it all the way. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's all encased. Oh, it's a really, in there. really neat. Makes it a really, really neat yes. shoulder then, doesn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. It's a very neat seam. Yeah. And then just give it a little press. And then we're going to. Um, if I do one side seam and then we can get one. One sleeve in, yeah, because you don't do the sleeve on the flat, you set the sleeve in. Yeah. So what I might do is while you're just prepping and doing that, let yeah. me recap everything so we don't have to do a recap at the end. So I need to check out the pattern, please. Sussex Seamstress, Levante. I'm sure it's not called Levante. Eleventh uh, Sussex Seamstress, £15.50. Uh, Jane, the designer, has just said, what a fabulous, informative demo as always. Thank you, Rebecca. Oh, bless her. The pattern name is called the Levant Sussex Seamstress there. Uh, sizes 8 to 30, 15 pounds and 50 pence. You get the pattern, which is a really good quality paper. So you're not gonna be ripping tissue and never be able to use it again. You're able to use it over and over and over again. And the little brochure with all of the instructions in. And there's a video, if you go in there, there's a, they tell you where to go to watch the video of uh, Jane doing it as well. Then, so right, the fabrics that we've seen. So this is the one that it's made out of, the sample's made out of. This was your teal linen, $33.99. Beautiful. Remember that the linen will get softer as you wash it on. You might be looking at that thinking, oh, that looks a bit stiff, but it's, it'll get softer and softer as you wear it and wash it more. Then we've got the chatters. The chus, $33.99. Then the blue rayon with the white flowers are sold out. The black one, it's called a linen effect. It's got, there's no linen in it, but it looks like it's got a soft linen effect, but it's very, look, this is very drapeable, this one, look. Single figures of this bundle. Now, look at the price, right? Works out at £4.79 for half a metre. It's beautiful, isn't it? Um, actually, hang on, this is wide. Right, so this is 147 wide, I think, something like that. So you can have lots left over. Not lots, but you're going to have 139, 139 centimetres wide. That, that's really, really gorgeous, that one. Then we've got the um, sand with the blue flowers. Again, look at the price. Rayon, 23.99. And then last but not least, we've got the, they called it ivory, but it's a lovely um, soft cream, Cornish cream colour with your sprigs in orange and silver. 23.99. There's no linen in it. It's, it what they've done is they've, they rayon is like viscose. It can be a, uh, what's it? What do we call those gemstones that when they, they look like one thing, but they are another, you know, they're in, not imposter, but you can weave rayon and viscose to look like crepe, like linen, like anything you want to. So what it is, it's the way this has been woven to make it look like linen, but it isn't linen. Right, so let's just carry on. We'll finish the, um, the demo. Yeah, so I'm, all I'm doing now is I've just um, sewn up the side seam. Yeah. So I'm just setting the sleeve in now. Okay, so you just sewn the side seam straight down. Yes. Now, the, do we need to gather the head of the, no, the sleeve? Well, you can do. I mean, in, in um, uh, Jane's tutorial, she said you can put a ga put a gather stitch in, um, but it isn't it isn't to gather it. No. It's just um, it's just to ease it, ease in, it in because there is. You know, obviously, you're, you're, it, there's more of a curve on the sleeve head than there is um, going into the armhole. Yeah. So um, it is a bit, it is a bit fiddly. Yeah. So you can do that, yeah. especially if um, you've not put many sleeves in. Yeah. Also, I would, I would suggest when yeah. you do put a, when you do put gathering in a sleeve, don't put the gathering stitch all the way round because you don't want any gathers round here. So you leave that completely flat and you literally run, you get two gathering stitches along the top there. And all you're doing is just pulling it in to make it the same size as the armhole. You're not pulling it in to make like a, a leg of mutton sleeve or anything like that. Yeah. So you, you try and not to get have any gathers. Yeah, you don't in want there. any gathers, you're just easing it in. 
Is the rayon breathable? Yes, and it is because it's made of natural fibres. It's wood, wood pulp and cotton and things like that it's made of. Right. Let's get Just this putting in. the sleeve in. There we go. Right. Just make sure that your um, seams are flat. Yeah. Yeah, this is it. And you can always tell when you're sewing round. If you go over a little bit, you're not meant to. You can feel. It can only yeah. be one layer of fabric. You can suddenly feel. Because it's very easy for the fabric to creep back under. So do a few stitches, flatten it. Do a few stitches, flatten it. Don't go gung-ho and do just go round the armhole and hope for the best. No, as you're going round, you have to, you have to start doing a bit of easing and a bit of teasing yeah. with your fingers yeah. as you're going. But it hasn't got that much fullness in no, it, has it? No, 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 no. And obviously, you know, some fabrics um, stretch more than others when yeah. they've been cut as well. So, um, you know, try not to handle your fabric too much. Yeah. And then it'll be... And how did you hem the, you have to stop sewing, but how did you hem the sleeves and the, the bodice? So there's, um, now what did you, I think it's still a, a centimetre. Um, so I, well, be, only because... Um, oh yeah, one overlock the cuff and hem edges yeah. and turn it one centimetre. So try, obviously try and get um, a thread. I didn't have a thread overlocking thread to match this which is why I did it in the in the cream okay um so I turned the oh no hem you turned the and turned rather twice, than overlocked yeah just in case because on the sleeves you you're gonna obviously when you're moving your hands around you're gonna see it yeah. aren't you so um I just I just turned it up twice I quite like that tree tree no hang on tree says morning John team lovely show so far just home from work feet up coffee poured new on the telly oh there we go brilliant make sure you check out on the pattern please make sure you check out on the fabric bundles lots of people got them in their baskets uh, we'll show you the finished sleeve head now and then we'll be going off for a break Ooh. oh there we go so that's your sleeve in yeah so you just obviously give it a good press yeah um but it fits in really oh, yeah, nicely yeah, no yeah no like that, no yeah. it fits in really nicely but you just need to give it a good press brilliant yes thank you very much all now right. rebecca's back in an hour we've not got a project as such but it's an hour that you all love watching right so we've got this book haven't we charlie we've got a lovely book coming up there it is the dressmaking technique bible and we're going to be talking about different techniques like darts and pockets and seams and what else was, have you got so many uh, things shown? oh yeah yeah loads, loads of things to see there, yeah. and and mannequins and all that sort of stuff all sewing techniques for you to learn and the book is brilliant so that'll be in an hour's time uh, in about four minutes i'll be back with fabrics right but i've also got the winners of all the christmas competitions from last week so don't go anywhere we'll see you in four hi everyone i'm eva mcatamne I'm a patchwork and quilter. And what do I do the rest of the time? The rest of the time, I actually own and try and manage village fabrics in the town of Wallingford. How did I start my sewing and journey? Well, I've been sewing since as long as I can remember. I started out dressmaking with uh, my mum and my big sisters. And since then, I've tried my hand at most things and have finally ended up with patchwork and quilting. And I think that's probably due to one of Elna Burns' Quilt in a Day books. Let me assure you, you don't make a quilt in a day, but it's been a passion of mine for the last 25 years and I'm still at it, so there's hope for us all. So what do I enjoy sewing? Well, I like to do a bit of most things, to be honest, but my favourite thing is anything to do with my Japanese fabrics. So as you can see, we've moved to a different part of the shop and here we are in another of my favourite corners. And I really enjoy combining the lovely Japanese fabrics with some hand stitching and um, hand quilting. So I've moved to the permanent Christmas room at my shop here. And as you 
hopefully can tell, this is quite a large shop here, so most of my time is uh, involved in keeping this running successfully. So I don't really have a lot of time for claims to fame. So what I suppose I could say um, is that my claim to fame is actually managing to manage John Scott. Um, I'm sure he'll take that the way it's meant. So um, love you lots, John. My top tip is that children's colouring in books are a really valuable resource whenever you're crafting. You've got nice clear outlines that can become templates for your applique work or you can transfer them and use them as quilting patterns. I can't draw but I can create lots of things using bits and pieces from things like children's colouring in books. Give it a try. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PP all day. about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street. You can shop on our website, sewingstreet.com, and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app, onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. I just tried to eat my muffin before in my break, right? And as you know, when you eat like um, gluten-free ones are quite claggy and everything. Anyway, it won't go down. It's sitting here. I've just got to remind you about today's early bird. You get all three of these, all three of these for fourteen ninety nine. Now it is in the right place on the website now. It kind of disappeared off the website earlier, so it's there now. If you go to uh, today's show, you'll see it on the screen right by the screen up the top there, next to today's bestseller. So you get that. that, that now these are uh, ambidextrous. They can be used by left-handed or right-handed people. You've got your dressmaking, your craft, and your little needlework scissors there. All three. You don't make a choice. You get all three for fourteen pounds and ninety-nine pence. <coughs> Fabulous. Now I've got to be quick because we've got the competition winners. No, no. I'll go. We'll, oh, is that easier for you? We can go by the day, because I wasn't in on the first day, so I don't know what the competition was. Oh, hang on, have they just done one whole big... Can I have a look at it on there first? Mm. 
Right, okay, now let's just, let's just do, let's just do, I'm not, we're not doing answers or anything like that. These are the five winners from last week. Bang! So the festive word scramble was Gwyneth, that looks like it's been spelt wrong, because it's normally the Y first, isn't it, Gwyneth? Anyway, it's Gwyneth, uh, West Glamorgan, I might be wrong. Then the festive bingo was Sarah Poyser. The fill in the pet festive blank. I don't remember any of these. Oh, I wasn't in that day, that's why. Richard from Tyne and Wheel. Well done, Richard. Uh, well done, Sarah and, and Gwyneth as well. Then Christmas, which was mine. Galinis in Bridge End won that one. And then guess the emoji was Bev Wilson. Congratulations. Now, we're only going to show the answers to the emoji one because I think Bev must have been the only person who got it right, right? Because look, so this was the first one. I knew this one, right? What was that one? Miracle on 34th Street, right? Next one. That one's obvious because the second person is meant to be Macaulay Culkin. So that was Home Alone. Number three, I don't know how you got this one. Obviously, the first word is love, right? Handshake, love handshake. No, love actually. Anyway, yeah, no. And then the fourth one. Now, what's this? Man tree. Man tree, no? The Santa Claus. <laughs> Where's the Santa? Where's the Santa? Where, what's the tree got to do with it? Anyway, number five. Number five was this. <laughs> okay. No, Christmas tree or oh, Christmas carol. So I sort of understand that one once I've seen it. But you, you know, in a Christmas carol, you'd have microphones too. Anyway, this hour is all dressmaking fabrics. You can see some of the dresses behind me because uh, we've got some patterns and everything like that. But we are going to get going straight away because we are a little bit late starting, aren't we? So, now this one here, you see this one here? We had this one in the last hour. Now, these are in bundles of... Doesn't tell me how many the bundle, what, what's in the bundle. How much is that? Oh, sorry, I, I'm going... Hang on, have I got the bags? Yep, got bag, got bag, got bag. ML6658. Okay, £38. Now. Oh, it's four metres? Four metres, that is. For £38.99. Now, I've got no idea what project that was for, but it is the natural. The colour is natural. It is rayon, and it's, it's, it's um, woven to make it look like a linen. We had this one in the last hour for Rebecca's project, if you remember, with the cream background, with the orange and the silver uh, sprigs. Four metres. Oh, Christine got all of them right but one. So oh, sold out. Sold out. Blimey. Got to be quick, 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 quick. Right, this one here. Yeah, right, okay. What I'm going to say to Ben now, when we do prep in the future, you're going to have to write a note so you know which one's which one. So do you know which one it is? Oh, it's sold out. Sold out, sold out, sold out, sold out. Thank you, Becky. Then I've got uh, one with... Oh, now this is a different fabric. This is a cotton canvas, this one. So... Mm, olive, it's called. Olive. Now, let's see what they've called it. Cotton, yeah, cotton canvas, cotton canvas. Now, I don't know what they used to make this one with. I'd say it was more of like, a, 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 instead of a denim. So if you're gonna make a, maybe the all a trapeze de dress or something like that, I'd use this where there is a lightweight denim needed in the, um, or bag making, but there's an awful lot of bag making. You get three meters in there. Rather beautiful though, isn't it? 39.99. Gorgeous. Digitally printed. I'll keep that one here because that one didn't tell. You've got a oh, what? Oh, I thought we were doing. Oh, they bundles as well on that side. Okay. Right, sunflower. Ben wants to do sunflowers next. Oh, sold out. Let's do this one then next. I love this one. Painted flowers, this one's called. Now, again, this is a cotton. It feels like a soft. Have they caught, what have they called it? They called this one a canvas. I'd say this was more of a twill or a drill, this one. Th three metres you get in there. Three metres. Florals on white cotton canvas. It's beautiful. Now, let me just check the width of this one. Because these are normally... Oh, no, they go. 55 wide, I'd say that was. Look. 
Beautiful, 39.99. There it is, it's too bit heavy for a shirt though, that one. Pattern is lovely though, isn't it? I love that pattern. You can make a shacket. We can make one for Dave. Dave likes a shacket, doesn't he? 39, oh no, 39.99. Lovely, isn't it, that one? The colours in there are beautiful. Oh, oh, well done, well done. Lots of you coming for that one. Uh, right, I'm going to have to slow down a bit, otherwise I'll have run out. You stop buying it so quickly. Look, here we go. Same fabric again. Like winter roses, this one. Again, they're going to call it a cotton canvas. It's a digitally printed. White rose on... Ne oh, is it navy? Okay. It's very... very you can see that it's navy, but it's a very... It's a, I call that midnight, not navy. Beautiful. Gorgeous. So, oh no, I've got the olive one on white now. Oh, hang on, it's not olive because no olive berries on this one. Just called leaves, this one. Uh, well, it's called ivory. I'd say that was a, oh yeah, I suppose it is an ivory. Look, see next to the white. No. I'd call it more purple and grey mixed with green. What's the matter? Oh no, 39.99. What's the matter? Which bit of the body hurts? 39.99. Is Becky directing now then? <laughs> uh, 39.99 now leopard and I've got a few animal prints is this feather so is, is this a rose and hubble this one is this cotton poplin this one? Oh yeah it feels like a cotton poplin at uh, 14.99 animal print on tan two meters it's lovely isn't it jenny jackson this is what we think of it's not stretchy she likes stretchy fabric so, but it's 14.99 for two meters it means it's 750 a meter which means it's 375 for half a meter for cotton poplin. I know. Beautiful, isn't it? Uh, I'm getting all the bundles done first. Oh, now you'll love this one, Charlie. Oh, hang on. Hang on, I don't know what. It's a blue printed for pay. It's the only paisley I've got, so it must be that one. It's, um,. Key KM6681, yeah. Right, this is a viscose. Now, if you've not done any sewing before, don't buy this one. Not that it's impossible, oh, it's sold out. Not that it's impossible to work with. It's just not as static as a solid cotton or anything like that. It's beautiful, but I'd just like to be honest. If, if you bought that, you see, if I bought that for my first sewing project, I don't think I'd ever sew again, because it would just put you off, and that's not the whole point. You're supposed to love it and enjoy it. Are you all right? Uh, we've got daisies on black now. Now, what's this fabric? This feels like a poplin as well. You got the number? 49.99. Oh yes, this is a cotton lawn actually. This is even finer. So what a cotton lawn is, it's a high quality cotton with a very, very high thread count. It's beautiful cotton lawn, stunning. 49.99 for your three meters there. Beautiful, isn't it? Gorgeous. A three meter bundle there for your 49.99. Morning, Becky Alexander Frost. She only just got up, honestly. These ladies have leisure. She's lovely shirt, thank you. 
I can't remember what I bought. I bought it for a particular occasion. I can't remember what it was now. Oh, another sellout. You show me the picture and I'll do it. Just as well, I haven't got that one. Yeah, that's one of the ones that had sold out when we did the menu. There were two that had sold out when we did the menu, weren't they? So that one's gone. You need to run it through, though, obviously. Uh, bundle, next one. Two and a half metres, this one. DK6673. Now, this is a very, very fine crepe, right? It's made of visco, so very, very breathable. Again, don't buy it if it's your first sewing, if it's your first sewing job. It's very drapey, it's gorgeous. Do you know what you can do? You can always spray it with that best press, a bit of best press before you start. Just gives it a bit more stability. Morricane uh, crepe uh, for viscose. Floral jazz, that's what it's called. Very low in stock now, that one. Okay, so now why does the, why does the words that come up saying, because when I first went to live in New York, I haven't said that this morning. Right, but that's what's on, that's what's on the, um, oh, it's subtitles are stuck. Oh, it might just be my end then. I'll switch off and switch it back on again in a minute. Righty-ho, more bundles. This one, now you've seen this one. Now you've seen Mark make this one into a dressing gown. You've got uh, WT6609. Yeah, Donna, 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 they won't pay me to do that. Here we go. 46.99 ocean blue fabric. Uh, now I'm presuming, let's have a feel. Is it a cotton lawn, this one? It feels like a cotton lawn. Have you got um, composition there, please? At 46.99, I'm thinking that's a Marley lawn myself. It's beautiful, isn't it? Now, do be careful if you're going to make a dress out of this, because you're petite, you don't want the pattern to overpower you. You wear the dress, don't let the dress wear you. You'd be all right, Charlie, because by the time it went all the way around your tummy, be fine. Oh, chalice lawn it is, chalice lawn. Beautiful. Uh, I've only got a couple more bundles, then I've got some patterns, then we'll go on to fabrics by the half metre. <gasps> Love this one. This is a three metre bundle, this one. It's QR6613. Fleur Magnifique. Uh, pink Marley Care Lawn. Beautiful, 100% cotton. Gorgeous, isn't it, that one? 49.99. That'd be a nice shirt. Lawn shirt, be beautiful. I've got a lawn shirt that actually Rebecca made for me out of Liberty Lawn. Okay, right. Um, if you uh, were asking earlier about the, um, you know, the blocks that didn't make it to the final one that's going to uh, in the block competition, uh, Hayley, Mar uh, not, uh, not Hayley Marsh, not Haley Marsh, Haley Bryant will be putting something on the Facebook page and actually she'll put it on both the Facebook fan page and the Facebook page of how you can apply to get some for free. You don't have to pay for them for all the ones that didn't make it to the final quilt because there's quite a few there. You won't get mine. Well, I don't know where they put mine. It's not with. It's not in the bundle. Right. So more bundles. I've got uh, animal print black and white. Is this a two meter bundle again? This one. Yeah, two meter. Small print that one. Two meters. Just wondering what you could make out of that two meters. Beautiful. Then we've got the same, this is the last bundle, same fabric, but in like a beautiful ocean blue. It's Rose and Hubble. Uh, and oh, teal, they've called it. 
So now again, this is 375 for half a meter. 100% cotton. Can you see, can you see that pattern at home? Oh, that's good, because on my screen here, it's just black, that's all. Oh, which one have you got, Christine? Christine said, I've got that one. I don't know which one she's got there, because obviously it comes back through a bit later. Very, very popular. I'm just going, going out of Facebook, and I'll be back in a minute. Bad sell out. Just there you go. Captions are auto-generated. Oh, there you go. Up, I've, I might have un, unstuck now. Right, let's do some dress patterns now then. Oh, the white one. She's got the white one. Right, so dress patterns. Where did that go? <laughs> Where well, Becky's laughing. Right, let's work through these. Right, so there's this one. I've got this one here on the end here. Made out of a jersey. Oh, overhead. Gambit collection, contemporary design on paper. The Gambit dress. If you watch the... Oh, actually, that's the designer there. That's Laura, the designer there. And that's her dress there. Uh, now, goes from sizes 8 to 26. Fabric, how much fabric you need on there. Now, I haven't had any fabric that's suitable for this day because it's stretch fabric that you need for it. Um... Double knit, Ponty Roma, stretch cotton. Oh, no, she said cotton or linen as well. Scuba. I wouldn't. I wouldn't make it out of plain cotton, though, because it's got no fastenings. So you have to stretch it to get it on. So if you make it out of a cotton or a linen and you make it to fit, you're going to have trouble getting it on and off. There's the finished measurements in centimetres. Oh, I haven't even got those on the packet. Oh, no, I haven't got those in the packet. Yeah. Oh, there they are. There it is down the bottom. Yeah. Yeah, I would always go, I would always go with this, your body measurements here. And they come in metric and imperial, but they've got the finished size there. So it shows you how... Okay, so size 8, 92 bust. Size 8, 84. So it's got a bit of ease on it, but there's... I, I, I wouldn't, I'm not sure I'd make that of a stable fabric because it might be difficult to get on and off because there's no fastenings. One that sells incredibly well, Salt Dean by the Sussex Seamstress. Now, Adam's made this recently. Here, it's this one behind. It's this one behind me here. No, no, it's not. No, it's not. No, it's not. Hang on. No, no, it is, it is, it is, it is, it is, it is. Look, 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 I'll just take the belt off. There it is. It's this one. Uh, because on the pattern, Jane cinches it in around the waist. Now, I always say, if you don't want to, you can cinch it in because it's got a belt pattern. Goes to an 8 to a 30. I think this would be a brilliant, lovely dress. Very elegant dress to go out in. It's Sussex Seamstress. It's um, QVX945. Didn't you do this hour? We can't find that one. We don't know where that one is at the moment. Right, we've got another Sussex Seamstress dress here. The Petworth, which is this one here. This is your Petworth dress here. Uh, gorgeous. Well, we'll see in a minute, won't we? Because if I've got one left over, then they might have sent the wrong one up. Gorgeous dress. That one goes from a size. Oh, I don't know. I've got a size on that one. And it's not written on the thingy size. It'll be, it'll be the same sort of sizing, though. Gorgeous. Now, we had a Liberty dress here that Adam made. We can't find the sample because it was in the old studio. So it could be anywhere. The Alexa Frill dress, right? Now, this one goes from a 6 to a 22. Can I just say, if you're heavy busted, you might not want to do this collar on it because this is going to make you look, because the, the, it's all filled in and you've got a little stand frill collar there. I think there were, not, there were options. Yeah, there are options, look, without the collar. You see, different sleeve with a frill, dress without the frill, right? I mean, it's beautiful. And also, please check the sizes, because I think they come up quite small. So just check the sizes in there. It goes from a 6 to a 22. 
It tells you how much fabric you need. It's beautiful and it looks gorgeous in Liberty Fabric. But when we made it with Adam, some, that, that bit there, if you are heavy busted, will make you look a bit solid at the top. I'm not being negative. I don't mean, I don't mean, I'm not being negative at all, but I don't want you to get it home and then go, oh, that doesn't work for me. Okay, that one's there. Then we got, oh, here we go. Jim, did you sleep upstairs again last night? Always. Yeah, he's always there, Jimmy. <laughs> always there. And then he comes in and flirts with Becky. Anyway, now we lo love, we love So Girl. We love So Girl fab uh, dresses. Now, what's brilliant about this, Fiona, who's the designer, that's Fiona there. She does a blog, right? You go to So Girl blog. She shows you how to make it. She shows you how to hack it. She shows you all different things about it. Bits that might be difficult, bits that might not be difficult. And it's all for free. All for free. You go to So Girl blog, it's all completely for free. Because if you look here, that's made of three completely different fabrics, look. And she's, all the information you need is there. There's variation A, short sleeve with placket. Version B, long sleeve with three quarter. Lo uh, longer length with three quarter length sleeves. But they're beautiful, they're very easy to make. Jimmy, right, I'm coming in on your show later and I'm gonna bang around in your studio. 17.99, I've got another So Girl dress here. This is lovely, the Cecily dress, that's this one here. Cecily, size is eight to 20. Suitable for intermediates. Size is 8 to 20, this one. Again, different, different variations. Again, go to her So Girl blog and you'll see so many ways of making it, tips of how to do pockets, all sorts, tips on top stitching, everything. She's brilliant. She's a brilliant designer. And, and I, I often featured her on my uh, Simply Sewing page. Now we've got to sew over it. Now this is for, I've only got this. Normally we do this in two sizes. Um, I've only got it in the 18 to 30 today, right? The sew over it Aida dress. What do you call it, Aida? Beautiful. Uh, I don't know, Christine, without looking at the dress pattern i'm afraid because this is this is the ada one this one okay then we've got now these now but i'm going back because the lady who designed this laurie designed this one these are her color block dresses very different uk size is 8 to 26. Obviously, follow the instructions properly because you've got a lot of different panels going on there. We have done it in the past. Mark says, morning, would there be any chance of patterns for blokes sometimes? I really don't have the legs for dresses. Well, Mark, that's not what your neighbours say. Uh, we do, we occasionally do do, we've got a book with men's patterns and we do, do occasionally do men's patterns. Now, I don't know if Derek's watching because Derek missed you the other day saying, cat, old producer cat came on air and said we were doing a whole section on men's and she doesn't remember saying it at all and we i can't see it on the schedule anywhere it was what no no it was it was definitely it was definitely cat from not doesn't even work here anymore right then there's this one this is your panel tea and your panel dress oh okay which one have you got then that's extra Yeah, oh, so it's not what, you haven't got one. Oh, okay. I thought maybe, the, so it's just the next one. Who did? Yeah. 16.99? No. At 16.99, that's it, that's it, pattern-wise. Now I've got fabric by the half meter. I've got linen, first of all. This is the same linen did you pick this instead of the light denim? No, you haven't got the light denim here. So this is your... Um, 
No, Donna, I went to the doctors yesterday, but Michelle, the phlebotomist, whose office I had my bloods taken in, she was off sick, so the office was locked, so we don't know if it was there. I'd be wearing it if I'd found it. This is what? This is linen. This isn't denim, this is linen. It might be the colour might be denim. Do you want the number? Uh, RZLJ61. Oh. There you go. So it's called the colour is denim. It's not actually denim. It's and this is the same as the linen that Rebecca used earlier on the top, and she'd made the top and demoed in. But this is the uh, a denim colourway. Now we're selling this by the half metre. It's lovely that colour, isn't it? Now I've got some denim here. Four ounce denim. Oh, when is it? Which one is it? Let's have a look. Yeah, I've got two different colours. This is uh, LJ, LJ83. Uh, we call this 8 ounce. It's not 8 ounce at all, but it's what we sell as the 8 ounce, and it sells very, very well. If you're making one of the denim dresses from Fiona Hesford, if you're doing anything like that. Uh, it's the medium blue, this one. It's quite wide as well. Look, I'll just hold it up. Look how wide it is. Nice and wide there, 4 99 half a metre. Now remember, you're cutting this, we're cutting this now off the bolt. It's not a bundle of half a metre. So if you want six metres, you buy six metres. That would be 12 units. But it's 4 99 really popular. Always sells incredibly well whenever we put it into a project. And we have it in stock all the time. Sorry, that shouldn't be there. There you go. Beautiful. Then I've got it in the dark. This is your indigo. Right, now there's no stretch in this. This is just your pure denim. Dark blue, they've called this one. See, I'd call that indigo, but it's dark blue. 4 99 for half a metre. Lovely, isn't it? I mean, it's good quality denim, that's all I can say. Blue threads one way, white the other. Very popular, always is. Please, will I drape the denim? Here you go. It's not stiff. It's not stiff like jean heavy jean denim. It's definitely dry. You see, to me, eight ounce denim is the thick denim that you'd make jeans out of, right? This is more of your dressmaking denim. No, no, it's right. No, no, you're right, Ben. But I wouldn't call it eight ounce. That's all. It's not Ben's fault. He's still learning. I'll give him another couple of weeks, and then that'll be it. I'll get harsh after that. Four ninety nine. Right now, I've got gorgeous cotton quilting weights and cotton poplins by the half meter. Right, let's do the poplins first, because now you'll have seen two of these yesterday. So I'll do those first. VFLJ sixty. This is cotton poplin. Wait till you see the price of this. This is cotton poplin. Yep, three ninety nine for half a metre. Beautiful, isn't it? I'm thinking little girls' dresses. I'm thinking summer blouses. I'm thinking all sorts of things. Table linen. I'm thinking anything like that. Right, uh, Christine says, says viscose jersey on the pattern. No, viscose morricane won't have as much stretch as viscose jersey. If, you're, if it says a jersey, you need a stretch fabric. Christine. Three ninety nine. For half a metre, beautiful, isn't it? Lovely soft pink, beautiful, and I shouldn't say girly pink, but it's a lovely girly pink, that's what it is. We can't say things like that anymore. What, what we, I, within a few years time, I'm going to be to open my mouth, am I? Because everything I say will be wrong. Beautiful. It's lovely, really good quality. I think it's, is it Rose and Hubble? Yeah, it's Rose and Hubble. Rose and Hubble, yeah. Beautiful. Imagine that in a little girl's dress, blouse, or, or like little uh, cafe blinds for your kitchen or something. It's lovely, isn't it? Three ninety nine for half a metre. I know. Nothing wrong with it. Nothing wrong with it. That's the price it is. Then we've got the blue. Now the blue has got like a kind of uh, lavender feel to it. It is definitely blue. Cornflower blue, but it's got a, like a lavender tinge to it. 
4 99 half a meter they called it pale blue Four ninety nine half a meter. No, 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 no. It's fine. Four ninety nine half a meter. Just write an. Oh, I, also Ben, I asked you to write two things for me last week, and then I forgot to ask them at the end of the day, and I can't remember the way you. I don't expect you to still have it. No, 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 no. Don't worry, don't worry. But I said, oh, write that down. I'll get off you at the end of the day. Write that down, and I'll get off you at the end of the day. Right now, I've got the little spot. This is in Sage C J uh, C J L J fifty two. Three ninety nine for half a meter. Oh yeah, Christine, it'd be perfect for a nursery bunting or quilt. Yeah, it's what we used yesterday in the um, in the little boy little boy blue. I don't know why I'm pointing. It's not there. The little boy blue quilt yesterday. Three ninety nine for half a meter. Rose and Hubble cotton poplin spots on green. They're so popular these, but they're gorgeous. Such beautiful, beautiful quality these. Almost limited on this one now. I don't know what he means by limited though. What do you mean by limited? Oh, single figures. Very limited. Yeah, once you're all checked out, we'd add single figures on that one. Beautiful. Let's move on now to emerald green. Well, I don't know if it's been, it looks like an emerald green to me. I don't know if it's, that's what it's been called. TML 50, 70, 70. Oh, emerald, did they call it emerald? Beautiful, that, isn't it? What would you make out of that? I think it's just stunning. Oh, that'd be nice as a binding or a border on a quilt, wouldn't it? A wraparound quilt. Oh. So we're going to be meeting Hat at one o'clock. Well, I thought if you want me to steam her dress, she's going to have to come in, isn't she? Why would she be waiting in the car? Why? Yeah, it'd be all the horrible things you said about me. You're not going to trash my house when you're there, are you? <laughs> well, you know that I did the list just of all the things that were wrong with the house. When I got home yesterday, there were loads more things wrong with it. I said, oh, I better tell him about that as well. Turquoise, or it might not be called turquoise. It is called turquoise. Three ninety nine. Gorgeous. So uh, Charlie's going to a wedding at the weekend, a big Indian wedding at the weekend, and he's got his mum and his girlfriend an outfit each. They have to have more than one outfit though, don't they, for Indian weddings? The what one? Several outfits each because Indian weddings gone for the whole weekend. Of course, Charlie's forgot to put the weekend off. Have you got anyone to cover you yet? Oh no. Anyway, yeah, you will be going to the wedding, won't be here. But anyway, um, so he bought them all these outfits, but two of them, two, is it two you brought in? Two skirts, so you can't iron the fabric. So now, which, which bit of the wedding is it? Is it the sari bit or is it the dancing bit? Which bit is it? For the main, main temple. He's got what? Yeah, it'd be like saris, but he says you can't iron it for some reason. I'm intrigued. What colours did you go for? Navy, this is navy. Turk, like a light turquoise. Oh. And what colour's her hair at the moment? But she's quite a Titian, quite a bright Titian, isn't she, her hair? From the pictures, I've only seen pictures, I've never met her. Oh. Yeah, yeah, Christine, that's why he's bringing it in. So I'm going to show him how to either use the big, or well, I'm going to do it for him, aren't I? Uh, the big steamer iron we've got. But I also noticed when I was in the management office earlier, downstairs, the downstairs office, which is where all the GEMS TV people are down there, there's um, a proper steamer steamer there and everything, like, you know, with the hanger and everything. So I might go and have a look at that. But yeah, I'll sort that out later. And then what colour are you wearing then? Oh, there is a colour theme for the wedding. So your mum's wearing yellow. Oh, yes. 
You see, I, I went to, I mean, I've been to a few, um, I, I, I don't know how to describe it, weddings from Indian people, I, don't, I can say, it. but I mean, they're amazing. They're absolutely, I've been to Jewish weddings as well, so I'm not being, a, but the dancing, right? When you get to dance on the dance floor, it's still, it's still the same, Charlie. So I was dancing away going, look at all these boys wanting to dance with me. Look at all these boys dancing with me. And then I suddenly realized all the boys were on that side of the dance floor and all the girls were on that side of the dance floor. Same, still the same, Bangra. Love it, love it, I love it. I'm, I know that I was in, uh, Indian in a past life. I was from Gujarat in a past life. So just up from where, where um, Charlie's nan lives, lived. Uh, uh, Popping spots on grey, this one. I can't tell you the energy and the welcoming. I, I mean, they're just amazing, aren't they, Charlie? They're just, they're just fantastic. And when I first started working at Sewing Quarter, I didn't live up here then, so I'm going back over 10 years now. I used to stay in a hotel in Coventry that had Indian weddings every weekend. And the noise and the joy and everything coming out of it was just amazing. Absolutely amazing. Right, that's all my cotton poplins. I'm now going to start on my solids. We've got 10 minutes. This will be a romp through. Now, now this isn't just for dressmaking. This is for any kind of craft or any kind of quilting or anything applique. Uh, now, he did say to me this morning, I've picked all understated colours, all, su all subdued and subtle. So we're starting off with bright red. Uh, what is it? It's, oh, it's just called red. Red. Now, it's, three, it's 100% cotton. It's 44 inches wide. It's machine washable. Quilting weight, dressmaking weight. Actually, somebody messaged in earlier, didn't they, saying, uh, can I make the inside panel out of it? You could use this as your inside panel if you wanted to. You can make the whole top out of this. It'd be lovely. Or if you did two colours... Like I was saying, do the panel, front panel in a different colour. That'd be nice. Right, this one is uh, YALJ31. I think this is midnight, but they might have called it navy. There you go, midnight. Now, I only know that. Well, not only know that, but when, we, when I did um, the James Bond films that I did, um, Pierce Brosnan's, I only did Pierce Brosnan's ones, um, his tuxedo was in midnight, not black because it looks just that slightly bit better than black. So this was the colour of his tuxedo. You wouldn't have told, been able to tell the difference when you're watching it at home or at the cinema. Midnight, not a sound from the pavement. Now I've got this one. Now, I'm not sure if this is emerald or if it's fur. My gut says emerald. Has it gone wrong? Oh, there you go, emerald. Emerald green was my mum's favourite colour. I have, it's funny, I have. Do you know what, it's really weird. I woke up this morning and in my brain I thought, I've got to buy a lottery ticket. So that's maybe, I was four minutes late to work this morning because I put the computer on and I bought a lottery ticket for tonight. And it's 22 million the prize tonight. What's my lucky number? 22. So if I'm not here in the morning, you'll know why. Well, no, I'll have to come in and collect my shirts. <laughs> well, we have no... In the old place, I was able to leave my makeup here and my earpiece, but we, we all share a bit one dressing room now, so I can't... All, we've got one rail, and there's my shirts at the end, then there's... What's the bearded man that does the mornings next door? Lovely man. Ben, his shirt... His are really well ironed. Oh, his are like... They've come from the laundry. They're like so... Well then there's a few Derricks. Then there's loads of like party dresses and then there's some really manky things at the far end and I'm waiting for someone to come in and go, oh, there's my dress, the ladies. Oh, there's my, we're all in the same dressing room, boys and girls, there's no segregation. AYLJ82, got to hurry up. This is navy. Let me just, let me just show you. to your next to midnight so you can see the difference. That's your midnight, that's your navy. Beautiful. Now I'm going on to beige, or is it tan? No, it's tan, I think, that one. Is it? There you go, tan. I need to get a life, don't I, obviously. I'll get some of them wrong, don't worry. Beautiful. Now the next one is white. Oh, is it? No, 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 it's not white. Ivory. I don't think you will worry about a few shirts if you win 22 million. They've all got sentimental value. Uh, 
Oh, you're... <sighs> right, here we go. Now, this is where I'll go wrong. Gold. Golden, gold. Gold! I'm not, how can I cheat? It's not written anywhere. Becky doesn't even know what we're doing. Oh, you're doing fabric. That's nice. Oh, we do sew in here, do we? Uh, oh, Roy's giving me the, always give me the evils now. Did you get the email? Yes, I, I read her email in the bottom of the box. Yeah, did I, you found them? Yeah, I got them, thank you. Thanks, Roy. I knew you wouldn't let us down. Here we go, it's Becky's fault. Right, let's do fuchsia. Oh, have I gone wrong? Yeah. Is, is it rose? Oh, that is not coral. Okay, that's not coral, but that, that, they've called that one coral. Oh, no, I wouldn't say that was coral at all. Right, I've gone wrong. Now I'll go completely wrong now, wouldn't I? Right, now, we do so many different greys. Um, oh, no, exactly. Oh, what's the code? It's uh, T-A-L-J-07. Yeah, I know that, light grey. I was going to say silver, and then I went, no, it's light grey. Okay, move, two more, two more, and then we'll go for a break. Right, then I think I'd say apple, but I'm not 100% sure. Oh, apple. The day I came back from Ethiopia, right, I bought a, I'm going back donkey's years now, I bought a raffle ticket and in those days you can only buy them from not a raffle ticket a lottery ticket and they announced the numbers at eight o'clock or whatever and i was going out to the pub i was going down the richmond arms with all my friends because i was all some bronze from ethiopia and i had hair down to here and everything and i looked gorgeous well i didn't look gorgeous but you know what i mean uh anyway as i left the house they said the lottery numbers are and they read them out and i had all of them but one right and i thought that's it but you couldn't ring till 10 o'clock at night to find out how much you'd won. So I spent the whole evening in the pub thinking, I'm a multimillionaire, I'm a multimillionaire. I can't believe it, I'm a multimillionaire, but I didn't say anything to anyone. Got home, I, I left the pub early. I've got to go, I feel a bit tired. Rang the number, I, I was still a thousand pounds, but it was only 1,000 pounds, not millions like I thought it was gonna be. Anyway, last one now, YFLJ86. Chambre. Beautiful, three pounds seventy-nine half a meter. These are all our core fabrics. We have these all the time. They sell out. We then reorder them. Three pounds seventy-nine. Right, we're going for a break now. After break, Rebecca's here with this gorgeous book. I hope you've been buying it on pre-order because it's a fantastic, fantastic book. Dressmaking Technique Bible. So Rebecca's going to be showing you techniques from the book. We're going to be selling the book. We're going to be selling a, a couple of mannequins. Uh, and we've got curved rule, the curved rule as well. So I will see you back here in four minutes from now. Hello everyone, my name is Cara Ackerman and I'm absolutely delighted to be here at Sewing Street. Um, I actually originated from Hertfordshire then went down to Hampshire and then it ended up in the East Midlands. I've been in the East Midlands for about 40 years now, which seems crazy. Um, but 36 of those, I actually worked with DMC Creative World, um, which was wonderful. I really, really enjoyed that. And then um, I decided to go freelance and that's how I got introduced to Sewing Street. I love doing anything to do with um, textiles. So embroidery, cross stitch, patchwork, done a bit of quilting, bag making, toy making, oh goodness, there's loads and loads of things. Um, what I love doing is just trying something new and I think one of the tips is don't be frightened of trying something new. Um, you always learn from it and you know, don't be scared of making mistakes either. We all learn from the mistakes that we make. Um, 
little bit about me that you might not know and that's a bit of a surprise. Um, I once went to the garden party down at Buckingham Palace, the Queen's Garden Party, for some work that I did with Marie Curie. And I was so, so lucky to go there and just a wonderful time. Um, so I hope to see more of you on Sewing Street and I hope to try lots of new crafts with you. So see you again soon. Bye bye. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task. And sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. Full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and enjoyable as possible. Not only will they take your order, they'll also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, Click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Missed the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Rebecca's back. Hello, Rebecca. Hello. Let's have a lovely break. <laughs> yes. what, what did she do? Just messing around with the machine. Oh, messing around. Because uh, she's using the brother. That's, she, her mum bought for, her, for herself, and now Rebecca's got it somehow. But she uses all brother machines. Anyway, but let's do this first. 
the dressmaking technique bible this book sells and sells and sells and sells this is the fully revised and updated including net new textile directory 1499 now when you see how much uh, information is in this book now the thing about a book like this is a lot of people go oh I want to do just making I know about this I know about these things how often do you sit down at the sewing machine do it like a French seam and go oh which bit which bit do I do or you'd come in to do like back something out you think oh which bit or interfacing which bit what do I you this is like whether you're just starting or like me been doing it for donkeys 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 years and you just think well, I just can't. Also, my brain, I forget. Yeah. Like you were forgetting your words yep. earlier. You, there's something you can do every single day of your life. And then one morning, you, it's like people's names. I tell you what, I'm having hassles, troubles with at the moment is I see people, I go, oh, is it Carol or Jackie? Is it Carol or Jackie? And yeah. I'm stressed myself out. So I get there, I go, hello, darling, like that, because my brain just went. And then halfway through the conversation, I go, Carol! You know, like, oh yeah, but I, I hate it. And it's not that, I've been told why this happens, right? It's like a computer, because as we get older, our hard drive gets more and more and more full, right? So what happens is, is when you're thinking, what's that name? When you're 20, you've only got like four or five things in there, going, where am I going clubbing tonight? What shall I wear? Oh, her name's Carol. <laughs> now I've got mortgage, builders, painters, decorators, coming to work, journey to work, sat nav. So it takes a while to find Carol in there, doesn't it? Anyway, I'm going to move over to that site. So I'm going to show you through this book because it is a gorgeous book. So come with me over here. Move over, woman. Move over. You can stay. You can stay. But it's a lovely <laughs> book, isn't it? It is. One? It's gorgeous. Right. So first of all, it's on a ring binder. So it opens out flat and everything. And then when you see what you've got in here, you've got getting started, stitch directory, textile directory, fabric manipulation, techniques, waistbands, hem, sleeves, cup, necklines, not cups, cuffs, necklines, collars, fastening pockets, linings, embellishment ideas. There's so much going on in here. And then each of of those are then all broken down so you like marking tools measuring tools haberdashery all the different threads there how to use a sewing pattern how to use sizes and things like that how to measure yourself actually that's a little bit naughty if there's only a lady in there hang on oh no mm. Mm, Derek won't be happy about that anyway adapting a pattern which is what we all need to know about if you've got a large tummy, a small tummy, a large seat, a small seat, if you've got a waist, uh, large bust, bodice with darts, it's got all, a, how, this is my favourite, how to make it into a princess line bodice. So you can take a straightforward one, dark, one with darts and everything and create a really, really beautiful uh, princess line. Stitch directly, all the double stitch to, to, to stitching here. How often do you read a pattern and goes, oh, do a double stitch, like, oh, what's one of those? Just need to go back and look in here. There are obviously hand stitches there. Tailor's tacks, back stitches, brick stitch, buttonhole stitch. Everything. I mean, it goes on and on and on. And then you've got fabrics, textile. Well, that, hang on. This is all machine stitching here. I've jumped over all of that. Then you've got here your textile directory. All your different fabrics. That, what to make out of them. How to use to cut them. How to sew them. What needles to use and things like that. Then you move on to, still on fabrics, look, leather and suede and faux leather. How to cut fabrics, care for fabrics. Fabric manipulation, this is the one you'll go to most, I think. Obviously we all know a plain seam, but do we always remember what a French seam is? Do we always remember what a, I've got no idea what a hairline no, seam see, is. No, see, I've never done. A hairline seam is like before. a French seam, only very narrow. Mm. Oh, I say, I've never come across one of those. Well, obviously we know a flat fell seam welt seam lap seam these are all the things you learn bone seam tape seam exposed seam overlock seam how did you know there were this many enclosed seam seam finishing overlockers i love a hong kong finish i think they're beautiful i remember seeing a, a paul smith jacket when i couldn't afford paul smith and i used to just go in and try things on and one of the jackets had a lovely hong kong seam in it oh. and then i worked at 20th century costumes and they had loads of cost clothes original clothes from the 20th century and 1950s american men's suits all had hong they were only half lined you'd only line this front bit here and then the back seams there would all be hong kong seamed everything it's literally putting a bias binding around the edge of your seam there's the bias binding pinking Beautiful, there's so many zigzag finish. And look, I'm not even halfway through the book, look. So I'm not going to spoil it all for you because when you get home, you want to see it. But look, 
There are so applique, trouser pockets, eyelets, collars, shirt collar, yokes, cuffs, uh, shirt cuffs, pleaty cuffs, sleeve wrap, shirt sleeve, leg button. Oh, I mentioned that earlier, didn't I? Leg button sleeve. Leg button sleeve. Lovely sleeve. 1888, very popular, mm. Jane Worth. Um, two piece sleeve shoulder pads, hems, trousers, face hem. Look at the, look at everything. There are so, it is absolutely jam packed with so many little tips that you that you'd forgotten that you'd forgotten for 14.99 loads of you coming in for that you love it you love it you love it 14.99 right lots of people got it in their baskets please check out please check out right so now the only thing i'm going to say before we start the demo is you need some calico if you're going to practice or you're going to make a toile like this morning that top if you're going to make one a practice one first of all you need to buy some calico i have this by the bolt load at home if i had my proper work room going up i'd have a whole bolt of it on a roll at the end yeah, I haven't. I've got I just, a roll. yeah you'd have to have it because yeah. it's your job isn't yeah. it 279 for half a meter it's brilliant for draping it's brilliant for toile pattern making it's brilliant for backing um wall hangings or you can wash it and dye it use it for a cushion backing uh, use it for embroidery red work it's such a versatile yeah, it's very, fabric very versatile. Isn't it? yeah. and i love it i love it because the memories of my first few weeks at um wimbledon school of art we only did everything like what you're going to see yeah. is like my first week at well, my first few weeks at wimbledon we used calico for everything and i was learning so much every day and it just now to and then as the years went on, like we'd use it to back costumes with, if we did like a period uh, costume, you'd use it to back your fabrics with and things like that. And then on the first night, when I was at Colchester, on the first night, we'd all give each other presents and the girls would make skirts out of the fabric from the show. And we'd all, and then one, one um, year, Chrissy, uh, not Chrissy, um, Jilly made me some curtains, right? And there were pink calico and she printed on them all like costume words and everything. And I oh, regret lovely. leaving them. I left them in my fitting room when I moved on to 20th century costume. I was like, oh, I don't need those curtains. And I wish now I'd kept them. But um, if you make twirls out of it, you can then wear the twirls afterwards because you print on it, yeah. dye it, anything like that. It's such a versatile fabric. And we use it all the time. Like when you're draping on the stand, you use your calico. If you're making anything, if you're making your own tailor's hat, you use calico and things like that. It's such a, such a versatile fabric. And whenever we get it in, we sell it by the hundreds. So uh, you'll see why in a minute you'll need more of this. But I'm just going to move back over there. Thank you, thank you. I won't introduce, introduce any of the other tools because I want to get on with showing you things from the book. But as Rebecca uses anything, I'll shout up and say, I've got that here, I've got that here, I've got that here. Uh, oh, I will actually, before, sorry, I said I wasn't going to do this. These are flying out today. Now, it's the kind of ruler, I can't get it out of the packet now. It's the kind of ruler, I'm going to have to rip it, don't send this back. It's the kind of ruler you think, oh, I don't need that. But actually, if you are doing armhole curves, neck curves, you're doing at right angles, you're doing buttonholes. It's used for so many different things. Hang on, I'll just put that up like that so you can see it better than behind my shirt. Um, so you can do knitwear alterations, you can alter patterns, you can change styles of things. I'll show you on the other side, look there. These are just some of the things you can use it for. Even if you're just drawing up a skirt pattern, you want a lovely curved hip shape and things like that. These for $9.99. Are just brilliant you'll use it so many times even if you just want a straight line you can use it just to do a straight line as well so they're very and they're only 9.99 so if you've already bought something today add that to your order because it doesn't cost you any more uh, pmp wise does it that'll shut no. up show That's us what brilliant. you've done then right okay so if we start off with um some basic seams so um i think most people perhaps know what a french seam is um, but I'm going to show you on some patterned fabric because it's it's easier than calico because calico is the same both sides. So you need to see the difference really. Right. So um, there's your patterned. So it, it you you do the opposite of what you usually do. So it's you put your wrong sides together and usually you put your right sides together. Yeah. Um, and then we're just going to stitch a seam along. So now, if, uh, if the if the if you're good, just got a five eighths of an inch seam allowance or one centre seam seam allowance, you have to be aware of that because that yeah. you're making a dress. 
you must still only take yeah. a centimetre seam allowance, must yeah. you, and things yeah. like that. Yeah, I mean, this, this seam is really good for um, uh, organza, mm -hmm. uh, chiffon's tricky, but, yeah. It's yeah, yeah, yeah. but it just encloses it because they're fabrics that are sheer and move a lot yes. um it just it, it it just means that that that's your seam is enclosed yes um and it just makes for a nicer finish as well because you obviously you can see through those fabrics yes well, especially if you're making like a taft of organ and then doing the shoulders and little sleeves in, a, in an organza and a chiffon yeah you don't want to see raw edges through it you want that lovely no. frame you're still going to see it but it gives you that structured look sort of thing it's, it's a lovely seam isn't it yes, it's a yes. nice seam to that you know that you can see so what i'm going to do is trim that seam down okay uh, melanie yes you're buying it by the half meter so if you want a 10 meter piece you'll get 10 meters it's not in half meter pieces so if you want 10 meters it will come and order 10 meters it will come in a 10 meter piece christine's bought the book she says uh, she loves calico uh, and then, oh, now apparently, when Janet made her orange coat on Great British Sewing Bee, she said she was doing a Hong Kong seam. Patrick and Esme said they'd never heard of a Hong Kong seam. Well, I never. Wow. That's why you and me should be judging it. Judge, really, I know. We? I know. I'd love that job. <laughs> Would you like Wouldn't that you? job? <gasps> no, I'd be too busy helping them. So, well, yes, yes. Also, I don't think I can make a dress in four hours. <laughs> No, I, I wouldn't just want think, to be a contestant. No, no, I think it's amazing yeah. what they do. They right, have so very you've little done time. That. So yeah, so I've trimmed that down and now I'm just pressing it over to one side. Right. And then there we go. And then I'm gonna turn it through to the wrong side and I'm gonna just press that seam together. Mm-hmm. And now you're going to use it like you would a normal seam. So that's your right sides together. And then you're just going to stitch along. And you're going to encase that seam. Hopefully you won't have any of those raw edges poking out. But sometimes you do. Just um, trim them off very yeah. carefully if that's happened. Well, especially doing to shift on organza. Because even if you cut back, you're still going to get oh, it's still picture. Yeah, it still comes out, doesn't it? I remember when we did uh, Oklahoma, and in the middle of Oklahoma there's a ballet sequence, so we had to make ballet versions of the dresses that they were wearing in real life, so yeah. in, the, in the rest of the story. And um, Laurie, I think she's called, she's called Laurie, the main actress, the main character in Oklahoma, I had to make this dress for it. it, had four layered chiffon circular skirts on top of each other, so I had to gore, so it was on the bias, then I had to sew the chiffon together, French seam it to make a circular skirt and then four of them were on top of each other so when she spun it just went straight because if you just made a dirndl it would just go like that where they wanted it to when she did her spins yeah. they needed it to flare out like that oh but boy those French seams were difficult there you go lovely so then hopefully what you end up with is so there's your seam looks completely normal on this side yeah but if you turn it over, it's encased. You see so this on a lot nothing. of haute couture dresses yes, and things like yeah. that. Really, really high-end, expensive dresses. Yeah, yeah. But it's 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 just um it's just a lovely seam, mm. isn't it, to be able to do and in in um jackets and things as well. If you want to um, you don't want to put a lining in yeah. and you want to finish the seams off nicely, yeah. then that's a nice seam to do. But it's um, you know, it's a good one to know. Yeah, definitely. Um, but yeah, but just remember when you start off your wrong sides together, not yeah. your right sides together so that you you don't get that. I've, I remember when I first you know, when you first do it and you think, oh yeah, that's the right way, you do it that way. And then when you've finished it, you think, oh. No, you're busy sticking out bits on yeah. the front. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It's on the wrong side. So that's that one. So the, um, the flat fell is, um, I don't know if people know it, but let's give it a go. So I'm just going to cut this in half. So now it's the flat fell, is that the one on jeans? Yeah, so you so and and on shirts as well. Oh yeah, down the side the, seams. Yeah, of shirts. down the side seams of shirts yeah. and round the um, 
the armholes, yeah. which is quite difficult because yeah. um, you've encased, obviously you've encased it all. So you do a normal seam. Third, the socks of calico has gone locked in baskets. Well, Kai, do you know when we were t when we were talking uh, when we were doing um, the lavender top? Yeah. And somebody said, um, "Can you change the neckline?" Oh yes. Well, you know, you, you change the neckline, you, you um, redo your pattern or whatever. Try it out in your in calico first. Oh yes, definitely. And then. Um, you well, know also, then if it works that's it's just so versatile well, yeah isn't it? exactly just... but also i think what we in our brain we can go oh i want I, and sometimes when you have a high neckline people go oh, i want a deeper neckline there, there. it's very difficult to judge it if, unless you're a pattern cutter yeah. it's very difficult to judge it on so it's really much better to cut it out in calico put it on your mannequin because you'll be surprised how just changing it by this much will completely change the shape of it so if you go too high you'll end up with a very high v or it's normally the other way around when you want to make a short v into a long v you end up with it down here and yeah. you don't think on the pattern it's going to look like that. yeah it's very different isn't it doing it on yeah. the flat to then doing Do it, it in fabric them. and putting it on the yeah. on your mannequin. Right, so, so what, what I'm going to do here, I'm just cutting down one side. Okay, so we seamed it like normal. So we've seamed it like normal. Yeah. So there's your normal seam. So I'm just going to do one side. I'm going to cut her down halfway. I should have done it a bit bigger than this so to show you, but. So, and then with what's left over, you're going to fold that over. So give it an. I'm just going to give it another press. So you're pressing over the seam that you haven't cut. Yeah. And then all you're going to do is tuck that in underneath the seam that you've cut away. Mm-hmm. All the guests for next door are arriving, so it's getting noisy outside again. Oh, I haven't said to you yet. Congratulations on your book. Oh, thank you very much indeed. It was, it was a lovely read. Oh, have you finished it's it already? really nice. Yeah. I just sat down with it and... Oh. Yeah, it's one of those, isn't it? You thank can you. just, uh, yeah. I'm shocked by how it's many... It's lovely. Oh, you really? Oh, completely. Because when I was oh, writing it, I kept you. thinking, oh, no, please, I want to read this. Oh, this rubbish. And I got all stressed about it. Oh. And then when they said, when they said at the first order, oh, you need to order three and a half thousand of them, I was like, nobody, no, three and a half thousand people will not be buying this book. I don't know where I'm up to now. 5,000 I think I'm wow. up to now. And I've got another 1,000 arriving next week. Well, it's lovely because I love the way it's, you've got the bits of the bits of your life. Yeah. And then you've got the all the sewing techniques it, yeah. and everything. But yes, left me just wanting to know more. Good, because so. when, the, when I was first going with the publisher, because I've self-published that, when I was going with the publisher, they said, won't sell, it has to be a sewing book or a life story book, it won't sell as both. See, which kind of stressed me, which is why we self-published in the end. But now, my, I've only had two negative comments, right? One was, it wasn't long enough needs to be longer. So that's not really a negative comment. That's not a negative and then the other book. one I got with your stick, I love the book, Shame About the Photo. And I'm like, what's wrong with the photo? I'm only joking. It's fine, which means it isn't, is it? But <laughs> um, a lot of people have asked if the next book will be more life story and less sewing. Which I, I thought because we're fascinated. Nosy. That's why. Nosy. Nosy. That's it. Yes, that's it. No, it's fascinating. Yeah. What <laughs> just done there. So what I've done there is I've sewn down. So on one side you've got one line of stitching. Yeah. On the other you've got your two. And which is the right side? So, which is the inside? Well. To be honest, I I think it depends. Um, I think if you um, if you only want to see one line of stitching, then you make sure that you do it that way. Yeah. But actually, I quite like seeing two lines mm -hmm. of stitching, to be honest, because it's like a bit you're of a feature. making a yoke shirt and things that looks yes. nice. Doesn't yeah, it? yeah, 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 definitely. So yeah, so that's that's it's so easy to do that. And then the. Um, the what was the other ones I've got markers in here the welt seam and your lap seam are vir they're, they're virtually the same but they're usually used 
um, for fabrics that don't fray. Right. So because you're you're um, you're cutting again. You're, you're so you're doing a seam. You're cutting one side away, but instead of um, turning it under, you're just you're just um, pushing it to one side and then stitching over oh, top. Oh, so like a jersey or a polar fleece yes, or something like yeah, that that doesn't yeah, fray. Something yeah, like that. Yeah. So yeah. those those are, are really for that. Yeah. Um, so like sweatshirts and t-shirts. Yes. And yeah. For the, all yeah. those fabrics that don't fray. Yeah. That's the sort of thing that you're um, using that for. Right. Let me have. Oh, now this is the hairline. Oh, scene, okay. Which, which I, I hadn't heard no, of no. before. Um, so it's a. It, it's, it's this, exactly the same really as a French seam, it's just that on the inside you've got um, your zigzag line on the inside so, and then the other side you okay, don't, so you you don't, sew you don't wrong see sides, it. Do you sew wrong side? So champion? what you do is... So I've never heard this, in, this one at all before. In half. <coughs> so it's called a hairline. It's called a hairline. Right. So you do... Where's the, Can't find it now. Where's, there it is. There's yeah. the hairline seam. So what you do is you do um, two lines of stitching for the strength. So, the, so this is would obviously all be within your seam allowance. Yeah. And you're gonna, you're going to do them very close together. So, hang on, I'm confused. So you're doing two So you're doing lines. Two, two lines of stitching close together. Right, so one of them is on the seam allowance, yeah. on the sewing yeah. line, and, and one's just a little bit yeah. onto the just seam Just a little bit in, yeah. yeah. Because what she's, they say in here, so it's like, yeah, like a French seam, only very narrow. Yeah makes it say it makes it makes it ideal for again sheer fabric uh -huh. slightly i suppose it's less less fiddly i suppose so then what we're going to do is cut close to uh, the second line of stitching yeah but obviously don't don't go so oh, not between them you're saying no. oh, okay. so you're going very close Okay, and then press that over. Right. And then press your seam flat. Right. I'm intrigued. So, so far it's just French seam, yes. but you've got two lines of stitching yeah. underneath. So like that and then we are going to use that's the same machine that Rebecca's using the brother computerized sewing machine 399 so pounds split pay of 133 pounds use a zigzag it's got 250 stitches on it so you can choose from a plethora of yeah. stitches and then you're gonna just zigzag close to the edge oh come over a bit I might just make that a bit longer. Half the stock of the book stuck. Half the stock of the book has gone. What was the last what, Susan? Susan says, what was the last one called? Oh, the seam. What was the last seam called? That was a flat fell seam. A flat fell, that one. Yeah. And a tractor loves a flat fell seam for little children's clothes. Yeah, and it's hard wearing as well. Susan's loving the show. Uh, uh, John and Rebecca, looking forward to using my new brother machine when it arrives. So Shilla just... says the Hong Kong seam is very like a Korean seam. Oh, I've never heard it called that before. No, I've not either. So then, so it's like that on that side. Right. Um, Can we go so a bit closer, Charlie? Is that so possible? Sorry. Oh, you need to move, move to the that. right a little bit, yeah. There we go. 
So it's like that on that side. Yeah. And then you just give it a press. And it's, it is, it's exactly like a French seam. Yeah. But you've got the... Um, but the inside bit zigzag. But the inside, the inside is zigzagged. Oh, OK. So, yeah, it's just, a, it's just another variation yeah, on it, I suppose, it, yeah. if you... And it, it is, I mean, it is narrower. Uh -huh. um, I suppose there's, there's a limit to how narrow you can get you go, a French yeah, exactly. seam, I suppose, isn't there? So that, that one is a bit narrower. Um, but yeah, I suppose it's... Because it says in the book that it's good for chiffons and things like that. But I'd rather, I think personally, I'd rather a normal yeah. French seam than, than yeah. having the well, zigzag. Well, actually, a, a zigzag, I think it could um, catch, couldn't yeah, it? And yeah, it could, exactly. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. It, and, mm, not necessarily. But, you know, they're good to know, aren't they? Uh, before we move on to the next technique from the book, I just need to say we have got mannequins in this hour. Now, the one down by Rebecca is one of our newer ones. Uh, uh, can you see it there? Uh, 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 Do you want me to move it? It's called Diana. Uh, we've got it in three different sizes. We've got it in the medium. To here. Thank you, Rebecca. Okay. Uh, and the way you can extend this one is by now, turning the dials. I'll show you on the little film in a minute. Okay. So there's the size chart. I'll need that on the big screen, Charlie, please. Thank you. So we haven't got the extra small or small today. We've just got the medium, which is a 39 to 45 inch bust, 30 to 37 inch waist, 39 and a half to 46 hip. And they do say that it goes for guide only, sizes 14 to 18. We also, it's 179.99, split pay 59.99 three times. Then uh, we, and these come directly from Adjust Form and they ask for 10 working days for delivery, just so you know. Uh, but they still come under your £3.95 post and packaging. Large 44 to 50 bust, 37 to 43 waist, 46 to 52 hip, sizes 18 to 22. Right? And then fuller figure. Well, they've called it extra large, we've called it fuller figure. Uh, you do get your hem marker with it as well. Do not buy this if you're going to do tra. Uh, oh. And this, this one can't be moved into a trouser one, can it? Uh, a 48 to 54 uh, bust, 41 to 47 waist, 51 to 57 hip, sizes 22 to 26 as a guide only. Here's a little film. So it's got dials instead of cogs, this one, you see, as you can see there. So it's got 12 dial adjusters for easy adjustment for the bust, waist and hips. Now, if you noticed, all sizes of ours were all the same price. I have seen this for sale elsewhere where they charge more for the large and the extra large. Got a hem marker. You can uh, pull the finial knob and it changes the size of the neckline. You can change the nape to back waist by a two inch length. It's a, two, a cherry red fabric. Oh, there you go. There's the length bit to make it long. You have to do that from the inside. And this one doesn't have the tripod. This has the four prong stand. So it's very, very sturdy. It's fantastic. And the other one we've got today, I don't think we've got filmed this one. I love this one because this is your leg form one. We've got a slide to show you for this one. But uh, so this one, I love this one. This is our most popular, best selling one because it's got all. What size have I got in today? We have extra small, extra small. Uh, so 28 to 34, 23 to 31, 30 to 38 hip, sizes 4 to 12, UK dress size just for Skyde, but again 54.99 on split pay. We have the small, we call it A, okay, uh, there you go, 33 to 41 bust, 26 to 33 and a half waist, 36 to 44 hip, 8 to size, size 8 to 16 just for guide sizes in the sapphire blue but what we what's fantastic about this is you can move the leg so you can make trousers on this one and as you can see there it's got a cut out at the crotch so you can pull trousers onto it still got the hem um marker for when you do skirts and and um coats and dresses and things like that uh back to the we now also got medium which we're calling b this is the most popular size we ever sold this size uh yeah 159.9 159.99. No, 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 that's right. Uh, uh, the extra, uh, how much was the extra small? Oh, was it? I thought it was small. That's sorry, my bad. 39 to 47 uh, bust, 32 to 40 waist, 41 to 40. Uh, 
14 to 20 is a size guide. What's the matter? Yeah, I thought so. The extra small was more expensive. We'll look into that one. And then large. And we called it C, or we called it fuller figure. C. So the C goes from a 45 to 53 inch bust, 38 to 46 waist, 47 to 54 hip, uh, for a guide size only of 18 to 24. Remember, always buy slightly smaller than you. Unless you fit into those measurements perfectly, don't buy one that's the right bust size, but then the waist is too big. Because you can always make, you can always pad up a stand, but you can't pad down a stand. So you can't make it smaller than its smaller size. So if you're looking at it thinking, well, that's my bust measurement, but my waist is much bigger than that. You go, or much smaller than that. You go for the one, basically, you pad it up to your waist, not, you can't make it smaller. Um, okay, so that's the mannequins we've got. Also, we've seen the sewing machine. We'll talk about more about the sewing machine in a minute. Right. Okay. Next, next technique. Okay. So we will just um, do do some darts because um, some some people are a bit scared of them, aren't they? So you've got your uh, single dart, which is things like your bust dart or um, a waist dart coming up to your bust or on on skirts. And trousers you have a single dart um, and then you've got your double dart as well um, which you have on dresses usually going up to the bust and uh, um, it, to, to give you that shape over your tummy um, when, when you've got a dress that's all in one so with with the single dart you want to pin because you want you want to finish your stitches um, running off at the point yeah. so don't start don't start your stitching at the point because you want to run off and now I do sometimes back stitch on my darts sometimes uh, um, at which end at the big end or it, the little end but it depends um, sometimes on the little end as well oh do you yeah but not not always yeah because and actually I would say for anybody that's um, starting out don't backstitch yeah you you really you should you should let you should let the machine run off the fabric uh i'll show you now keep your threads long yes. and then tie them off yeah because um, there's nothing worse if you're making an outfit and at the end of your dart you've got like a dimple that automatically yeah. makes it look homemade rather than you know kind of a couturier one yes So I'm coming up to the point of my dart now. So I'm just gonna let the machine run off like that. And keep my threads long. Yeah. And then uh, so then you can see it's gone nice and got to the point. And then all you're gonna do is just when you can separate them. Separate your threads and just tie them. Yeah. Don't do it too tight. Just do give them a couple of knots. And well, how would you press and it then now so, then? So now, well, ham, yeah, is, the, ham. is the preference. Thank you. Yes. You definitely need one of these. So you're going to press over that, and it's what the ham does is just give you that lovely curve, yes. slight curve, because obviously when you're when you're putting darts into anything that you're making, it's because you want it to shape. Yes, it's giving over. you the three D so shape, yeah. isn't it? So if you if you press it onto a ham, you're automatically getting that shape. Especially you? when you do the one that goes from here and the one that goes from there, because you're actually creating the yeah, boob shape. So you, then, aren't yeah. You? So, so you double you here, which I've. Which oh, you double. Yeah. Now, so yeah. I'm going to do. I'm going to do that now. So with the double, you want to start your stitching in the middle. Yeah. And go from the middle to each end. Because again, we want to run off that point. So there's nothing worse than seeing like a little puck at the oh, end no. of a no, not at all. at the not end of all. a dart. Not nice to see. Which means a little pucker, everybody. Not yeah, a puck. sorry, 
a little pucker. She's on Midsummer Night's Dream now. <laughs> <laughs> I'll put a girdle round the earth in 40 minutes, <laughs> says Puck. <laughs> Susan said, the flat fell scene, remember, from school. It was very difficult. You made it look very easy. Mind you, I was at school over 70 years ago. Oh, it's... it's um, and that's, you know, like you were saying earlier, that this sort of book is really good because if you if you do a seam all the time then obviously you remember it don't you yeah but you you, you know if, if you're not doing it all the time you know it's you know it's there you know you've done it yeah. before yeah. but it's it's you know it's great so it's fantastic have, for a beginner yeah it and it's is. also fantastic for people who yeah. just need well we all need it it's not yeah, it's not even if exactly. you're getting old it's just you just need your memory jogging every yeah, now and then exactly So I'm just going to do a couple of back stitches yeah. at that middle bit and then run off down. And again, run off the end. Keep your stitch length. And then... Now we're going to do the other side. Oh, I'm making a bit of noise here because I'm just setting up a cut. I'm not going to use them, but I'll let, Vi I'll let Rebecca, I'm going to call you Victoria. Victoria, then. yeah. Victoria Beckham. <laughs> oh. <laughs> God, she'd be horrified, John. <laughs> no, she wouldn't. <laughs> you wouldn't be able to she, tell. She doesn't pull any faces, she does she? <laughs> no. <laughs> At least you could tell she was upset or not. <laughs> Apparently she was seen somewhere this week um, singing all the old Spice Girls songs. Oh, I thought she wanted nothing to do no, with that I did I. anymore. But because mm. it's 12 years, is it 12 or 10 years to this 12? week that it was the Olympics and they were oh, yes, of singing course. in their opening or the closing, yes. weren't they, on their taxes and everything. Is it yeah. 10 years? 10 years, Ten yeah, 2012. Years. Yeah. She did that, didn't she? Yeah. Yeah. But she, I don't think she did the tour, did she? No. No, she didn't. No, said, she didn't. No. She, no, no. She said she wasn't interested, no. didn't she? Mind you, she's built up her... Her own career, yeah. ...fashion house, hasn't she? Or whatever. Right, let's just tie those off, that end. And quickly this end. And then it's for, th you know, things like this is where you really need your ham, your tailor's ham. So, press it up to the point in the middle and then change it round. Dawn says that. I've just realised my cup of tea's gone cold. I've been watching and listening to you two's mesmerised. A lovely show. Thank you, Rebecca. Oh, Aww, she's YouTube. Then she says, thank you, Rebecca. It's fine. Oh, she means you as well. There we go. So now you're pressing, pressing that one there not on the ham. You press that one on the flat. No, no, I've pressed it on the ham first. Oh, I turned around. And all yeah. I've done is, is just... No, oh, no, okay. it's much better. Because you need, you need to press it from the wrong side. Yeah, yeah. And the ham's perfect because it's... it's um, Gives it's, it the shape, yes, yeah. Because you can move it around. But, I mean, that's the sort of dart that you have, like, you from oh, yeah, bust... Yeah. To the waist. To the waist. Down to the upper yeah. hip. Now, to give it a bit controversially, of if you put a dart in either from the waist up or in a skirt, which way do you press it? Which way would you press the excess? Or, so uh, if you've done that first yeah. dart that you did, yeah. right, and it's here and here in a blouse, which way do you press the... I always press towards the side seam. That's Thank how, you. That's how I was taught. So do I know I was taught yeah. like that. And then we, we had, uh, it's not here, it's saying, because we had an expert, and I saw, because she always pressed the side seam, she went, you never never press it tight and I was like I'm sure because I always do it automatically I think yeah. I'm sure I was taught to do it that yeah, way yeah we were yeah. yeah and then that one goes down not up doesn't it the one yes. there goes you press that one bust up yeah. down yeah anyway yeah right before you go on to your next one yeah. you know that uh, Rebecca when she comes in like in the first dance when she always overlocks all her pieces now when you're making 
You don't always have to do that because like on the edge of the facing, you don't want it on the edge of the facing, but if you don't want your fabric to fray. So I've got two overlockers here for two different ends of the market. So this is the one that I'm not, they're not plugged in. They're not going to shout to work them or anything like that because it's not that kind of show. The Elna Air Threader, so this is the one I'm going to get because it takes less time to thread this than it does to thread a sewing machine. Okay, it's £1,059. What you do is you literally, the loopers, the lower looper and the upper looper, uh, you don't have to thread them. You literally put the threads in those, where have they gone? In those two holes there. And you can literally thread the upper and the lower looper, which are the difficult ones. And then you just throw the right needle and the left needle. It's even got a needle threader. So that, in my view, is the best, 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 best buy uh, for, an air th for, for an overlocker because I, it takes away the stress of having to thread it and things like that. Does all the fantastic uh, st uh, um, stitching that you'd expect from an overlocker. Uh, £1,059 but you can get it on split pay of £211.80. It, it can be paid for, oh now will it be paid for by Christmas? What day is it? Yeah, July, October, November, July, October, July, September, October, November. Oh no, is it, are we July? July, yeah, okay. August, I missed that, August. July, August, September, October, November. We finished, it can be paid for by Christmas. So if you're self-gifting, it can be paid for by Christmas if you take the split pay method, right? £1,059, this is the one I'm going to get, right? Uh, we also have the... Uh, now, you see, when I f first used an overlocker, it was a great big industrial frightening thing and we all got terrified of threading it, right? And then I saw the 664 Pro, right? Which is this one here. 479 pounds, also on split pay. Now you do have to thread all of the threads, but you've got all of the threads here are, you see how it's blue, green, yellow, red along there. Then you just follow the guide. There's the guide here and there's also one in the book as well. So you do have to thread all four threads on this one. There's no air threading on this one, but you're only paying 479, I say only, you're paying 479 pounds for it, or split pay, 159.66. So a very, very good. Now this also is it tells you there are 12 different stitch variations you can do in there. If you need to set your machine for any of those, you see here, you've got this dial, you can just turn it to any of the stitches. So if you just come in close on that, right, okay, let's look that. So that's stitch number five, right? So that's stitch number five. It tells you what you have to have threaded, what tension you need, what needles you have want in and everything like that. 479 pounds is what you'll pay for that. Now, I personally, and I'm not trying to make you spend more money. I'm not like that, you know I can't do that. But if you can afford it, any stress of threading your machine. I mean, everyone I know that's bought this said how easy it is to thread. And I thought that because when I first saw this one, I thought, but then I'd never even heard of an air threader. And now I don't want to fight um, brand against brand, but we also sell a Juki air threader and that's £1,295. I'm not doing a, oh, look at this, this is more affordable. I'm just saying for a, an air threader, that's a fantastic price especially to take all the, all, it comes directly from Elna, it's included in your 395 post and packaging, has a two year manufacturer's warranty, has a needle threader on it, on an overlocker for goodness sake, and you move that, this is the needle threader here, and you move it from the left to the right. So it can do both the needles and everything. The, what, the, thi the brilliant thing about this one, I'm gonna go over into the 664, uh, 664 Pro, is you can move the needles up, right? You don't stitch with them up there, but to thread the needles, you can push, there's a little red button you can press and look, that pushes the needles up to there. And then you press, the, you can see, oh, hang on, I can't get to it. You can see the red button in there. You just press the red button and then I'm doing this backwards. So it's, and then the, the needles go back down again. So for ease of threading the needles, you just lift them up and you thread it through there. So that's, the, that's not that one. This one here has a threader, the £1,059 one has a threader. That was the 664 showing, which was 400. I'll put it in that. You're going to put it in that one there. Oh, you're not done there, let's do that. Just there, the two overlockers, different prices. I know they're for different people, but I just want to show them because every time Rebecca comes in, she's overlocked the edges and everything of hers, doesn't she? You do get a gubbins box with both of these as well to catch all your threads and your bits of uh, fabric, right?
Okay, I'm going to move on then. What are you showing us? What, how many, oh, we've got five minutes left. What are you going to show us next? Okay. Well, what 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 do you want? What what, 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 what do you want? Because to like right, to okay. Let's. Oh, 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 oh. So, tux. But I think a lot a lot of people know tux, don't they? Space yeah. tux, pin Fryer tux. tux. Fryer tuck, yeah. Um, we'll soon be so panto. You're all, all it is for tux is measuring out. So I've just measured here. So these these are my spaced tux. So if I if I um, uh, put those up to the pins and stitch on that line, I'm going to get um, tux that are e spaced out equally. When would we use tux like this then? So on um, skirts, um, on um, I like to see them, you know, like a little inlay in a blouse or it's something. It's really funny you said that because Roxy Cressy, who is a costume maker who I trained with and she worked at the Royal Opera House and everything, I made, she made her own wedding dress and she made the suit her husband wore. She's very, she's very talented, Roxy. I made her mum's outfit and it was all in green silk and the yoke here was like that. And it was all pin tucks. Oh, so I and love that. And there were tiny, tiny, tiny yeah. pin tucks. And I was so proud of this panel that I'd made and pin tucked the front of it because it looks gorgeous. The other thing it they're does. good for is if you're making a skirt and you don't want to see pleats here, but you want the fullness of the skirt, you can put the tucks the other way around. So on the front, you just see stitch lines. Yeah. But actually, it gives the skirt much, much fullness, yes. which means it's much more slimming around the tummy and the yeah. hips, isn't it? Yeah. That's why yeah. I like to use. I so, like to use so that. that's variations on on tucks so, and things, yeah. and then. Um, um, all your different pleats so you've got your inverted pleats your box pleat which are basically the same pleat but reversed yes. um, so it's whether you um, you know you, you, you the pleat is hidden yeah. so that's your inverted obviously and uh, the box one is is more of a, um, a detail yeah and then you've got your knife pleats which sit next to each other so they're equal distance but they sit next to each other so they all fall so it's like fall. half a box pleat but it go, they all go in the same yes, way they're all, they're all going in the same direction and again i would say if you put them on a skirt from the center those ones go that yes. way and those go that way because as soon as you have there was a fashion wasn't like the box trousers yeah. where you did the box pleat the wrong way around but it gives a very strange look but if you have them it all does. going from the so you have a box pleat in the middle and then you have right. all your knife pleats going to the side. Yeah. Um, yeah. Like, and also um, like an Edwardian work walking skirt, it'd be flat round here, and then you'd have all your knife pleats around there to give fullness to go over a bustle and things yeah. like that. Because it just adds fullness to the skirt yeah. without adding fullness well, to like you. Well, and that's what your, your stand is quite good for, isn't it? Yes. Because you can, if you've got your, your calico and you start from your centre front, say which one's the better one do you, you think come probably this one. one oh wait which one's the best one for you charlie oh, let me pull that one into shot okay so oh, if you there you go there you yeah. go and i'll move the chair so if you start with that there so you've got to say you've, you've you've got your line down there i'm going to use the crease line there so i'm yeah. just going to put a pin in there and a pin in there and then i'm just going to hold this fabric up so that it's not um in the way. distorting my yeah. um, my place so you you have like a flat piece so it's up to you how how wide how you, want, wide flat, you yeah. want that flat piece to be and then you you get your pleats and you just start creating them and you can just have a little play so again with the, those um, tucks you can either have them uh, with a distance or you can do your knife pleats. Yeah. Knife it, pleats like this are very, very flattering. Yeah, I did a lot are. of wedding dresses like this. They are, so it means yeah. your front panel there stays nice and flat. Yeah. And then your skirt has fullness, but the fullness all starts here or starts there yeah. and works its way around the back. And this, it's, you know, this is why a stands, if you're going to do a lot of dressmaking and you want to do your own things and you want to have a go at yeah. doing your own styles and that sort of thing, this a stand is so good because you can just, um, well, you know, recreate whatever you want yeah, to do yeah. in calico, and then yeah. you can then sew it all up, try it on yourself, yeah. and then you can. Um, see how it looks but also you know? stand if you if you you'd have to be a a, 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 um, a trained 
cutter to do this. No, but basically, just... if you want to create a bodice and you think, oh, I really want seams here and I really want seams there, you just cut squares of calico yeah. and you pin them to your mannequin like this. And then where you want the seam, you just pin the fabric together like that. So you can have the seam wherever you want, but you don't have to stay to traditional dart here, dart here, no, seam no, here. Not at all. You can create we weird and wonderful things by draping on yeah. the stand, just by having calico on the yeah. stand. Yeah. And your knife, your knife pleats as well are good, you know, on your shoulders. Knife pleats on your shoulder. shoulders? On your shoulders. So if you want to do, so I'm going to be doing this on a. Do you want to come on this side? Yes, please. Is that okay? Yeah. Just have a swap. Yeah. So if you want, if say, say if you had a dress and you, you wanted it to have a V like that, but you didn't, you didn't want to put sleeves in or anything like that. So in order to get that shaping, you could do some pleats up on the shoulders. Oh, instead of darts. Instead of darts. So you've got your fullness so on your bust. Your, yes. Oh. And do it like that. Yeah. And then you could, you can stitch down so far you could stitch those into place well, that'd so be lovely, far wouldn't it, yeah. and then and then it, it has that flowing of course we've just done the opposite of what we've just said because we put them that way around rather yes. than put them tight yeah. but you, that's how you can yeah. play yeah you've got a mannequin you can just drape fabric just yeah. drape fabric for hours and, and you'll this see is all the what this shapes. is what i do it's like you know i said a, a, doing my daughter a jacket for my daughter yeah so we just i was just having a play and i just kept saying to her what do you think of that what yeah. do you think of this you and we just you know that brilliant so it, it calico is so versatile to do totally, like that totally yeah. right, i need to round up round up round up so the in here we've had so much more to show you uh, save those i know you know what well we've, pocket, we've, never we've done this hour before that. right and she threw away all her samples so keep on going keep after this the, there's a well, so the pocket, well pocket, lovely well pocket. i have got time to, to do it no, now but look. need to get round to but that's in the book very very easy to follow yeah. in that book yeah every step of it right just tell me very quickly before i do a round up what do you love about your brother's sewing machine? Because I know your mum bought it, you didn't buy it. What do you yeah, love so much no. about the brother's well, sewing machine? Uh, well, just because it it's so smooth, and it and and the there's, there's just there's all these stitches that I haven't even managed yeah, to get yeah. to get through yet, and also it, it's the, it's all the different buttonholes as well. So yeah, we were going to show you a buttonhole. We've run yeah, out of time so, now. So I but... mean, I I love a keyhole buttonhole yeah. probably because of period costume yeah. background. But this does it, and, and it's we used to have so to do them by nice. hand, aren't we? Yeah. So I've done. I have done. Oh yeah. Just, just have a quick look very, at those. Very, very quickly. So you can see the different the keyhole, and there's there's two variations because the top you can either have a vertical stitch finish, or a horizontal oh. stitch finish, and then there's this this one's got like a, a little point on the end so it's yeah. a bit more decorative but there's all these different variations of see, a buttonhole you'd normally expect that i'd expect that from my machine and my machine was 1200 pounds yeah this machine's 399 yeah. what i don't want you to do is think oh there's way too much on that for me i won't understand it. it's too digital it's too modern get it home you're gonna love it because just sit down and do a straight stitch yeah right look at the look at the stitch guide do a straight stitch do a zigzag stitch then do a dart do something very simple you don't need to be creating some masterpiece on the first day just enjoy using it but my machine right my machine which costs 1200 pounds has got one alphabet type on it right Oh no, oh, mine's actually got three, but it's got one main one. This little one this here has three types. Yeah. Has has script, it has block, and it has outline automatically in it on the machine. At uh, the only my my own, and this is not a negative, but the only thing that hasn't got that my machine has got hasn't got a thread cutter. Right? No, it but hasn't. not everybody wants a no. thread cutter because a lot of people like if you're doing darts, the worst thing is you do a thread cutter and then go, oh. Yeah. I've cut it off too short and now can't. If you have to cut the thread yourself, then it reminds you. Yeah, so it do, do, that doesn't bother me. No. I'm not well, bothered about you, that. We've never had thread cutters no, on our machines until no, no, recently, no. haven't no. we? So, so it is a brilliant, brilliant it little is. machine. Don't be frightened by it. Get it home. It's £399. It's on split pay for £133. I'm only talking farts because I've got to finish. Dressmaking technique Bible. It's not £399, don't worry. Beautiful little book full of so much information. Raglan sleeve, kimono sleeve, leg and mutton sleeve. I don't think many people make a leg and mutton sleeve these oh, days. Oh, I do love they? a leg and no, mutton sleeve. No, I love sleeve. it, but for a period garment, not yeah. for a modern day. Well, I probably would. I oh, would you? Oh, yeah. As you walk <laughs> around the village in Victorian costume. But that's me. Costume. But that's me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. At fourteen ninety nine, brilliant, brilliant, brilliant machine. And a book, right? When are you back next? Um, 
Seven days. Oh, fourth you better of, get sewing I know, then. Fourth of August. I think I know. I'm on the fourth, aren't yes, I? Yes, I think so. Yeah, I think yeah, I am, yeah. yeah. I'm going home now to... To make it. Undo. You've got to make your daughter's jacket first. Undo. I know. Well, she's going to have to wait, isn't she? And so did she get anything else for her birthday? Her. Or just... Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, no, 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 no. She didn't just go, yeah. I'll be making your jacket yeah. sometime before October. <laughs> anyway, it's lovely to see you. Thank and you very you much indeed. Well. Keep all those samples because we will do this book again. Okay. Uh, don't go anywhere because I've got, after the break, I've got sewing machines. I'll see you in full. Hello, I'm Emma Bradford from the Swift Quilting Company. I've been a quilter for 25 years. I began sewing and quilting by hand, but now I offer long arm quilting services and I run patchwork and quilting classes. You can see me regularly on Sewing Street demonstrating patchwork techniques. My top tip is there is no right or wrong way, only the way that works for you. There is no such thing as the quilting police. Outside of quilting, I am a qualified botanist and I enjoy riding my motorbike around the country. I hope to see you soon on Sewing Street. Stuck for ideas for the perfect gift? Why not get them a gift card? You can buy Sewing Street and Yarn Lane gift cards loaded up with anything from £10 to £500. Shop our gift cards online at www.sewingstreet.com or www.yarnlane.com or purchase them via our UK call centre on 0800 001 4433. Have you heard about all the different ways you can shop on Sewing Street? You can shop on our website, sewingstreet.com, and you can also order by phone by calling our friendly UK customer service team. Just call 0800 001 4433. And don't forget about the Sewing Street app. Here you can shop all of the Sewing Street products as well as watch the live shows from anywhere. You can download the app, onto your smartphone or your tablet by simply searching Sewing Street in your app store. And one final thing, no matter how many times you check out on Sewing Street in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. Happy shopping! Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street fans and Yarn Lane TV fans on Facebook and click join group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Sewing Street have our very own app. You can now watch and shop from anywhere. Simply download the app from your app store onto your smartphone or tablet, then log in or create an account and you're done. You can watch us live from anywhere, browse all our recently played items and pre-orders so you never miss out on any show deals and message the studio to say hello at any time. And remember, you can check out as many times as you want and only pay one PNP all day. Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again. We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. 
For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com, scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope, and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. Never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. If you're a Sewing Street or Yarn Lane customer, no matter how many times you check out in one day, you will only pay one postage and packaging. So don't wait to add the item you want to your basket and check out. You will only pay one PMP even if you check out multiple times in one day. Follow Sewing Street and Yarn Lane on Facebook and Instagram to keep up to date with what's coming up on the show, as well as being the first to know about our amazing offers. Get involved with our competitions that are exclusive to social media. And pick up some top tips from us too. Right, before I start the next time, I've got a few questions. Um, who was your favourite Spice Girl? Oh, Sue, that's easy, Ginger. I love Jerry Howell. In fact, when I did a Bond film, I can't remember which one it was, I think it was the second one or the third one. Anyway, in my office, right, so remember I'm doing, I had like million pound, million dollar budgets, right? So my meetings were with high-powered Broadway, not Broadway, um, Hollywood execs and things like that, Barbara Broccoli. My whole office had Spice Girls posters on all the walls. On my desk, I had a Spice Girls pencil case, a Spice Girls pencil sharpener, Spice Girls rubbers, everything was Spice Girls. And these people come in by going like, and they were like, are you in love with her or do you want to be her? Because Ginger Spice was everywhere, loved her. Right, and she was what? The singer in Ben's band? She did a set at Glastonbury with Ginger Spice. Oh, did, uh, I didn't know G G Ginger Spice at Glastonbury. Shelley's making a corset. Stop to watch the show. John, would you be stocking any cover stitch machines now? It's funny you should say that because in the prep room out there, the cover stitch machine has arrived in the box. So I don't know if we're getting some or whether it's here. I'll get Ben, ben to have a look now. Have we got any cover stitch machines on the, on the system, Ben? Cut, look up cover stitch, yeah. Ben won't know what it is. It's one for finishing off seams inside um, um, sweatshirts and things like that. Um, Michelle says the air thread overlocker is worth the extra money and I'd rec recommend it totally. Um, June says this hour has been fabulous. Thank you, Rebecca and John. I've learned so much. Anne says great show. You and Rebecca should do a showing retreat together. You'd be great together and you've got so much, so clever. Um, Christine says, very informative show, just like being back at college. Um, Susan says, really enjoyable morning. Thank you, John and Rebecca, a fabulous show. I've learnt so much. Looking forward to your next show together. Thank you. Right, not got cover stitches in at the moment. Right, so the questions, right? <clears throat> so this hour is your Elna sewing machine hour. So you know how much I love these. The 550, the 560 and the 570. Each of them come with a hard case. Each of them... <laughs> come with an extension table right okay I don't need any slides just yet because I'm going to go through all the machines first of all so each of these machines all three of these machines there you go all three of these machines are exactly the same shape all three of them are exactly the same motor all of them have exactly the same excellence the quality all of them come with a two-year warranty all of them come directly from elna in stockport so the minute you buy one it will start the week well at midnight tonight they'll get an email saying send one to mrs miggins in manchester if mrs miggins in manchester buys oh excuse me little hiccup there if mrs uh, miggins buys one but i love them but what it is is with each, as you go up in increments, 550, 560, 570, you get more for your money. Now, um, before I put any graphics in, I, I, don't, I, I always struggle with how I'm going to say this, right? Where we will show you price comparisons of each of these machines, right? And you'll see what a fantastic deal we do. However, 
if you have got enough to buy this one, the 570A, that's the one I'd go for, right? Because between 570A and 560, now I'm not dissing 560, because this is the one Helen Newton's got, but for 30 pounds extra, you get so much more for your money, right? So much more for your money. So let, what I'm gonna do is I'll start off, right, I don't want you to buy anything, right? I don't want you to buy anything yet. I want you to buy things, but I don't want you to buy anything yet until I've explained about all three of these, right? So we'll put the graphics in for the 550, first of all. Right, here we go. This is the 550. Yeah, this is the 550. This is, if you think of the three bears, this is baby bear, right? This one is baby bear. I've not got this one switched on because I'll show you how all of this works with the 570, right? So this is 549 pounds. You get all these goodies here. So you've got your start stop. And so even with this one, you can sew without using the foot pedal. You, can, you have to unplug the foot pedal and you just press that to start and stop. That's your reverse button. That's your da -da 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 lock stitch. That's your needle up, needle down. That's how fast and slow you can go. Then across here, as I say, I'm not switching this one on. I'll show you in a minute how it works on the 570 because they're all the same. This is how you choose your stitches. And then this here is your stitch width and your stitch length, right? This is here a shortcut to straight stitch. That's a shortcut to zigzag. That's the, um, uh, the uh, cover stitch, uh, over edge, over edge, sorry, not cover stitch. And that's your shortcut to your buttonhole. Right, okay, so it's £549. Look, it's split pay, four split pay, four split pay. So you'll have paid for it by Christmas. You're thinking about it for Christmas. And this one comes with 50 inbuilt stitches. You can drop the feed dogs if you're doing um, free motion. It's got a needle threader. You can do buttonholes on it. And if you lift up the, um, this is the presser foot here, right, presser foot here, you can lift that extra high if you need to get thick quilts to it or anything like that. So, £549 is how much this one will cost you from us. That's our price, no deal, no nothing, that's your price, right? A uh, quick price comparison on this one. How much is it? £619. £619. Exactly the same machine, it's a direct comparison. Direct person. Now, if you've already come in and bought a quick unpick today, or if you bought the early bird, and you paid your three ninety five posted packaging, this is included in it. You don't pay any extra, even though it comes directly from Elna, and even though, well, go to Vic. Well, you can't go to Vicky the postmistress. She's got COVID. She's got really bad. She's really, really poorly. Um, so I couldn't go to my post office to do it. But if you went to the post office and said, "Post this for for three ninety five," they'd laugh at you, wouldn't they? They'd laugh at you. Anyway, that's your 550, gorgeous machine, 50 stitches, does everything else I've just shown you there for 549 pounds. Then we can go to the 560. Now it weighs, uh, they say six, I'm sure they said it was six and a half kilos. They said, they said it was the weight of a fat cat. Well, I, and I used to have Norman and Nelly when we first launched these and it was like, Norman and Nelly don't wear, oh look, look at the price, right? So that shop, was selling the 550 for the price that we sell the 560. That's the 550 there. They're, they're selling the 550 for the same price that we sell the 560. So now, 560 is on here. So again, at the front, you've got your start stop button if you don't want to use the foot pedal. You've got your reverse, but obviously you're spending a bit more money, so you get a little bit more on this one. So you get your da -da 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 lock stitch, you get your needle up, needle down, you get your thread cutter, right? Then you get your go faster, go slower. Then if we go carry on over here, again, these are the way you're gonna choose your stitches. I'll show you that on the 570 in a minute. This is stitch width, stitch width, stitch length. This here, shortcut to straight stitch, shortcut to zigzag, shortcut to overage, shortcut to buttonhole. It has a memory thread cutter on this one. Memory thread cutter. And this one has a hundred inbuilt stitches. Now you see our guests using this machine day after day, or any of these machines, day after day after day. Doesn't come with a walking foot, but I'll tell you more about that in a minute. £619. Shall we have a price comparison? There you go. How much is it? £679. Same machine, same machine, £679. We haven't, what we haven't done is we haven't gone, let's find the most expensive. That's the first one that came up. 
You can do it yourself. You can use Yahoo, Google and Bing it yourself. But £619, that's how much that shop was charging for the 550 uh, split pay, no interest charge on split pay if you want to take the split pay. And it will be delivered to you after you've paid the first split pay. So when you've taken your 154.75, if you're going with split pay, if after you've taken that 100, now if you've not bought anything else, obviously 395 will be added to that because it's post and packaging. But if you bought something else, that's already sorted, right? Because it's, it's per day. Uh, so uh, it will be sent to you the minute you've paid that 154.75. And then you pay another one in a month, another one in a month, another one in a month, paid for. Paid for by Christmas. That's the 560. Now, check that price, right? 619. And all that you get there, fantastic, but wait till you see the 570 a Now, if you're Yahoo Googling and binging this one, please make sure you put in 570A because the A means alphabet, right? Look at the price. It's 30 pounds more than the 560 right? 30 pounds more than the 560. In a minute, I'll take you through all the goodies you get on this one in a second, but I just want to, are you ready with the price comparison for this one? Okay, not ready yet then. So let me take you through the front of this one then. Start and stop button. You've got your reverse button. You've got your lock stitch. You've got your needle up, needle down. You've got your thread cutter. You've then got your go fast to go slow. Right, come over here. Okay, hang on, let me just turn that to you. There you go, yeah, go on, show the price comparison then. 739 pounds, 739 pounds. Uh, and it's exactly the same, version three. Oh, no, they, they've got the same one as us. Well, ours is version three as well. So ours is the Elna 570A3. So they've got that, it's a direct comparison, right? Direct comparison. Anyway, so, uh, I'll show you about the stitches in a minute. This is how you choose your stitches. Here's your stitch width. Here's your stitch length. This has got different modes down here, which I'll show you about in a minute. This is your shortcut to your straight stitch. This is your shortcut to your zigzag. This is your shortcut to your over edge. This is your shortcut to buttonholes, right? Here, you can put in a memory thread cutter. So every time you finish sewing, it will, it will uh, thread, cut the thread through. If you don't want that, you just take it off. This one here is a memory for when you're doing the alphabet. I'll tell you about that in a minute. And then this one here is if you just want to clear it, go back to factory settings. This one here is for mode because you need mode on this one because you have 200 stitches on here. So you have 50 in mode one. That's your mode one. So you've got all your utility stitches there. Look at the amount of buttonholes you've got there, your eyelets and everything like that. Then you've got your stretch stitches, all your fancy stitches like that. That's all mode one. Then mode two, you go into satin stitch, you go into your um, applique, a blanket stitches, you go into heart decorative stitches, look little hearts down there and everything. And then you've got more. More decorative stitches, you've got an, a, a locking stitch in there, you've got bows, you've got sewing, you've got mannequins, you've got also, oh no, you've got mannequins, you've got threads and scissors on that one. Threads and scissors. And a cat, you've got a cat as well. Right, so let me just show you then, right? First of all, first of all, first of all, you see here, where it's set here, right? That's, a, that's your straight stitch, and it's, it's already set to 2.4 length of a straight stitch. If you don't want a 2.4 straight stitch, you can make it smaller, right? You can make it bigger, right? Now, remember earlier we were talking about gathering. If you want to gather, you have it on the five there. Right, so 2.4 was our go-to, right? Now, you're most probably wondering, why on a straight stitch has it got a setting for zigzag? That's because this machine has 19 needle settings. So if you need to move the needle at all, what you do, right, you press this up and down, but I want you to, I just want Becky to go to the needle and if I push that down, you might be able to see it better. Right, can you see that the needle, look, there you go. You can move the needle across as much as you want to. So if you need to do a scant quarter inch, if you need it just to be in a different place, then you just press the width button, stitch width button, and that moves it across, right? So then, so what we want you to do to choose your stitch, basically, is you go, let's go into mode two and we'll choose number 33. So what we need to do is you press your mode button so that you're in mode two, or mode one at the moment, so we go to mode two. We pick number 33, 
10, 20, 30. One, two, three. Right, what it does, let me just turn it to you, it's not good. There you go. What it does, it tells you which foot you have to have on. Now this comes with a lot of feet, I'll do, the, do that. All of these come with the same feet, right? So it needs, you need foot F, right? You need, the width of the stitch is seven. The length is four, but, 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 test it on a piece of fabric, right? You might not want the width to be seven and the length to be four. You might want to change it. Well, you can. You can make each of these stitches completely and utterly bespoke to you, right? Look, there you go, you can change it. Now, what it won't do, look, you can't do that as a smaller than a two and a half width. It won't let you program anything that it won't let you do. So move it back up again, and again, you can change the length. So you can create whatever stitch you want to from the ones that are there. Let me just explain what this is here. Oh, what's this? I love, love, love my 570A. I enjoy the sewing so much more these days and I love the thread cutter and the start stop button. It's brilliant, says Katie Mercy. Say, thank you, Kate. Right, so this here is an over edge foot. So if you haven't got an overlocker and you don't want to do, excuse me, zigzag on the edge of your stitches, you literally press that that takes you straight to the over edge stitch. You must put on the over edge stitch foot, right? And then you go and it finishes the edge like an overlock. It obviously doesn't cut it or anything like that, but it finishes the edge beautifully like that. So that's one fantastic thing about it. Again with this, you can lower the feed dogs. Again, you've got a thread cutter. When you do a, right, let, let's go to a buttonhole. Let's just have a look what number buttonhole stitches are there. Let's have a look. Oh no, they're not on there, hang on, where are they? There, so number 25, say, so you go to mode one, which we're in, uh, number 25. You can go up by, oh, hang on, no, hang on, 25, there you go. Right, now if you look up here, you need your buttonhole foot, then it's got this little symbol here, and you think, what on earth is that? That is this little thing here that you just pull down, that's not the needle threader, that's the needle threader, you pull this one down, you put your buttonhole foot on, and that's the guide to tell the machine. Because it's not, you don't do a, one side of the buttonhole, stop, do across the top, stop, do down the bottom. You don't do any of that. You literally set it to do the buttonhole you want. You put the button inside the buttonhole foot so it makes it to the right size. And this will stop it from going too far. This means what will you bring that down to make the exact size buttonhole for you, right? It's got so much going on it now. Let me tell you about the feet. I'm not going to get them all out, but you, you get oh, you get your gubbins box, remember, that comes off, put your sweeties in there. Um, you do get the table, the extension table, but let's look at the slides of the feet that you get with this machine. Here you go. Right, so what comes with it is, oh, now all the feet have letters print, not printed, but um, what's it called when you've set them and in, they're, they're kind of engraved, but when they, they punch them out on the machine. So the standard foot is A is the one that the machine will come with. Satin stitch foot F over, there's the over edge foot C, you see. Zipper foot E, blind head foot. Now, you get a quarter inch foot with this. You don't get that with not all machines. Automatic buttonhole foot with stabilizer plate. And then you get bobbin, seam ripper, spool holders, everything like that. Let's just go through the technical features. Um, so you get uh, like you get 50 stitches, as I said, with the 550, 100 stitches with the 560. Now it says 380 with the 50, 570A. That's because that's your 200 stitches plus your 180 alphabet, which I'll show you the slide for in a second. Uh, that only comes on the 570A. You get the one step buttonhole look. There's three on the 550, seven on the 560, and 12 on the 570A. There are uh, 50 stitch combinations on the 570. Your minimum stitch width is seven, which is your standard. Your stitch length for your gathering is a five. 50, oh, sorry, I said 19. 15 variable needle positions, right? You also get sewing space of 170 millimeters. You get the free arm, you get the screen, you get the horizontal full rotary hook with a uh, spout. Oh yes, and when you load the bobbin, you load the bobbin from the top built-in needle threader, uh, feed dogs, which you can drop. You've got your LED lights. You've got your easy guided bobbin threader. You've got your presser, presser foot adjustment. You've got your extra high presser foot for position. That's manual. Accessory storage, extension table, stitch reference chart, spool pin, start stop button, reverse auto lock, up down needle position, automatic thread cutter only on the 560 and the 570. Direct stick selection and thread cut memory key on the 560 and the 570 and a memory key on the 578. Now you need the memory key. Have we got the slide with the alphabet on it, please? 
Can we get the one with the alphabet on it, please? We need to find that one because that's a major selling point of it. What other one have you got then? Oh, this is it, right? Okay, no, we do have the alphabet one somewhere because Hannah always brings it up, right? So what you do, what you do, we'll find it, we'll find it. What you do for the alphabet is you go to the chart and you go to, because it has two alphabets, because we need to show all the different alphabets, you see. We have the two alphabets. So we go to the first mode there, right? Now that is your capitals and your little letters, right? I can't show you here now because we, we haven't got the slide, but we'll definitely find it. We're finding it, don't worry. Um, it'll, be, it'll be, oh, well, it doesn't matter, I'll tell you later. Um, so what you do is each letter has a number. So what you do is you go to your alphabet, you put in the number of the letter that you want, say it's number one, then you press memory, right? So that's telling you there's one letter that you've got in the thing. So then say you want to put B, you then put, I don't know if it is B, you need to look at the chart. You then put the next one in, which is there, right? press memory you've now got you know you've now got two letters in your in stored in your thing so if you're spelling something if you're doing john and it suddenly says five you think oh gone wrong there i don't need five letters so then now say you need to put in a space which i think is number 69 or something like that uh, it won't be 69 49 say you press that till you go to 49 oh hang on one two three four yeah, then that one went down. 49, memory, that's put you a space in, but you've now got three characters in there. And then once you've got to the end, you literally press the last final, press the go or put your foot on the pedal and it will type out what the letters are there. So not only do you get capital letters and little letters, you also get question marks, exclamation marks, you get the and sign, you get spaces, you get a small space, a medium space and a big space, right? That's in the first in the first alphabet. Then if you go to the second alphabet, right? You get, a, I call it a celeriac and I don't mean to be rude or anything like that. It's Cyrillic, I think it's called, isn't it? But you get that alphabet as well in there. So to get into that, what you do is just clear everything. If you want to do this, just switch it off and switch it back on. If ever you want to go back to the beginning and you kind of can't be bothered pressing it, but you can just press the on off button, right? So if you go to mode four, which is where all the, all of them are lit up, that means that you're in the second alphabet that comes with it as well. So for £649, now, you just saw it in, in other shops for £739, which means you're saving £90, doesn't it? You can buy a walking foot for £54.99. Now, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> I don't know if we've got them in stock, <coughs> excuse me, I don't know if we've got them in stock at the moment, but we normally sell open-toed ones and closed-toed ones. Um, if we haven't got them, ring Elna <coughs> and they'll sell you one and send it to you within a couple of days and everything. So if you want a walking foot, you can get it, right? So, oh, there you go, brilliant. Thank you, Charlie, thank you, Ben. So you can see there, look, so the, the first one, modus A, <clears throat> that's your normal alphabet. So you've got, so I, was, I put in 0, 1, 2, didn't I? I didn't put in A, B, C. But if you put in O, O, um, memory, that'll give you naught. So you can see you've got the capital letters there. You've got the little letters. You've got all of the, um, in inverted commas, question mark, brackets, equals, and, antithesan, percentage. And then at the end there, 87, 88, and 89 in mode to say, they're your spaces. So I presume that's the alphabet you'd use the most, because then if you look at the bottom one, that's your celeriac one with all the different, um, we never understood why, which language has an upside down question mark. Apparently it's Spanish. Someone told me it was Spanish. Anyway, there's all of that all included in there. So, you can get the 570A. You can go anywhere to buy it if you want to. Don't, I'm not saying you have to buy it from he, me, but we could only find it. Obviously, there are going to be places that sell it the same price as us. I'm not saying we are the only people that sell it for that much, but for that £649 there, or look at the split pay. God, I can't get to it. There it is, split pay. 162.25, four times, be paid for in four months' time. It's a brilliant machine. That It's got a fantastic engine and motor in it. This is the one all our designers use all the time. They absolutely love it. And they come in and they go, oh, I have the 570, I have the 570, I have the 570. Brilliant, brilliant, brilliant machine. Fantastic machine, that one.
Okay, so if you've got an e-basket, please check out, but it is a gorgeous machine. It is. Ask Margaret in West Yorkshire, she's got it. Go and look at the Fifus, right? On the website, so many people have bought this machine and not, I haven't seen one negative, one negative thing about it. It's a, if I had already bought my 680, right, I'd buy this. Definitely, definitely. I'm not going to read all these out. I'll just let those go across the bottom of the screen because everybody I know, have a think about it. Um, and make sure you check out, lots of people got in their baskets, please make sure you check out, but think about it first, because I understand £649 is a considered purchase, but it's a beautiful machine. And um, if I was about to, if I was going to buy another machine, the, the thing is, right, it's like, I love Gary and George and everybody from Juki, I love their machines. I just happen to be an Elna boy, right? But Jenny Jackson is a Juki girl, do you know what I mean? So we all, you just, and, and also, like, like um, Rebecca was saying, all of her machines are brothers, but before that, she was a Benina, I was a Benina a boy because we, and when we were at college, that's all we used was Benina. So for years and years and years, that's all I'd use, Benina, 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 before until I met the Elna. But this is a gorgeous machine. Oh, remember that, 649 pounds, split pay of 162.25. Really, really good price. I just go on Yahoo, Google or Bing it, you'll see, you'll see. So that's that, that's that, that's that. Right, so let me put that to the one side there because I've got some other Elna machines to show you. Now, we're going up a little step. So the 550, 560 and 570 are the baby bear, mummy bear, daddy bear. I'm not quite sure who this one is because it's the same machine but with just a few more added extras. Now, I haven't got this one switched on. I wonder if I might just plug it in, actually. This is the 580. Now, this is the one that Dawn's got, Dawn Taylor, that comes on and one of our experts. There you go. So, it's in the same body. Let me move this one across there. It's in the same body as the 680, right? But it's the 580 machine, this one. Again, we've gone up a little bit in price now. It's £859, but you obviously pay for the extra, right? So, it's £859. Your split pay is 171 pounds and 80 pence. Uh, that's a five-way split pay, so it'll still be paid for by Christmas. You don't have to take the split pay if you don't want to, but if it's there to help you. Right, what I love about this is the body is the same as my 680. So in the front here, you've got all the feet that you're gonna use most of the time, right? It's got a pivot pin in there if you want to sew perfect circles, and then all of these just pop forward like that so you can get the, the feet in and out, right? I'll start at the top with the stitches. So look at all the stitches that this does. We're just going so we can see all of those. So you're not going to see from there, are you? So you've got, um, you've got your utilities in mode one. You've got your buttonholes in mode one. You've got your stretch stitches in, and de decoration in mode two. This is all mode two along here. Mode three, you've got big letters and little letters. Mode four, you've got your, well, you've got two extra alphabets in this one, look. So maybe that's your Cyrillic and that's something else. But anyway, you've got three different alphabets in there. Again, it's a seven millimeter stitch width, but it's a much, um, even though the motor and everything like that inside is the same, it's got an awful lot more going for it in the front here. So your feed dogs can be dropped down, Remember I just showed you the different modes there. We change the modes by pressing this. One, two, three, four, five. Back to the beginning. This one here is where you can um, program it to do a locking stitch and do a cutting stitch at the end of every line. We'll just clear that off. Right. This one here is obviously, again, like the 575, 18. That's your stitch width. That's your stitch length. This one has more needle positions on it. Right. Then you've got this to choose your stitches. This is where you choose your stitches actually digitally like that. This is for twin needling. This one here is re for reversing um, decorative stitches. That one there is to take it back to the beginning. And then again, these are the shortcuts. That's your shortcut to your straight stitch. That's your shortcut to... Now, is that quarter inch there? I can't remember if that's the quarter inch, that one there. But read your, read your manual. There's your short stitch, shortcut to your zigzag. There's your shortcut to your um, buttonhole stitch there and everything. Again, this one comes, you load this one, the bobbin from the top there. This one also comes with a table. Do we find the table? This one also comes with a big table, this one. And you've got your gubbins box in there. Now, 
in here, there's a, somebody used this last to do free motion. There's a free motion foot in there. But you also get your little tray that goes in there and put your bobbins and your feet in that one. Um, what else can I tell you about this one? We've got a slide for this one. Let's have a look at the slide, see if I've missed anything out. This one, the difference about this one, this one has your foot pressure, your foot pedal, at the, not foot pedal, your foot, pressure foot at the back there. And again, you've got the one to lift it higher up if you need to. So here's the, th here's the, um, designed with the aim to flawlessly support use its robustness ensures remarkable efficiency in all situation. The XM580 will allow you to discover all you're saying to, who wrote this? Right, 120 stitches, including seven buttonholes. The workspace to the right of the needle bar is 210 by 120 millimetres. It's got a built-in superior needle thread, and now it has. It's a brilliant needle thread on this one. Easy guided bobbin threader with built-in thread cutter. Uh, D-clutch and easy bobbin wider with built-in thread cutters. Automatic programmable thread cutter. Uh, Elna frontal storage, which showed about an extra wide extension table. The feet that it comes with. There you go, look. Oh, standard, that's very like the 550 and 560 and 570. You get the over edge foot, the uh, standard foot, the rolled hem foot, the zipper foot, satin stitch foot, open toe satin stitch foot, blind hem foot, quarter inch seam, automatic buttonhole foot, circular sewing pivot pin. Oh, right. You also get a quilting bar guide bar in this one. So if you're doing quilting, you want to do like, like you're doing cross stitch, you need to be like an inch apart from each other. You can just put the guide bar on. You get four bobbins, seam ripper, needle, set, lint brush, spool holders, spool pins, screwdrivers. Oh, you get a stylus. You meant to use a stylus, not your sticky fingers on this one. Extra wide extension table, foot controller, and a semi hard cover with that one. I'm just going to see if Dawn has messaged in because Dawn's got one of these and she'll normally tell me how fabulous she thinks it is. Right. Oh, no, she hasn't. She hasn't messaged in, Dawn. That's not like you. Anyway, it's £859. You've got split pay of 171.85 times over. So it's the next one up. If you just want the next stage up, <coughs> excuse me, from the 550, 560, 570, then this one here is your 859, your 580. Excellence, that one. Again, it comes direct from Elna. It comes with a two year warranty. It's covered in your £3.95 postal packaging for the day. So if you've already bought something else, you don't pay any more postal packaging. If you haven't bought anything else today, then it's £859 plus your £3.95 postal packaging. Or if you're taking split pay, it's £171.80 plus your postal packaging of £3.95. That's not split five ways. You just That's just taken out on your first. Obviously, you don't pay it on your second, third, fourth, or fifth or anything like that. So that one there is your 580. So it's the body of the 680, more to, that does more than the 570, <coughs> excuse me, but um, it's the next stage up. It's a fantastic model, brilliant model. Right, now, the one that Delphine has got is this one. And this week, Rebecca Reed bought one of these as well. This is exclusive to Sewing Street. Yep. £1,799. Now, obviously, we are jumping up another league because Rachel from Magnolia's got this one. Like I say, Sir Debbie Shaw's got one of these. So many of the experts have this because this is slightly different now. This one does not have... A, this is solid. This is solid. It's a flatbed machine. You do not have the gubbins box you can take off and create a free arm. This does not have a free arm, right? But the thing is... Do you really need a free arm? It's whether you want a free arm or not. You know what I mean? But it's, now this isn't one that you're going to be carrying around to classes and everything like that. Jane from Elna, she's got the version before this. It was called the Quilt Queen or Quilting Queen or something like that. Now, when I first met her, she'd had it for 14 years. So she must have had it for 19 years now. It's her go-to machine. It's the one that's on her table in, the work, in her workroom at home and it never, ever, ever moves. It's just her machine. It's the one that Delphine uses to do all her projects with. It's basically people who do a lot, a lot, a lot of sewing. Now, it's not... Oh, and I'll tell you who else has got this one. Um, Becky Frost-Alexander's got one of these. Uh, it's not... You look at it and you go, oh, no, that's not for me because I don't do heavy weights or anything like that. Rachel runs a wedding dress shop. 
makes wedding dresses, alters wedding dresses and uses it for that. So it's not just for heavyweight. So it looks like a, a semi-industrial machine, but it can deal with really, really beautiful soft fabrics. Also, it can go through leather and canvas and things like that without any problem at all. Now it's not, I said this to Delphine and she got a bit upset. It's not built for beauty. It's not aesthetically beautiful like the other ones have all got lovely curved lines and everything. This is built to be your workhorse, right? This is a machine that will go and go and go and go. So you thread it up like any other machine. You've got your thre tension thread there. But then on the front here, you've got all the buttons that you'd expect from an L in the sewing machine. So we'll start here. So you've got your locking stitch. You've got your needle up, needle down. You've got your uh, thread cutter. You've got your reverse stitch. You've got your start stop. So you can sew with it without, without the pedal being in. But then down here, you, down here, you've just got your tension. And then here's your needle threader. There's your needle threader there. The, oh, this one's got to walk. This one's got the walking foot on at the moment. Um, and, and also you've got your extra high um, lift there as well, automatic. And so look, say so there's your normal. There's your extra high. Okay, now, they see the needle plate there. This comes with two different needle plates. This comes with your zigzag or every stitch, but it also comes with a professional uh, straight stitch plate as well, which I'll tell you about in a minute. Then on this one, if we come across up a bit and across to here, so all your details will be on this screen here. I'm not plugged in. I think, is this a different plug, this one? Hang on, let's see. Oh no, hang on. There you go, there's your screen with all your information on, right? So again, you've got your mode button. Again, I can't remember what that one is. I think that one's <coughs> information about what stitches you've done. This one here is your twin needling. Then this one here. Can I have it on the big screen, Charlie? Right, that one there is if you're doing something where you want the, rep the pattern, say you're doing a serviette, right, not serviette, placemat, and you want to do some decorative stitches in each corner, this one here will move it so that you can do the top right, bottom left, so you get even decoration all over. This one here on the satin stitches, it may, let me just choose a satin stitch, hang on, let me have a look. So number 120, mode two, 129, hang on then, let's go mode two. Uh, 129. Right, that's the stitch there. If you then press this button here, you can elongate it. Oh, it's not working for me now. Hang on. Not quite sure. Have I accepted the stitch? Hang on. You can elongate it up to four times. Oh, was it changing when I was doing that? Hang on. I don't know which, which knob I'm in. Oh, oh, who's put this on here? There's a knob missing on here. Yours will come with both knobs on yours. Oh yeah, change changed, because that was a nine a minute ago. There you go, look. That's to change the size there, but all, you can do it automatically by pressing this. Obviously read your, um, read your manual of how, what, what I'm doing it wrong. Uh, this one here is you can fill the bobbin while you're still sewing. I'll just put it on this shot. While you're still sewing. This one here is your different settings. So if you want your lighting or you want anything a bit different, look, you can go into your settings there. There's your lighting, your sound, your scissor cutter. Um, your needle depth, everything like that. And again, look, you can choose all these different settings from the machine. That's that button there. That one there is back to the beginning. That one there is your favorite stitch folder. So if you've got a stitch that you love using or one that, like Delphine will have in hers, she'll have the um, blanket stitch that she uses all the time for, the, um, for her uh, applique. That one there is if you just lock the whole machine. My 720s Pro is my dream machine. One day she will be mine. Oh, Alison. Alison, we've got a lot in stock, so you'll be all right. You can still keep saving. Um, so that was the lock there. And then, now, yours will have two knobs like this. This one here, let me get out of here. Oh, no, no, clear, clear, clear. Where's clear? Oh, there must be a clear button on it somewhere. Let me switch off and switch it back on again. Okay, this one here is, if you choose a stitch, a in mode one, choose a stitch. Uh, now let's go to mode two. Mode two. Choose a stitch. Uh, 36. I'm doing it back to the front. Oh, it's playing up with me now. But anyway, look. You could this, mod, this one here will change the width. This one here will change. Oh, there you go. Will change the length, look. 
So you mean it's because I'm on a straight stitch at the moment. That's why I didn't accept that last one. It's because I'm doing it backwards. And yours will have a knob on here. Can we make sure we find that mob knob for next time we bring it on? Here is your keyboard for choosing all the things. This is your memory button. Oh, there's the clear button. Look, there's the clear button down there. Um, it's a really, really, and I say it comes with two needle plates. Now, how do, do I know which stitches you're going to use? Well, what it's got is at the back of the machine, you can lower the feed dogs as well on this one. Um, on the back here, you'll see this. This comes separate in the box. You have to screw that on yourself, right? But that holds your stitch guide. So here's your stitch guide. Now, as you can see, you've got all, this is mode one. This is all mode two here. The red ones are where you use your professional plate, which is for your straight stitches, right? And then on the back here are all your alphabets, right? Alphabets, numbers. Now, I think, does this one go to a nine millimeter? I think it does, doesn't it? I'll double check now when we look at the slides. Nine, I'm sure this goes to a nine millimeter, this one. So you've got your capitals, your little letters and everything in there. Yeah, I'm sure these are your nine millimeters here spaces again down there then what you do is while you're working if you want to look at your stitch guide you put it in there and it sits nicely in front of you while you're working right but when you finish working you're not going to use that you literally put it in the other and it sits there so you're never going to lose it when you're stored in the room you're never ever going to lose it 1799 pounds split pay of 359 pounds and 80 pence Derek can you tell you Oh, what the fabric with ice is like. Derek, I'll tell you later. It's uh, Lewis and Irene, and I think it's. I think we might have sold out of it now. We had it in. Uh, we didn't have it by the half meter. We only had it in fat quarters, jelly rolls, and ten inch squares. And I think it, it is Lolly. It's uh, Lewis and uh, not Lewis and Irene. Riley Blake. Riley Blake. And I can't remember what it was called, but it had uh, ice lollies. It had cups of coffee. It had sushi. It had all sorts of things like that on it. Stripes. I don't think we've got it left anymore. We don't think it's left anymore. Right. Uh, there was something else I was going to tell you about that. Knee lift. Got a knee lift. Oh, now this comes with the most enormous extension table. Elliot lost it in the last studio. You won't find it. We haven't got it. Elliot lost it in the last studio. But it, we've got a picture of it. I'll show you a picture of it. No, that's not it. That's that one. Right. Okay. So let's see a slide on this machine. Because you get so many feet with this one and everything. So look, uh, so it's got a big aluminium frame. The machine size is there. The sewing space is 255 by 120. It's flat bed, no free arm. Then you've got all your screen sizes there. Um, anyway, uh, there's all the stuff that you need to know about that. Uh, I'll, if you've got any questions, ask Delphine on Facebook. There's the extension table. No, it can't be that, it can't be that one because it's not shaped, is it? Because it's just got a great big, just slide straight onto the free arm there. It's absolutely enormous. I don't think Delphine takes hers off. £1,799 or £359 split pay. Right, um, who is it? Anne. Anne has said, could she see? Now, we don't normally do this, Anne, because this was an Elna hour, but because you've asked, I'll just bring it out. The Brother sewing machine that Rebecca was using earlier is this one here. So it's £399, it has 250 built-in stitches, has three alphabets in capital letters. Oh. Oh, it's not plugged in. It's not plugged in. I can't switch on. It's not plugged in. Here's your 250. Uh, they're all again in different modes. Now some of them, it's 250 stitches, but some of them in reverse. Do you know what I mean? And then it's got a quarter inch, it's got an over edge, it's got all that sort of stuff in there. Your uh, alphabets are at the top here. So you've got your block, you've got your, uh, uh, you can have all those letters and uh, the numbers. Hang on, it's down there. There's the numbers. Right, letters, numbers, but you can have them in uh, proper capitals, you have them in script, and you can have them in uh, outline, in outline as well. Now, it does also come with an envelope with extra feet. You do get an envelope with extra feet with this one. So, uh, should we look at the slide of this one? There you go, so this is what you get right now. Which are the ones with the free, the, the free ones with it? Okay, go to the other slide that you had. 
Look, so, here you go. So it comes with 14 accessory feet, including seven sewing feet specifically for dressmaking and fashion projects. So they're in a little envelope that come with it, a, a little plastic envelope that come with it. It's, you can drop, drop the feed dogs. It's got a needle threader. It's got a bobbin, quick set bobbin, three styles of lettering, I'll that, backlit LCD, eight styles of one step automatic buttonhole, 250 built in stitches. Now we'll go to your slide. There you go. So let's see if there it's in there. I'm not sure if the extra feet. Oh, well, we'll read them and I'll tell you. you know, uh, zigzag foot, which is the one that comes on the machine. A straight stitch foot. A zipper and piping foot. It's got a gathering foot. It's got a five pin tuck foot. It's got a non-stick foot. Yes, this includes the seven dressmaking freebies there. It's got an adjustable bias binding foot. It's got a narrow hemmer, a buttonhole foot, a zipper foot, an overcast foot, a blind stitch foot, a monogramming foot, a button attaching foot to just sew buttons on with. Um, you've got your wide table, you've got your school's ball caps, you've got your twin needle, you've got your needle set, you've got four bobbins, one's in the machine already, you've got an eyelet punch, you've got your extra spool pin, you get your disc shaped screwdriver, you get a ballpoint needle with it and you get something else which has fallen off the bottom of my screen. It's a what? Cleaning brush. Let me just show you in here because this is, oh there's buttons in there. Look at this right, all of your feet that come with it sit beautifully in that little um, container there and then in the bottom of the gubbins there you can put other bits like your bobbins and things like that you do get an envelope so don't get that have you got the plastic envelope there Becky the plastic envelope that comes with all the other feet which has got the teflon foot in it it's got all the free dressmaking it's got a hole puncher in it it's got all sorts I'll get it out for you in a second it's got a, a foot for sewing buttons on with that all comes completely free now this was launched on May the 30th with Stuart and uh, Tracy and they sold out that day we got more in we put them on Hobby Maker they sold out um, we've got more in now and we've got we've not we've got more sewing machines than we had um, embroidery machines but the embroidery machines were very very popular in the eight o'clock hour this morning so it's 399 pounds 133 on split pay I'll just get you the on oh hang on it's where it's on the way, it's not under there. Sorry, it's not, um, don't worry, don't worry, because I'm going to move on, I'm going to move on. You do get an envelope of all the other um, free, free feet with it and things like that. Right, do what, what? Okay, fine. Right, all of front, I finished, I finished. 10 minutes to go. Let me do some um, mats and bags in here. Oh, I don't know what I'm going to do them now, actually. Let's do it here. Right. If you've got a lovely big machine, now they're very smooth, these machines. When Delphine was in the other day doing hers, so smooth. But if you want one of these, if you work at night time, or if you work when you've got kids and things like that, or you just don't want, if you work in the same room, if you work in your dining room, you don't want there to, to, to be any noise coming from the dining room into the other room, right? This is brilliant because also if you sew whatever machine you've got, even if you use like, let me put this little brother on there, right? If you're working on your dining room table, what you don't want is for this, I should take that off there. Oh, I'm not in the right place. What you don't want is for this to, the machine to mark your table. Because if you just like, if you imagine your sewing machines on your table like that, imagine, the marks that that could make on your table right you don't need to have that because this will absorb the marks it absorbs any wobbling it protects your table it's got a camphored edge and it's just a really really lovely surface to work on 15.99 this is 15 pounds and 99 pence beautiful now if you're going to go to classes now these bigger ones won't fit in these bags the 550 560 570 and the brother will fit in these bags but your 680s won't fit in these right so we've got the red one which if you look will unzip completely 21.99 so you've got your lining in there you've got a hard bottom um, and then you've got a zip on the front there for your pedals and things like that and then the machine will sit beautifully 
inside, oh, it's all still plugged in. Don't take it while it's still plugged in. It's just a pedal, there you go. Look how nicely that sits inside that machine there. So if you are going away to take it to, the, to your caravan, to your holiday home, or to a class, or a retreat, or anything like that, you've got your sturdy little uh, straps there. At 21.99. 21.99, the red one. We also have it in black with purple trim. Where's the early bird? Fifteen ninety nine. This one, this one gets the little scissors on the back there. Fifteen pounds and ninety nine pence. Time machine black. Exactly the same. It's got a nice sturdy bottom. Beautiful. Right. Very quickly before I go, the early bird from this morning. Three pairs of scissors. Three pairs of scissors. Ignore the machine, you don't get that. The graphics will cover that. Fourteen ninety-nine. Fourteen pounds and nine pence. You get the big scissors, the medium scissors, and you get the uh, small scissors there. All three of them, they're ambidextrous. I nearly said the wrong word then. <laughs> uh, anyway, they're ambidextrous. You can use them with your left hand or your right hand. Uh, gorgeous, aren't they? Really nice. Right, now, have we got the menu, the two menus? Start with ours for tomorrow. Is it me again tomorrow? Yeah, it's me again tomorrow. So, we've got Fabulous Fabrics at 8 o'clock. We have got Village Fabrics, Block of the Month 6, with Yvonne McAtamney. That'd be lovely. With That quilt is gorgeous, isn't it? Oh, 10 o'clock, we've got Sewing Room Tools. Joy of joys. And then, at, oh, hang on, hang on. This has gone a bit different now. Now, that's not what you read out to me earlier. Yeah, 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 I thought there were three that were different. Anyway, it doesn't matter. If you're on Freeview and you want to set your, set your video, it's a bit difficult to know when it's not full on. So I'm doing 45 minutes of sewing room tools. Then Yvonne is on from 10.45, 11.45. She's doing an hour and a half with Christmas. Do not expect any Christmas decorations up and do not expect me to be in a Christmas shirt. And then from 12.15 to 1, I could have sworn there was another one, that was on. 12.15 to 1, we're doing pre-cuts. So that's us tomorrow. Now, if you're going to stay on for Hobby Maker, I've just seen Dave Bradford in the dressing room, so he's on today. This is what Hobby Maker we're doing straight after we come off air now. So they're doing brand new forever. They're still doing Christmas. They've taken their Christmas decorations down, though. Brand new Forever Florals Deck the Halls Ultimate Collection with Hunky Dory at one o'clock. Two o'clock, they've got Bra Auntie Pauline's in. Is she Hunky Dory? And she is, isn't she? Yeah. Brand new Christmas Sentiment Dines with Crafter's Companion. That's Christmas as well. Oh, the whole day's Christmas. Last of Stock Deco Large Christmas Collection with Hunky Dory. They must just be a Christmas channel now. Let me like that shop that we've got in Stratford-upon-Avon that's just open doing Christmas decorations all year. And it's always busy. Uh, last of stock, Deco, large Christmas collection with Hunky Dory. Then at four o'clock, they've got more from Crafter's Companion and the Christmas sentiment die. And then at five o'clock, they've got festive archway concept cards with Hunky, Hunky, Hunky Dory, not Hunky Dory. How do I say Hunky Dory. Oh, oh yeah, just recap the, the winners, if you won the winners. Uh, the festive word scramble, that wasn't me, that's Gwyneth in West Glamorgan. She's got no second name, just like Madonna. Then festive bingo, that was me, Sarah Poyser, you were the winner of that one. Fill in the festive blank, that was Vix, that was Richard from Tyne and Weir. Also, oh, none of the others have got full, full names. Quizmas is Glynis from Bridge End. And guess the emoji, you've, Bev, you deserve do two prizes for getting that, because I didn't guess any of those. Bev Wilson got guess the emoji. You will be hearing from our marketing. Oh, no, no, you don't hear from anyone. Uh, £25 will be going onto your credit. Now, it usually takes about a month to get on there, but you'll be get, all getting £25 added to your account. Also, remember, the blocks, keep an eye out on the, sewing, uh, on, the, on the Sewing Street fan page and also the Sewing Street page on Facebook because they're going to say ha, let you know how you can apply for all the leftover box. I'm going now. I'll see you tomorrow morning. Goodbye.